oh, I don't think I'd be able to create the beautiful cards that our Tracy makes, or I wouldn't be able to do those backgrounds. What would you say to those people at the moment that are currently sitting on the fence going, I don't know if I could do this? Well, first of all, you probably can because they're usually quite simple backgrounds, um, just with a bit of watercolour or, or whatever. That looks equally as nice. Um, like that one, for example, is just simple watercolour technique in the background. There's nothing complicated about it. But also, obviously, the papers have got those watercolour feels as well, so you could easily just layer some of the little characters on top of our paper pads as well. They are absolutely beautiful, and you can create so much with them when you get them all home. Uh, we've only got 20 seconds left, 15 seconds now. Start checking out your baskets if I was you. I really don't want you to miss out because I don't know what will be here at 7 o'clock. Uh, thank you, Trey. It's been an absolute pleasure. I'll see you at 7 o'clock. Uh, hopefully, I will see you there too. Don't go anywhere. There's so much more to shop for. See you in a bit. Yes, indeed, the next three hours look a little bit like that. Crafty Rue Designs are up next, and it's Studio Lights 40 41st birthday. Then, Maggie G, oh, embroidery, that's me. I'll see you in two hours. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the centre of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcasts and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Pete from Artisan Design. We're a family-run company from the Midlands and we have been going for around about a year now. We design handcrafted stamps, stencils and designer papers. Personally, uh, I love crafts and I've loved crafts from childhood, right from when I first won an art competition when I was five years old. Tune into our Chanda, be part of the artisan design world and come and join me on this creative path. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Echanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the Studio Light shows on Echanda. Hi, my name is Maggie and I'm from Impressions Crafts. Um, I've been running my business now for 15 years. It's a small family-run business in the south of Cheshire. We have a large craft shop and we sell all sorts of beading and jewellery supplies. Um, I have a passion for making jewellery. I love working with um, the Lucite style flower beads and we make thousands and thousands of angels and have been doing so for the last few years. We've been bringing uh, to Hachanda lots of lovely beading kits, jewellery, uh, for necklaces and bracelets and earrings and we also bring a wide range of angels and accessories, beading accessories like bookmarks and we also have our range of laser cut, uh, sun catchers and mobiles, all the lovely crafty beads. Hope you can tune into my shows and looking forward to seeing you on her channel.
Hi, I'm Jean, and together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. At Crafty Individuals, we are mostly involved in the design and manufacture of a very wide range of red rubber art stamps, but we also have a range of background papers and mini images that are also brilliant to create with. We also have a great little team of other artist friends who've helped us along the way and have come up with other designs that completely work alongside our own. So do pull up a pew and join us on the Hachanda shows. We can't wait to see you there. Good afternoon, everyone. Oh, we've got a delightful show lined up for you. We really have. We've got some gorgeous stamps. We've got some polymates and solid poly plates. <laughs> and then we've got some lovely smelly stuff as well that apparently honks. Is that the what? Honks? Honks. Honk. Technical term. Yeah. It's, a te it's a technical term. Yeah, it's it Kim, honks. everybody. Hello, Kim. Hello. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Now, I'm really looking forward to the show because I know we've got some lovely demos lined up. But can you tell us, first of all, a little bit about yourself? Because there might be a few people out there that have not seen your shows before. Oh, well, my, my love of craft started years ago. It was my mum's fault. I always blame my mum. <laughs> and, and I got to a point where I was crafting, but I couldn't find the stamps that I wanted to craft with. So I designed a few and got somebody to make them for me to use. So I was selling my handmade things. And then people started asking, well, where'd you get that stamp? I don't want what you're making. I want your stamp. All right, okay. So yeah. that's where the stamp came from. <laughs> and can you tell us about the way that you've made up uh, the stamps? Because these are clear stamps, which makes it easy, of course, to place on your designs. But they you've are. used these for a reason. Yep. So we choose high-grade photopolymer stamps. So the reason we use that is because you get so much flexibility with them. Whatever you can do with like a red or a grey rubber stamp, you can do with these. Yeah. I'll only use the best high-grade photopolymer possible. Now, these are all brand new today. We've got some gorgeous designs for you. We have separate options, but we also have a full complete collection as well. And with that complete collection, you get an extra stamp. So let's take you through the options so we can get to the demonstrations. Right, 099560 is for your complete collection, and that gets you that marvellous extra stamp just there, or two stamps of the pumpkins, because of course we're entering into Halloween is, season. And they're called Pip and Kin. Pip and King. I like that. <laughs> I ate my first pumpkin the other day. I grew it on the allotment. Oh, mm. I've never had any luck with pumpkins. I, I put some honey on it and I roasted it. It was absolutely gorgeous. But of course you can make soup, uh, which is quite a good thing. Uh, but you've also got the opportunity to use these for stamping as well. I don't suggest you eat these. But, oh no, uh, definitely no. not. <laughs> but they are, they're lovely characters. But you get that particular stamp set when you go for that whole complete collection for £25.98. So you can see with those beautiful samples around us, all the different cards, different decorative bags that you can make for these. You can also make some projects for the wall hangings. And if you wanted to, you could use these with um, fabric in absolutely I to make fabric yeah. patterns which I think would be fantastic yeah. they work beautifully on fabric they really do we've got your toadstool in there you've got there's no one like you which I love which is brilliant of course with the characters you can use lots of different colors to color in the gnomes they don't have to be red or blue or green and if you stamp many of them you've got well I don't know what a collection of gnomes is called I don't know. I don't know. No. A holiday of gnomes, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> if you know the answer, email in. It's studio at hochanda.com. But this is a great collection. Um, and inspi is it inspired by your love of gnomes? Well, it actually builds on what we brought two weeks ago when we were last on our leaves. We're going into autumn now. And I thought we had those beautiful leaves that we had on and the, in the show as well today. Um, and I just wanted to build on that a little bit. So now we've got our gnome, our grumpy little gnome. He's called Noel. I love it. <laughs> so cute. Um, and then we've also got Gus, as in fun Gus. Fun Gus. Fun Gus. Uh, the fun Gus. Oh, fun Gus. Fun Gus, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I thought it was? 
<laughs> I thought it was connected with the fun bus. <laughs> no fun bus. He's a fun bus. He's a fun <laughs> guy. <laughs> I thought it was fungus as in fungus, yeah. not fun bus. No fungus. I, I don't know why I thought fun bus, but I did. <laughs> the fun bus is what used to go on when you were a kid and they used to bring the libraries round and Oh, we had a things. different one near us. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Best not talk about that then. Uh, fun <laughs> Gus, get yeah. it now, get it now. And then you've got um, Grumpy Noel. The, a grumpy? Grumpy Noel. Grumpy Noel, look yeah. at that. He does um, need a wife though, I think he needs it's, a gnome. It's, like it's Norma. A, he does, he does. <laughs> now, your gnome collection uh, is included in that complete collection. I know you're going to have a lot of fun when you get this home. And of course, you've got those sentiments in there as well. And you can see just how clearly these stamp out as well. And this is just using uh, black on white card. Yep. I just literally did them before we came on air. So. Superb. Right, £25.98. It's brand new today. That is your complete collection. And with the complete collection, remember, you are getting that fun pumpkin stamp set as well. So lots of fun. You can mix and match all of these stamps together. 099560 is your item number. Uh, but we do have some embossing powders for you. And this is where the honk, the honk comes yeah. in. Not honk honk, um, but the smell of the embossing powders. Now you can choose any two for $9.99. It's a pick and mix. It's a pick and mix. So let's take you through the embossing powder. So first of all, vintage black. I'm going to open this up and I've got a card with vintage black on there. So you can see exactly what that looks like. So it's a bit uh, of a blacky brown kind Ooh, of mixture. Like a vintage black. Yeah, it is. So it's matte rather than shiny. I like that. Yep. I like that. Uh, now I'm going to give this a little sniff. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so wrong. <laughs> I'm going to smell it. I'm going to smell That's it. So, like, like a good wine. I'm going to... Ooh! That's like a roast coffee. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, now, isn't it? Now this is the vintage black. Mm -hmm. And when you, Ooh, you heat nice. them, it keeps the, those scents as you heat them. Does uh, it? When when they go on the card, it doesn't say as strong. No. Um, but it is still there, very faint. Oh, I like that. Oh, maybe we could, ooh, embossing and having the smell of coffee. That would wake you up in the morning, wouldn't it? And if you're thinking of selling your house, why don't you do a bit of crafting <laughs> with the black embossing powder and then it will smell like coffee and hopefully you'll sell your house. Don't believe me, it's just something I've made up. Uh, right, next up, we've got Raven's Night. Now, we're very busy for the uh, Raven's Night. Now, let me just show you this. Almost a third of the stock has gone. Um, is that the raven? No, it's the, the other mushroom. This one. Yeah, there you go, one. the other mushroom. That They're all mushrooms. Your, they are a mushroom. <laughs> I didn't like to say, Kim. I'm just going so it's with like you. A, it's a, it's a grey, but it's more like um, it's a dull grey. Yeah. yeah it's, there's no sparkle. It's got a lovely sheen to it. Like a dove, like a pigeon grey, not a dove grey, more yeah. like a pigeon grey. Well, the, the name came from, if you imagine ravens at night, that kind, they're not black, are they? They have that kind of sheen to them. Yeah, that when the moonlight goes yeah, on. Yeah, it's that bright. kind of colour you get from them. You're right. Of course, it's a raven grey, not a pigeon no. grey. What <laughs> am I talking about? Yeah. Shall I have a smell? <laughs> oh, now you do have to be quick for this. We're very, very busy. Uh, now, the tones I'm getting from this... <laughs> It's, like, it's a little bit like molasses, actually. Yeah, it's a weird one, that one. It's, to me, it's like Ooh. a sweet coffee. So, yeah, molasses. Maybe. Yeah, like a molasses in, in yeah. coffee, uh, which is gorgeous. Um, how have you actually put the... F oh, I was going to say flavour. Don't eat these. No, don't. Oh, don't. How do you put these, the smelly bits in there? Oh, the I'm scent? Not, I'm not that clever. They just come from the supplier. Oh, I'm, do not, they? I'm not that clever. Oh, OK. <laughs> right. I put them in the um, nice tubs. I've got, I've got the next one. <laughs> Which is uh, clear. Yes. Now let me let me have a whiff of this. Oh, that's quite sweet. It is very sweet. Yes. It's like white chocolate. Mm -hmm. And what I like about the clear is because you've got our stamps are high grade photopolymer. You can actually stamp into the clear. So if you heat up your clear, I like to get two or three layers of it. Yeah. And then stamp into it. So as long as you've covered your stamp yeah. in an ink. You then stamp into your, your embossing powder while it's hot and you get that lovely, um, like, debossed image. And we can do that with these stamps? Abs absolutely. Yeah. Love that. OK, we've got one more for you. Remember, these are a pick and mix. You can choose any two. And the final one, the antique white. The antique white. This looks fantastic on black card. It's Let like me just a, show you that. It's like so, a creamy colour, isn't it? It is, it is yeah. beautiful. That really is stunning. 
Uh, let me have a whiff of this. So this is the antique white. We're very busy for all of these. Um, you can go for all four if you want to. So pick and mix. You choose any two. If you go for all four, then of course the price will just change accordingly. <clears throat> Let's have a sip. <laughs> oh, that's like vanilla. It is. Out of all of them, I think that and the antique, uh, the, oh, the black, it's the that's strongest like a one. luxury bath. <laughs> Don't put it in your bath. Oh yeah, that is lovely. That is gorgeous. But, but they, I, they look fantastic and smell fantastic. What I love about that white as well is it's it's that distressed look you yes. get from it. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, all of them look distressed. They're not shiny. They're not bright. And it works with how you know how our designs are. How our designs look. Well, I'll tell you now, half the stock has gone of your antique white. Half the stock <laughs> has gone. You've got your clear there, which gives you that lovely, there you go, that gorgeous shiny finish. You've also got that raven black as well, or raven's night, which is gorgeous. And then you have the vintage black as well. $9.99, you choose any two. They will keep their aromas. That's the That's word the I've one. been thinking about. <laughs> your aroma, not your smell, not your, your honk. honk. <laughs> your aroma. Oh dear me. Uh, right, let's talk about the poly plates. Now, can we have a little chat about a poly plate? What's the difference between this being a stamp and it being a poly plate? Nothing, it's just bigger. Oh, okay, well, there you go. Um, so, you treat it in exactly the same way as you do your stamps. Um, the reason I wanted these and the reason I designed them is I want big spaces of colour, yeah. but I want to control where that colour's going. So, my poly plates are the shapes to create that background. Yeah, they create a focus on your Got card. You. Got you, because they're not yeah. detailed on the inside. Oh, absolutely not. It's, it's about just creating that space. You just use it to create um, a focus or um, just add colour to your background projects. Look at that. They're also really good for, if, like me, you're not very good at colour or in, in. Yes. That's that one. <laughs> colour or in, in. <laughs> That's yes. it. Um, they're great for creating, like, beautiful... Um, tones and mottled effects and then you just stamp your stamp on top of it and cut it out love that that looks like a real leaf but it's not that's, oh, that's one of mum she's amazing isn't she your mum <laughs> yeah oh what's your mum's name sue sue hello sue that is amazing that is amazing uh seven two five one eight nine twelve pounds and 99 pence uh, that's not just for the polyplate leaf you're also getting the sentiment as well so you've got a great deal there two stamps seven two five one eight nine is your item number of course you can mix your colors up on the polyplate oh yeah we should look really cool before you stamp that down as well so it's not just about creating that outline it's creating that space within as well right we're moving on because we've got another poly plate for you details on your screen these are your mini leaves so you've got a collection of three 11 pounds and 99 pence and these could not come at a better time with of course autumn really now truly on our doorstep yeah and they just make such a beautiful background for me and they also link into the, the next item we've got as well mm. the the doodles that go on top of them but look at that you've just got your big poly plate in the background and then we've just popped a few of your little leaves on the top isn't that lovely and you can see so simple the, though yeah it is and you can see in the background using the poly plate it creates that space it creates that background effect but these smaller leaves are absolutely beautiful and you can start layering these up i mean this would make a great uh, wreath somebody which would be lovely 11 pounds and 99 pence 107263 and the great thing is you'll be able to take your inspiration from mother nature because those leaves are turning right now uh, right next up another set for you um, we've got great stamps here and you get all of them included for 12.99 which is brilliant so you've got your leaves you've got your sentiment and you've got well, what are we calling that a splod just dotties mini dots mini dots <laughs> mini dots uh, which are really useful when you're building up your backgrounds absolutely mm. and with the leaves as well you never when you look at leaves there's always bits isn't there with them as well so your little dots in the background just creates beautiful texture yeah here's the sentiment time you enjoy wasting is not wasted time so no. very very true um, these are lovely samples yet again and uh, just bring that up and show you that's a lovely one using all of those leaves you can see the yes, detail in there yeah that's one of Susie's and um, she, she's a big on her ATCs she was making those little books I do like that let me just and that book will then just fold in like yeah. so and then you've got the little leaf over there uh, let me show you this sample this is nice because this is collecting the leaves and actually building them up so that does look like your doorstep with all the leaves <laughs> falling at the moment yeah and my mum's done that one again so she's used the mini poly plates in the background yeah to create the, that lovely color and then she stamped over the top with those doodle stamps 
That's lovely. That is so clever, isn't it? So, so clever. £12.99, you get five stamps. 191131 is your item number. Uh, right, next up, next up, we've got some great textured stamps for you here. Uh, and this is great for building up your backgrounds, isn't it, Kim? Absolutely. I love, I'm a bit frightened of white space. Um, so for me, having textured stamps is great because I can just flat them all down. Get me layers there. Yeah, and I'm, I'm happy then. It's so great. I've got isn't right it? space. Yeah, I've done something with it. I like that. Sometimes, so simple though. Yeah, and when you put that white card in front of you for the very first time, you, you, well, it's a blank space. It it's is. like walking into an empty room and saying, "Decorate it." Yeah, you've and got to start somewhere, haven't you? Exactly, and it does. It, it really white space. It's one of those. It's almost like paralysing, isn't it? Because you don't know what to do, but. If you just start off with your dotties, so the little dotty stamp on there, you soon break that background up and then you're away because then you're on to your next, oh, I can put that in, I can put that colour in. Yeah, it's like taking your first step. Once you've taken your first step, well, you've got to take another one and another one after that. £12.99, three stamps in total. Great set of stamps for you there. 119197 is your item number for that one. Uh, we've got more stamps for you. These are on the website. These are the industrial textures. You might want to go for these as well. They're only £12.99. Um, and you get all three sets. 095184. Um, we've also got some more poly plates for you now. So if you like the idea of building your backgrounds and building those shapes up, this is going to be a great way to do it. Now, this is not limited stock. Uh, £11.99. <laughs> you also get the saying as well. Uh, you find strength in the strangest of places. In the strangest of places. Yeah. You do indeed. Uh, we've also got a circle available for you. Uh, there you go. And that's 996267. That's your item number. Only 1199 and you also get the sentiment as well or the saying. Um, and then we've got one more to show you. If you want some card to stamp on, oh, we've got the Pink Frog Super Smooth. This is going to be perfect. It's a seven-day saver. It's the last day to get it. Of course, this is Saturday. Uh, we launch new seven-day savers tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Uh, £13.98. pence. You're saving £8. Pounds, 300 GSM. That is great value for money. It's definitely worth popping those into your basket. So you can start stamping out as soon as you get your collection home. Right, let's head to Kim for our first demonstration. What we're going to have a look at first, Kim? Well, I'm going to start off with a poly plate. To create my background on oh, my great. card. I want white space. No, nope. I need to get that white space covered. Which one are we using? The big leaf? The big leaf The first. big leaf. And okay. it's literally we'll put those just, details on the screen for you. It's just to create a background. So I'm going to use my Distress inks for this. And as long as you go paler to darker, you're all right. Um, you're not going to contaminate your inks. Distress oxides, you do one colour at a time. That's the key difference. So I've got Go a bit of news for people at home, sorry, <laughs> yet you saw me reach for this. <laughs> the antique white has sold out, the embossing powder, the antique white has now sold out. Uh, pick a mix left though, you've got three colours to choose from. Vintage black, you've got Raven's Night and you've got the clear. Raven's Night is limited, remember these all have an aroma. We got there in the end with that, didn't we? It's Not a honk. honk. Yeah. Um, and if you want to go for your Raven's Night, just to let you see, there you go, absolutely fantastic. Like I know I've got a clear pot, but I like to open it up to show you, and also have another whiff again. But they're also really nice big wide pots, so it's easy, for me, I need a bigger target to put my embossing powder yeah. back in, because I'm a bit yeah. of a messy crafter, Yeah. so a bigger fat neck on a pot, I've got a bigger target, that's yeah. all. And also for putting it back in. Yeah. Also for putting it back in. Uh, so we are um, very, very busy for the remaining embossing powders. Uh, check them out on your website, only 9 99 Sorry about that, Kim. Not to worry. So what I've started to do is I've taken my big leaf and I've just inked it over. I'm using fossilised amber for this one. So all over with my fossilised amber. And then I'm going to take, I've got wild honey. And I'm just going to start inking up the stalk. And then I'm just going to, oh, I'm going to go onto the pointy bits. Do you know what's lovely about this time of year? You can actually take, go out and collect some leaves that just coloured so beautifully and perhaps use them in conjunction with the stamps and plates that we've got on the show. Yeah, for me, autumn is, you know, if you've ever, you ever have that time when you think, oh, I'm not quite sure what, what to do or what colour scheme to do. Yeah. For me, autumn's that time. It just gives you the, the inspiration. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It's, Mother Nature is so colourful at the moment. It's incredible. So there we go. We've got a lovely big leaf on the background. Now, I really like... How did you get that that textured, washed-out look? Literally, that... you just spritz your poly plate, little bubbles, Yeah. Um, and then you just pop it onto your card. That's, and that's just one... That's, that's just one the big setting poly plate. Poly I'll tell plate. you what, I am going to do some little leaves on this one okay. as well. So... Oops. 
That's my bit for null. Right, so I'm going to do that again on our mini poly plates. So I'm just going to grab, I'm going to see which ones I've got cut out here. It's that one. I'll do all my poly plates to begin with, shall I? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do. I, now, the stamp you're using at the moment is from, is it from the Gnome set? No, this is the mini, I'm using the mini oak leaf on this one. Right. So again, I'm just going to go in again. So I'm going to take my fossilised amber. Yep. All over. And then I'm going to take my wild honey. And just, I'm, I'm just getting the edges. I'll tell you what, actually, I'm going to swap it for a slightly darker orange so you can see a bit better. Okay. So can you see, I'm just touching the edges there. Now this is a mini leaf, isn't yeah, it? Yes, so this is mini leaf. In the poly plate. Mm -hmm. So I'm jumping around, aren't I? No, not at all. <laughs> um, just because people watch it and they think, right, I want that one. We just need to get the details on the screen. Um, but it so, is your poly plate and it's your three leaves. Um, and that's the one that uh, Kim is using at the moment. Just to let you know, there you go. So you've got three different shaped leaves in there. Do you know the different leaves? You've got your, you've got an oak, oak leaf, a birch, is it? Bir birch. Uh, yeah, you've got your birch leaf. And, and then a maple. It's a maple leaf. Yeah. Oh, that's what it's meant to be. Yeah. Oh, no, yes, yeah, absolutely. It, it's my doodling, so. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> I can nice. make up any leaves, can I, really? So all I've done is I've now spritzed it with water, and I've just got those lovely little bubbles on my poly plate, and that's what we're looking for, bubbles. If it looks like a river on there, not mm. going to work. You just want little bubbles, and then when you turn it over, press it down, you all mix and merge together, and lift it up. Could also be a hawthorn. It could be as well. Could, so I'll just do that again. Gorgeous. So you just go around your edges. And I find it easier to hold my ink pad at an angle yeah. and go to the opposite side. Because oh, if you go that way, you yeah. end up with straight lines on your on your poly plate. And you don't want that. No. No, you want it to like it's feathered in. Oh, that was a big word once. Feathered in. Yeah, Ooh, technical I like term that, that one. Do I get a brownie point for that one? Absolutely. The more big words and things we can come out with, the better. <laughs> so again, you just want those little bubbles on your poly plate, flick it over, and then just give it a splodge. Very technical. Very good. And you lift him up, and you can see you just get that lovely Photosynthesis. Colour. There's a big word for you. Photosynthesis. That's to do okay. with plants. It is. It's how they get their um, green, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. I learned something in biology. So then all I would do now is I would take my lovely little doodles. Okay. Make sure it's on my stamp block first. And just ink them up. Ooh, bouncy table. And then you can see these line up beautifully. Just like that. And then that will add the detail within. I suppose you could use them separately. You didn't you don't uh, have you to don't, use them with the poly plates. Um, they look beautiful. I could just cut that out now and yeah. it'd look lovely. But wouldn't you just add that little bit more detail to it? Yeah, highlights yeah. it, doesn't it? Right. It's nice to have the choice though, Kim. It's nice to be able to build a background without the detail and then use the detail to bring it into the foreground. Yeah, and sometimes for me I don't always want that detail. I want the idea. Because yeah. that's what it is with the poly plates. You have to, it gives you the idea of something. So we've had the um, the leaf. You've got all different ones, all different shapes that give you the idea of what it is. Like the Christmas wreath we've got as well. Yeah. Um, and so it, it doesn't have to be perfect. I like that. Oh. I like th this is a good example of that. So you've got the suggestion in the background of the falling leaves. And then, of course, here in the foreground, you've got the detail. And it works because if you put too much detail here... It's it going detracts. to lose the impact, yeah. yeah you're right, that is gorgeous. So what you'll notice on that as well, I, the focus of that is the black ink. So you've got Wishing You a Magical Day and the Mushroom is stamped in black. Yep. Everything else is either wishy-washy, so this lovely, the, basically the technique we've just done, um, or brown ink. Yeah. So your eye is drawn to Mushroom, so Mr Gus, yep. and you, you're saying... Love that. Wishing you a magical day. So now, all I'm doing is I'm going to ink up Noel because I want a bit more of a focus. This is my focal point now for my card. So I'm stamping it in black. Oh, I've got Angelina on there. Now, 30% of the complete collection has now gone. So we're very, very busy for that. Still time, though, to get in touch. Jump on the phone or head to the website and pop this into your basket. £25.98. Remember, if you're going for that full complete collection, you're also getting the pumpkin as well. And what are the pumpkin's names? Pip and King. Pip and King. It didn't sound right calling him Pump. Pump. <laughs> <laughs> I learned oh. that after I started doing... Yeah, no, he's going to be called Pip. <laughs> Brilliant. So there you go, there's my little Nomi. Brilliant. Now, 
I said before, I'm not a colourer in that word. Yep. So I cheat. I use my distress inks to paint with. Yep. So all I'm going to do is he's going to have a nice um, like base. So I'm just grabbing my paintbrush, a little bit on me, my mat. I always put my water to one side and my ink to the other. Oh. Yeah. Because if you squirt on top of it, you've got no control of how much ink you're taking to how water you're right. it is. You are right. What a great tip. Yeah. And do the same with your brush out. Okay. So if you're using your brush out, do exactly the same technique on there. So just come in and give it a quick paint and then you start to build your colour up. Because I don't want that watery bit now, I want this deeper colour here. Now the image there is big enough, if you were to cut that out, you could make some little bunting. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? Oh. Or like little Christmas tree decorations. Oh, that would be cool, wouldn't it? Shrink so that stick. Earrings for Christmas. Now we're going to have a bit of a green gnome, I think, because that's the colours I've got on my desk. So I'm going to go from peel paint this time. I've been a right messy crafter today, aren't I? It's good, it's good to be messy. We like messy it crafters. Is. I do like being messy. And I'm just going to, can you see how I've gone in really watery that first time yeah. on there? So just give it like a wash basically to begin with. Well, you could use it to make a postcard to send to somebody to tell them that their gnome's gone on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> do people do that? Do know. people take people's gnomes and then send them postcards? Um, they, I've known it happen. Have you? I'm not saying, I can't say anymore. Have you ever of. done it? No, of course not. Okay. Nope. Um, so all I'm doing again is I'm just taking that slightly darker, you're going to get me in trouble today, that more concentrated ink and just popping it on here. You can see how quickly these are to colour in, doing it this way. So again, just bring your colour in. There's that one. Clean off my paintbrush. And, and then that's I'm, the reason why, keeping the water and the ink separately, you can go back to the same colour. Yep. Brilliant idea. You just pop it on pop your water next to it and you have full control over your ink and like I say if you were using your brush hose or something um, similar again always put your water separate don't spritz on top of it one because it sends it everywhere yeah especially with something like a red you just end up with it everywhere not good um, but you've created your own little pa color palette now aren't you well, I there. like the shading that you're doing there and then so that's my water that's my concentrated bit so I'm coming yep. back in on my concentrated bit and I know Susie does some the most beautiful colouring in because that's you know, Susie's amazing at colouring in. I am not. You this are doing a great. I'm just watching what you're doing there. So you've got the the darker shades towards the body, mm -hmm. and also on the hat. So that's a it all matches up. Yep. I'm rubbish at shading, so I'm always fascinated when I see other people do it. Well, that's why I like to use. I keep it simple. I don't want lots and lots of colours because yeah. I've got to use more than one thing. It, it complicates things for me. Oh, that was a lot of ink, wasn't it? Don't so, need that much. So you think to begin your shading journey, or to begin your shady journey, <laughs> um, just use two colours and I get would used start, to it. What? Well, what I used to do is just take like my brush out, or my, oh, these are a bit the same colour, aren't they? Never mind. Um, just start with one colour. So if you're using your distress inks or your brush, just pop a little bit on the table because I'm going to colour in later on with that distress oxide yeah. as well. Just pop it on the colour, on the table, and you can find all the different tones. Just adding a little bit more water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like to make use of what's on my desk. I'm I'm a bit of a um, frugal crafter. Fru? Yeah. yeah. Frugal. I'm trying. <laughs> Oh, there we over go. a third of the stock of the complete collection has gone now, mm -hmm. Kim. We're very busy for that complete collection. Remember, you're getting the extra stamp when you go for the complete collection, which is great value for money at £25.98. pence. And I do need to tell you, the embossing powders, they're all limited stock. We've only got three left. Your vintage black, we've got your Raven's Night, and we've got your clear. So only those three are left. It's a pick and mix. Choose any two. You can have two of the same one if you want to. Uh, if you're going for all three, then you'll need to add another one, of course, because it is a pick and mix on two. Uh, so you can go for four if you want to. Anything in increments of two. Uh, but we're limited stock on all of those. 528118, and they've got lovely aromas of vanilla and coffee and sweet coffee like molasses. Um, and that aroma will stay when you actually heat them up as well. So yeah. that is really so when you I love heat the them, idea. It stays with it. It's not as strong as when you're heating it up because they do whiff when you. I, I, I'm not good at this whole kind of like um, talking about the whiffiness of them. It, it's really strong when you heat them up, and then slowly it starts to fade away. But it's, it is always there. 
and just it's a lot more subtle. That's the word I was oh, looking no, for. Oh no, we've sold it. I'm showing you that one. I'm teasing you now. We've <laughs> sold out of that one. Sorry, beg your pardon. We've got the clear. This is the clear. There you go. So it's lovely and shiny. We've also got your vintage black which again is gorgeous colour and you've got the Raven's Night which is more of a grey colour which is really nice. Uh, 528-118 is your item number if you want to go for your embossing powders but we are limited stock on the final three colours. Limited stock on all of them actually. They've gone very very well Kim. They have. Oh so Clear's just sold out. Sorry Kim. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. Leaf, left, that's leaf dew with. I'm still <laughs> thinking about. Do you know what? I actually didn't mean to say it like that, but that has leaf dew with too. <laughs> and before you email in, I do know it's left. I'm just le leafing it up a bit. Right, so all I've done with Mental Little Gnome, I've forgotten to colour in his patch. So I've coloured in his patch on his hat. Oh! Yeah, and then I've just cut him out, and you can see how simple he is to cut out. So I have to pop him there. And then I'm going to take my sentiment, and I love this sentiment that comes with Noel. Um, imagination takes you everywhere, anywhere, sorry. I really do love this one. Because you can just mask off imagination. And you can just mask off magical on the other one as well. Yeah, you could. So if you, if you masked off imagination, what would it say? Just imagination. Oh, sorry, I meant mask off the other bits. It will take you anywhere. Mm -hmm. But that, the size of imagination is just a beautiful one too. It is, it's lovely. There we go. So I'm just going to make sure Have you I got a very there. daydreamy mind? It goes off on um, certain tangents quite a lot. Does it? <laughs> <laughs> but that's a good thing. It means you're creative. Mm. I'm just going to put any ink on that bit. So to finish this off, all I would do is that be matted up onto that. Actually, I've got a base card as well. Where am I going? There we go. Right, so I've got a base card. I'd pop that on there. I've been super organised, which is not like me at all. You can see that lovely poly plate in the background. Love that. I'd pop that in there somewhere. I might be tempted to just have it hanging off a little bit. Just something a bit like that. And then I've taken my leaves, and again, these are dead easy to cut out. Yeah? And then just give them a bit of a fold, give them a bit of texture. Yeah? Just crinkle them up a bit. Mum's great at doing that bit. Oh, Lord. And then you just start to add them in. And if you wanted to... Oh, this is the fancy bit. No, you start to add it all up, make it all look pretty. Now, those the leaves, gap. are they from the poly plates or the leaf stamps? So, so they're the ones we've just done, the mini poly plates, and then we put the doodle over the top. Brilliant. So he would look something a bit like that. I might be tempted to move my imagination, maybe. Mm, no. Just something like that. And you can see how it all works together. I do, I like that. I liked it further down, actually, when you first it's put it. It's kind of off the page yeah. a little bit like that. To be fair, I think if we were to just... Ignore that bit and stamp it straight on there. That would look even hey, nicer. Hey, that's a good idea. Yeah. Should we do that quickly? Idea. Oh, yeah. yeah. There we go. So I'll just ink it up again and see if I can try and ink up the whole thing this time. Might be a good idea. <laughs> I like it on the clean white card, but I think I'm going to like it stamped directly on there as well. I'm going to do it about there, I think. And then the nice thing is, if I mess it up stamping it on here, I can always cover that up with that one. Yep, yeah, there you go. Forward you thinking that one. Give it a go, give it a try. There we go. There we go, I managed oh, to stamp yeah, it properly like this time. Yeah, that's nice. So you could just have that by itself and maybe a few little... Yes, like, yeah. leaves or something like that. So yeah. That could look quite nice. You but see, we want Noel in there. Yeah, go on, put him there. No, Noel's got to be there. Now, with that in mind, because we like it with the leaves, we like it with no, we like it without, if we're making more than one card, uh, if we're batch making, for example, oh. can we sell? We Kim? can indeed. Can we? As long as you're not electronically producing them, so as long as you don't scan them into your computer and then print them out. Of course, yes. We're fine. That goes without question. Oh, thanks yeah. for that. What a great demo, and that showed you all the different uses of the stamps and the poly plates together. Now, we're 40% of the stock gone on the complete collection. Got some lovely samples here to show you as you view those stamps we've got some lovely stamps of the nose we've got the sentiments in there you've got your mini textures as well and your mini stamps so you can really start to build up your images and you've also got that extra stamp set in there of the pumpkins uh, if you're going for that complete collection 099560 is your item number I mean this is lovely isn't it and with the fact that those leaves are brought forward it really does look like the gnome is sat right in
in the middle of a pile of leaves, which are gorgeous. You can choose different colours for your gnomes as well. Uh, make a little storybook out of them. Use them with shrink plastic if you want to. Uh, make a little puppet theatre, that's what I was thinking. Put them on some lollipop sticks and maybe, oh, here's an idea. Put them on lollipop sticks. Make them waterproof. You can put them out in the garden. You can write on the back what your plants are called. <gasps> Little cool. plant markers. <gasps> no, plant guardians. Plant guardians, yeah. Plant guardians. <laughs> oh, you were quite... You were quite <laughs> they yeah, are. Plant guardians, that's what they are. Is that oh. what gnomes are? I don't know, but they are now. They are now. Okay. Plant guard. <laughs> that, is a, that is a great idea, even though I did think of it myself. Um, but we shrink plastic as well. All of the stamps will look fantastic. And that includes the mushrooms as well. Uh, it doesn't matter how big your craft room is. I mean, it might be small. You might not have much room for these stamps, <laughs> but I'm sure you'll find somewhere to put hold of them as well. Uh, just another... I think we can arrange it. Yeah, Let's get you on in. That's brilliant. But it's um, the character she's got. You know, look at those eyes on those little pumpkins. Yeah. Aren't they great? Mm -hmm. Absolutely brilliant. That one in the middle. Superb. £25.98. Uh, very busy for that complete collection. Uh, but we've got two bundles for you. You can divide it into two. So if you want the fungus, do you like what they did there? <laughs> Love that. Uh, wishing you a magical day. Just £12.99 for that. And that also includes that mini texture stamp as well. That, and that's great value for money. Sorry, that little texture stamp. I know it doesn't look much and it's not very big at all, but it is brilliant. You can see on that card just above the word the magical one it and the is one here yeah beautiful it's such a, a cracking stamp Isn't if you've great? got our lots of circles or yeah. um a hexagon one or there's a few oh even the chicken wire there's a few texture stamps i go yeah that is the one i enjoy yeah. working with that little square one is it is new and um, i'm going to be using that a lot i can see it I like that. You've got a lot mm -hmm. of scope with there, haven't you? Because yeah. you can leave it as it is, or you could colour in parts of the squares and make it look uh, funky in that yeah. way, which is really good. Love that. So that's your first set. 961338 is your item number. That's for your first set. Your second set that you've got right here, uh, there's No One Like You. Love <laughs> this. £12.99. Uh, you get those gorgeous gnomes in there. You also get your imagination will take you anywhere. And then you get those three stamps here, which are gorgeous for filling in spaces. They are. They're a really good one for just if you want to do some pattern building. You, know, you're talking about working on fabric before. Yes, yeah. Stamp out your gnome um, a few different places, and then just pop them in between. And um, there was a lovely little sample. Well, there's that one, oh, and there should be another one where we've got like a semicircle of our. Um, our gnome in the middle and there's a semicircle with that's the one see there you go you're ahead Look of that <laughs> yeah you see it's like the wind is blowing them around love a good job you didn't call him pump uh right zero two nine six nine zero uh, if you do want both remember you get the pumpkin stamp set uh, which is a it's a great addition isn't it it really is 25 pounds and 98 pence zero nine nine five six zero is your item number right embossing powders let's see what we've got left uh all right single figures Single figures on your vintage black and your raven's night. What did I do with my swashes? Samples. <laughs> swashes. It's not an easy word to say that. <laughs> swash. Is it swash? Swatch. <laughs> That's why it's not easy to say. Because it's not swash at all. Sorry, your swatches. Right, we have got your vintage black and your Raven's Night. These are the only two we've got left. $9.99 for any two. So you could have two of the Vintage Black, two of the Raven's Night, or you could have one of each. It's entirely up to you. But we are, oh, vintage. Right, you can have two of the Raven's <laughs> Night because that's the only option you've got. It's a pick and mix. <laughs> right, we need to move on because we're sold out. Sorry about that. Right, I need to put those lovely aroma smelling. They're all gone, so we'll move. Step away from the pack shot and move on. Right, let's talk poly plates. You saw these in action with Kim. Uh, great for building your backgrounds. And what's really nice about that is that when Kim did the demonstration with the ink on there and adding water, that's when you get this lovely textured background. They're absolutely fantastic. And of course, you can um, stamp with them and then cut them out to create really effective leaves on there if you want to or just use them as a background £12.99 but you also get the saying as well you also get let me pick this one up to show you I'll bring it up to you there you go uh, change happens all the time let's it's up oh, to sorry you. it's up to you 
to see the beauty. I should have my glasses on, really. But it's not the actual size that you're seeing there. The stamp is bigger. Uh, let me show you. If I'm... Is that the one? That's the one. There you go. It's huge, really. It is big, and it's on the card, yeah. isn't it? It's on the one right in front of you. This one. In your hand. There you go. It's on there. there That's half that of it. That is a good size, isn't it? It is. Like that. Um, I, I, I really like stamping out onto a piece of card and then putting that onto your card. I think it makes it stand out a little bit more, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does. Uh, so busy for that one. Twelve pounds and ninety-nine pence. Seven two five one eight nine is your item number. Now we were using the mini leads. Very busy for these, actually. Uh, your poly plate with the mini leaves. This gives you your outline, doesn't it, Kim? It does. It gives you that the idea of a leaf. So it's not meant for detail. It's not meant for your um, to be a focal point, but it yeah. can be. Yeah. It's, it's just to give you that idea of leaves. See, Susie's done a lovely job there. She stamped them all, and then she's popped white liner pen, I fine like line around it, and it looks lovely. I also like that as well with the text that's been used inside the leaves. That's a great idea. Yep. Sorry, I'll turn that the right way up. <laughs> so that was done onto well, pattern paper. I suppose if you didn't see that, it wouldn't really matter, would it? <laughs> there you go. So that's been stamped onto pattern paper using oxides. But what's nifty about that one is I've not inked up the whole of the leaf. I've just done the edge. So before, when I was adding my second colour, that's how I added just the oxide to the edge of that polyplate. So you don't think you have to use the whole of the polyplate, if that makes sense. Wow. Now, I'm going to ask a question. Is that from an actual book or is it just gibberish? No, it was um, pattern paper. Was it? I found a mountain oh, yeah. of pattern paper I haven't seen for a while. If you've got any old text paper or oh, books, absolutely. you could stamp directly onto them. Do you remember when, an idea. Do you remember it used to be like those masses of computer papers that used to just come spinning out the computer? Yes. Wouldn't they be fabulous? And oh, we just used to pick them up and bin them. Yeah. They would be brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> brilliant. Um, so that's your poly plates. That gives you the impression of the leaves. Now, if you want the detail, um, you could either sketch into it or you could use the corresponding stamps. Now, you don't have to have the poly plate to use the stamps. You can use the stamps separately if you want to. And they're a good size stamp as well, as you can see on the samples, which look absolutely gorgeous. So this is going to give you the outline, but the detail of yeah, the leaf. And they are lovely. So they're, they're not meant to be a detailed leaf they are my doodlings yeah there's, there's nothing real about them they're just a doodle yeah yeah so nothing scientifically correct no no nothing just there. craftily beautiful yeah oh, i just sat down and done a bit of doodling like with the mushroom and with um noel as well i just sit and doodle yeah, that's what I do. Oh, yeah, fantastic. £12.99, you get five stamps, of course, because it's not just the leaves that you're getting. You're also getting the dots, which are great for building up your backgrounds. And also, you're getting your saying as well, which is the other side. Oh, that's upside down as well. <laughs> that's because I picked that up. Hey, well, do you know what? It doesn't matter because they're dots. They could go anywhere you like, anywhere you like. And then you've also got your saying there, Time you enjoy wasting is not wasted time. Uh, by the way, that's not a stamp at the bottom, not shown actual size, <laughs> although it might be quite good to have a stamp that says that. You know, why not? Why not? Maybe someone's working to on put it in right your now. Books. Yeah, to put in your scrapbooks. Uh, or something else, not actual size. Uh, £12.99, <laughs> 191131 is your item number. You know, for cakes and things like that, if okay. you're cooking cakes. Okay. Uh, right, <laughs> right. Let's move on to our last item before I get the sack <laughs> and head back to Kim. Uh, textured stamps are always handy, aren't they? And very, very useful when you're building up your backgrounds, doing any kind of background building. Uh, £12.99, 119197 is your item number. And you get three stamps in that particular collection. They're going to add that texture, they're going to add that detail in the background. And I know you're going to have lots of fun using them as well. Well, twelve pounds and ninety nine pence, one one nine one nine seven. Right, Kim, we're heading back to you for more demonstrations. Okie dokie. So this time I'm gonna use the industrial um, texture stamps. So in it you get the industrial uh, the, sorry, the distress panel and I love this one. So in the naturals you use the dotties as the base layer. Yep. Um, and in this one it's the industrial the distress panel. So I've got three um, oxides lined up on my desk. All different shades of brown. So I'm going to work in one tone on this card, so it's okay. brown. So I'm going to start off with Rusty Hinge because it's my palest colour. I'm just going to ink up my stamp. I'm going to turn this around a little bit. Do you often wonder where all the leaves go? 
so many fall from the trees and pe you, you probably sweep them up in your own garden but nobody sweeps them up off the road or the pavements but they eventually just go don't they i think they all come back to our house because my little Do one's that. got a habit of picking them up and bringing them home <laughs> it's like a lost soul for leaves it's oh um, he does he does like a leaf so all i'm doing is i'm just popping my distress panel down the middle now what you've noticed i've got a little gap at the top here and i'm going to have a similar gap at the bottom yep that looks great and then the key with this is to always stamp it the same way so if your lines are going that way yeah yep yeah, stamp you want it linear basically you don't want to be doing it at one ang at different angles got yeah, you all the same it, way crosses like that yep yeah. i'm seeing a face in that okay. um, it's funny um, there's a beetle as well if you look really closely. I've seen like a skull in oh, there. Oh, here? Yeah, the two yeah. eyes at the top. Well, Mum always calls it the beetle. Ooh. Because you've got these little legs and these little pincers at the front. Not pincers, you know what I mean, the antennae, but that was a technical bit for me, wasn't it? So I'm just going to do that across. So you can see I've kept my lines the same way. Because like it looked daft if I went like that now. Yeah, it would. Yeah. I'm trying to think I of like it. technical too. Really quick oh, I can see a dog face. I can see a little doggy face at the bottom. <laughs> can you see that? The two eyes and then the nose. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Now you've said it. Yeah. yeah. I've never seen that one before. So I'm going to grab my code now because these all work really well together. And I'm going to go in with my vintage photo. So my next shade of brown, basically. I'm just going to pop that there. I'm going to stamp one at the bottom. I'm trying not to get inky pinkies on this, but it's very hard for me. So one towards the bottom again, just... Are you using the same colour? No, I've gone to a different one. So I started off with Rusty Hinge, I'm now going to Vintage Photo. Okay. Just because I want a little bit. There we go. Just ink that one up again. I like this. We've gone, we've gone from a real whimsical style with the gnome, and now we're going for a really cool, grungy style. Yeah, to be fair, grungy is normally where we go to. Grungy yeah. is our style, but occasionally I will do some like more whimsical, yeah. like you say. Um, this is my comfort zone. Is it? <laughs> I'm very into my textures. So you can see all I've done, two lots of that one, I've just popped that on my belly. And then I'm going to take my lovely sketch lines. Now the sketch lines don't really look much, they're just lines, Okay. but it's what you do with them. So these are great for adding um, a bit of focus on your card. So drawing your eye to a, a yeah. image. So I'm just going to ink this up. So I've got to walnut stain now. I'm going quite dark. Make sure you ink him up. And again, I'm just going to come down on top of this one. Oh, that could be like a woody effect. Yeah, it is. It's a lovely. lovely yeah, I build. like that. I'm just going We're to actually again. getting busy for this set now, Kim. Twelve ninety nine. It's a great price, it really is. Um, and you've got included in that. You can see the lines that uh, Kim is using right now. Uh, you've got two stamp sets of the lines there. You've also got that lovely textured. We could see all kinds of things in there. I wonder what you're going to see when you get these home. And you've also got the saying as well. It's not a saying. It's more just random script. Would it's you say. computer text. Computer text. Yeah. So there this, you go. the idea behind this one is it's a bit more masculine. So the natural set is very um, well. It's, it's natural. It, it's like those free flowing kind of um, images. Whereas this one is more, you know. Angular and a bit more, yeah. Mm. Oh, I like that. Oh, can we see Kim do that? Oh, no. that's, that's quite a good. Did we see that? It's a good description. Can we do it again? It's a bit more. Go on. Oh. A bit more. Mm. Yeah, I like that. A bit stronger. There we go. I like that. Sometimes we can't find the words, so sometimes it's good to show the actions, yeah. isn't it? I like that. So I like that. At the moment, oh. my card's looking. You know, back to Kim. You don't need to see how I'm doing it. Mm. <laughs> so at the moment, my card is looking really long and thin. Yeah, so now I just want to extend it the other way. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to pop this across now, just to make it. I like this. Yep, yeah. and now yeah. we've created a lovely little focus. Yeah. So we could have anything there, we could stamp whatever you wanted right in that bit. But do, you know, do you know what would look nice on that? If you had a bit of vine going down it and you sold a piece of jewellery or something, oh, that would be a really nice be background nice. To, yeah. to, to a piece of jewellery or something. It would indeed. So, I'm going to move that to one side and I'm going to work on our mushroom next. Oh, yeah. Or, as we like to call it, our mutts room. Mutts room? No. 
Don't know why. Mushroom. Mushroom. Yeah. Mushroom. Mushroom. So I'm just going to stick him on my block. You can see mine are very well used stamps. I love dirty stamps because I show that they're loved. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to ink him up. Is there any particular way of cleaning your stamps? Literally, I've got my ratty cloth. Yeah. So water on a cloth, perfect. You don't want to be using baby wipes or anything like that. No. Just water, cloth or kitchen roll. If they're really bad. Half the stock, Kim, has gone up the complete collection. Is this the only show today? It is indeed. Oh, what a shame. Right, well, over half the stock has gone. If you want to get yours, the details on your screen so we continue with the demonstration. 099560 if you're giving us a call or you can head to the website. £25.98. Freedom members, no PMP to pay on that. Right, so all I'm doing is I'm just making sure I stamped him. And I've just realised I didn't quite put him on my block, so... That's going to be a bit hit and miss, There wasn't it? much room for him, though. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no comments. So, um, now, I don't want to introduce any more colour. Yep, so we're going to stick to the colours we had before. You can see, I'm, that's how I store my stamps. I am if really If you think naughty. my jokes are bad, you should meet our director, Chris. He's a really fun guy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Right, so I'm just going to pop a little bit of our, just like I did before, my rusty hinge. And this is my paler one, so it's going to be for his legs. Well, leg, it's only one, isn't it? So again, into my water. So I get my water. Oh, he's going to have very bright legs. So in here. And I'm just going to do exactly the same as what we did before. Because it's a really quick way of colouring in. You could spend hours doing these. And I know Susie has spent ages colouring in on her samples. Um, and then... I literally come along and go, oh, I'll just throw a little bit. Yeah, but you do it, it so well, Kim. You really do it well. Well, I like to get the most out of my products. If I've got an ink pad sat on my desk, it's got to be worth that spot on my desk, hasn't it? It certainly has. So I'm just going to come back in again, where my little lines are, and then, because this is a vine growing up in, I'm just going to come in along here, just like that. And if you notice, I use a very flat-nosed yeah. um, paintbrush. And that gives me those lovely angular lines just like that there we go and then my next one I am going to grab should we go to walnut stage you think you should have a really yeah yeah dark yeah, dark and dark and dangerous mushroom <laughs> there we go so he's gonna just spritz again I should have done these warts until I was there, but never mind. We'll soon come. What's the difference between a mushroom and a toadstool? Oh. I don't know. I know toadstools are different colours and often poisonous, but I'm just thinking this is a mushroom stamp, but you could turn it into, yes, you could, one could turn it into a, mush, um, a toadstool by just painting it a different colour. Colour. You can paint these any colours, and it's also what is nice is to put a little googly eye on him. Oh. You know, in your little dots, put googly eyes on him, he turns into a little bit of a monster. Oh, that's good. There we go. So all I'm doing is just adding a bit more in now, and that's what I love about outside. You get this lovely chalky finish to them. That is very good. I like and that. And then, so I'm just going to go into him. Um, I've got my concentrated inks now, just to finish up on my little vines. There we go. I am, I'm going to have to colour in his warts, I'm afraid. His warts? Yeah, yeah his little warts and his mushrooms. So what do you call them on a mushroom? Warts? I don't know, but he's got warts. <laughs> <laughs> so the last one. Let's colour him in again. Now we've got so less again. than two minutes left <gasps> on the show, so make fast. sure you do check out your baskets and get everything you want. This is the only hour that we've got with Kim, unfortunately, uh, today. So just make sure you get what you want whilst we've got it. Right, so I'm just going to quickly... Ooh, that was really bad cutting out there. Whilst Kim is just cutting out the mushroom, I just want to show you some samples of different colours just to inspire you. So we've got a blue one there with that blue background, which is really nice, on the, that uh, text paper. There's a purple one there, which is beautiful, uh, which is really nice. Could you use some embossing powder on that if you've got some? There's a, a gorgeous red and gold one with that great background. And then you've got the bluey purple one. Oh, I've got another one for you as well. There you go using the leaves as well. So lots of different ways that you can colour in your mushroom uh, to make it look different each and every time. Right. 
Oh, perfect. Hi, no, there just you go. now then. Right, so to finish this off, all I'm going to do is I've got my lovely base card again. I've got, I keep going for craft card. Craft card seems to work really well with these. You've got about 30 seconds right. left. So all I'm not do wishing to hurry you is to finish it off. But oh. we are. <laughs> okay. I was going to take my Eunice stamp, but I'm not quite sure where I've thrown it. And then all I'm going to do now is, oh, I'm going to run out of time. One, two, three. Oh, let's just use that one. And I'm just going to stamp my sentiments up in that top corner. So I should really be using VersaFine on this, but I can't I find it. I love the whole collection of stamps that you've used on there. Uh, the whole show has been absolutely mesmerising. I love working with you, Kim, and I love your <laughs> ideas, and I love the way you colour in, and I love your stamps. And so many of you guys at home okay. also love your stamps as well. What a brilliant card. <laughs> Kim, it's been a joy and a pleasure. Thank you very Hopefully much. Hopefully see you again very soon. Hopefully. <laughs> Sounds a bit honest, doesn't it? Uh, but we will, we will. Uh, please do check out your baskets. Make sure you get everything you want, but stay where you are, because we've got more coming for you here on Ochanda. Did you know you can watch Ochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the Added Channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world including brands like Kaiser Craft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with the Chandler is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please, don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on a Chandler. Welcome to All and Create's fourth birthday event here at Hachanda with three one-day specials and a weekend wow. We invite you all to celebrate with us as we bring you fantastic products and inspirational demonstrations, plus up to two free gifts with purchase in each promotion, so up to eight per customer. Join us for All and Create's fourth birthday celebrations on Wednesday the 14th of October at 6pm to Monday the 19th of October at 6pm. Hi, we're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina, this is Josie, and this is my dad, Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. So three years ago, we decided to embark on turning our own designs into polymer stamps. We're really excited about where this is gonna take us in the future. 
and how we can evolve those designs and keep bringing you something that's just so, so different. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection and this was down to Josie using her iPad and hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. So make sure you don't miss the Daisy Bee shows on Hachanda. Hello, I'm Hayley and you might have seen me presenting here at Hachanda. Well, I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favourite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. So I hope you'll join me, let me inspire you, and maybe you will discover a new craft in the process. <laughs> it's Pilot Lou on the right and Wing Commander Catherine. Oh. Right, Joe, right, I think you've got it. <laughs> I like your monocle. I like yours. Pilot Lou. It's highly, highly. I've just waxed my lip. <laughs> I've just waxed my lip with this thing. <laughs> Thank oh. you. Chokes away, Johnny. <laughs> The chops oh. away. I don't even know what that means. I think it's so blocked. Why isn't it? are we doing this? Who knows? <laughs> this is, of course, the final call of the one day special. Studio Light, this is Lou's oh. Aviation Collection. Now, oh. if you didn't watch the shows earlier on, why not? Don't get them on Rewind, of course. Uh, this is the oh. final call, so it means it's the last chance to get Lou's wonderful collection, collection number three. We're going to have all sorts of aviation facts during this show, Lou. Did you know that? Well, yeah, I think you've done your own work. I have done some hope. I've written a little story about you. Have you? I have. I'll tell you a little bit later. Oh, wow. Well, let's get into the show, though, because we've been very, very busy. Now, most of you have been going for the complete collection. I think we're just going to do a little bit of a walk down here. Uh, so everything on the counter, as I walk down here, that's everything in the complete collection. Less than £100 is great savings. We'll go through all the breakdowns a little bit later as well. To start with, we've got the rice papers and the papers here. They're in the collection. We've got a die-cut block. That's exactly what it says. There are die-cut pieces in there. We've got the dies to go with them as well. As we walk down, we've got lots more dies for you. Not just dies, you've got chipboard here as well. That's another bundle included in the collection. More dies for you there as well. We've got stamps as well, haven't we, in that one? Chipboard again. And then we get to this one. This is actually the one-day special, but as part of the complete collection, you're getting both options of the one-day special. So it's just incredible. It really, really is. All of the savings, if you were buying individually, would be carried over to the full collection, plus we're giving you extra on top. In fact, if you're a Freedom member, on top of the savings already carried over, which is £34, we're going to give you another £16.88. That's delivered to your door, of course. And it gets even better because you've got a flexi-buy option for yourselves as well. Three payments of £32.63. Now, everything's going to be dispatched from the 19th of October, so not long way to wait at all and oh well it just it's incredible isn't it the amount of different products here stamps as we say dies chipboard you know the die cut block the papers do you know we are going to break it down for you as well but item number nine five six 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 zero is the item number that you're seeing on the screen right now which is the one day special the collection the full collection is at the bottom of the screen now when it comes to the one day special itself if this is what you're going for you have got two options i am going to bring lou into this as well because of course they are loose designs uh pilot lou mm -hmm. Tell us about the two different options. Wing Commander. Um, <laughs> the two options. What I wanted to do was make sure that, you know, times are like this at the moment, and we all know, and I wanted to make sure that people could have a kit if they wanted that, that was self-contained, or it, they could get the lot. So there's two options. Both have a journal, both have stencils, and both have stamps. So it all depends on which you want. But you can create some amazing things on it. But after saying that, it is made as a collection, so 
It You'll see it on is. Yeah. Well, option number one is seven C's. So tell us about this. We've got that journal die in there. We've got all sorts of lovely stamped elements. And those stencils, I've got to say, are amazing. Well, seven C's, you've got the journal itself. You've got the dies, that have the floating hinge and the dies as well. And the die, that uh, sun ray, can be used independently. The two stencils are based... Sorry, I'll do the stamps now. The, the seven C's, these are all my handwriting and all my uh, drawings, so it's all about aviation, um, dashboards, I don't know, yeah. cockpit stuff and all the numbers and, and lights you'd see. And that's the, la the lanes on the airport as, you, as, the, as you're flashing past them. I you know, know when you're gathering yeah. speed, you'll see yeah. them duff, 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 like that. And then I travel the world in seven seas and, and stuff like that. And then the stencils, you've got one that's really sort of based on aeronautical stuff. And then the other one is based on it, but it's based on interiors of airplanes and stuff. So ah. you've got either or. Um, and the great for journaling, scrapbooking. I've had Amazing so many messages today they? from ex-pilots. Have you? Seriously. Really? Yeah, a lady called know, Kath. Very, very interesting, actually. They might like my little story a bit later on, then. Right. I, it was wonderful, because they were saying about flying bombers, and I'm, what? That is absolutely so. Thank you so much. Oh. Quite a few of them. And um, people have said thank you so much for having something that they can send to family members yeah. or... Um, overseas or you know like in the army and stuff definitely so, yeah, Do you know, thought I never thought of that this morning actually it's so true and it's so yeah. nostalgic as yeah. well because there will be older members of the family that this will conjure all sorts of memories for them as well but of course it's about history yeah. it's about you know the future as well yeah. there's so much involved now the second option Lou we have got the cogs for, for, you know for everybody here as well now you can of course go for both of these if you want but as part of that full collection don't forget that de the details at the bottom of the screen the cogs themselves I mean again so many elements in here those dies very very useful indeed yeah, that, that's a standalone card in the center if you want yeah. so I'll you could have that as it's so there's so many parts to these stencils you've got the cogs on their own you've got the cogs as the envelope this this has made um, the journal cover with this I'm, and it's beautiful and she's also um, used the stencil on the journal as well so you can emboss using the stencil through your die cutting machine yeah and then color it in and Liz has done that on one of the, the yellow one there and again Parts that are specifically from aeronautical stuff, and then other parts that you can use, like from interiors. That could look like shattered glass, but it also looks like a sunset. Very, very true. Do you know there's something we've not mentioned? In fact, there's a couple of things we've not mentioned. Oh, we yeah. have a gift with purchase, don't we, as well? Yeah. So anybody purchasing, while we've got the stocks, and we've still got stocks at the moment for you, you will receive an extra little stamp free of charge. Not only that, I don't know where that stamp's gone, Lou, do you? I don't know where it's gone. We'll see if we can find it. Oh, I found it. There it is. It's under the golden ticket. Ooh. Coming back to that. So an extra little stamp for you as well that will, of course, work very nicely with the rest of your uh, goodies. We're £7.99. Now, 50, 50 people that are purchasing will need to check their packaging very, very carefully because you may find a golden envelope. It's not an awards ceremony. It's better than that. <laughs> Inside, you will find a golden ticket. You know, you're not going to that factory either. If you scan the QR code, you can join in with an online workshop with the one and only Lou Withers herself. So please do look out. Look out for that golden ticket. 50 very lucky people are going to get that. Now, you mentioned this sample, though. I did show this this morning, but I'm absolutely blown away with this. So straight away, you can see the cover stenciled with the stencils as part of the one day special or that full collection but it's when you open up as well look i mean there's page just after page of wonderful creations here mm. using the whole of the bundle i mean it, it is just it blew me away this one i'm sorry i mean there's lots of pages still in there that haven't been used yeah but how they've been aged as well but do you know this is such a lovely project that's lizzie's dad that uh, liz wheeler um she created this and her dad does all the tea dyeing papers he has a little Washing line of him. Does it? Oh, yeah, he makes oh. them all for her. And this you can see pages that the stencils have been used and other pages that you might have spare and then you just add your own bits I love to them. So, yeah, it's. And it's like a passport size, so to speak, that one, isn't Perfect it? Perfect as for well. That, isn't it? Yeah. Perfect Amazing. For that. Oh, do you know, we've got all sorts here as well. I thought there's some samples I didn't see. See, that's as well. the inside of the journal cover. Now, it doesn't look like that, but that's the inside of that journal cover, the round one, and it makes a great card. Oh, oh I know the one. Yes. And, um, the circle number two. Yeah. yeah, the circle 
um, journal. That is the inside. So you've got the card there if you want it. And that, that's with all your three-dimensional mixed media, your nuts and bolts and stuff. It's brilliant. That is amazing. And they are affordable. There we go. If you wanted them individually. That is really, really nice, isn't it? Uh, 956660, if you're going for the one-day special, you've got those two different choices, of course, under that one item number. Do, do, if you can, though, take advantage of the full collection. Carry those savings forward and the extra as well. Let's go down the counter. We'll break down things a little bit further for you as well because everything you've seen on the counter, as we did say, is that full collection, but you can go for the individual bundles. So we've done the one-day special. Let's have a look at this one next. This is a lovely bundle once again, just on its own, because, do you know, there's still so much you can achieve. Yeah. You've got the chipboard in there, and Lou, I know you were, it was really important to you that, you know, you can use the whole of the packaging as well, and you have done that in projects, haven't you? Oh, yeah, I mean, that card that they use is a great blueprint on its own. I mean, I've got to remember, got to mention Angela Van Gills, she's worked, I worked with, very closely with her and she's one of the designers at studio like she's absolutely amazing and she just takes a i might say a sentence and she takes and flies with it sorry Aww. about the pun but she <laughs> she goes off and because we even though we like different things we're on the same wavelength oh here we go i don't even mean it i don't even <laughs> mean, i couldn't do it i'm not that intelligent enough to do that but we are we're incredibly in tune with each other and then oh, she wow. just knows but she also comes from the idea that it has to be used elsewhere yes not just in yeah. one spot exactly. or one style that globe could be used as a globe it could be used as a world on its yeah. own well you used that in the early demonstration yeah. this morning didn't you at the was it eight o'clock show this oh yeah. crikey that's a long time ago now yeah, i've not seen it, it though <laughs> and it seems like minutes well for this bundle a five pound saving 15 pounds and 97 pence zero five seven three zero four remember those savings will carry over to the full collection as well the next bundle we've got more chipboard different sort of background color on this one mm. um very muted colors again work perfectly of course you can still ink them everything's kind of collapsing now on the counter <laughs> we've handled these so much but of course they are cut so they just break apart very very easily so I'm just holding a selection there again use the packaging yeah. I like these Lou these stamps I think these are so useful they're all off um, the little planes great because it, it's it's from a drawing rather than look like a plane and the the these are all off aeronautical maps and they all mean stuff about oh. winds and, and speeds and stuff so it's quite interesting to see that and then that the, the big die cut, you would, you, you, it doesn't look like there's many dies in that, but there's actually so many. And when you see the black cutout that I've done, there's about, it, it goes on forever. It does. I'll bring the black cutout in, actually. There you go. It just shows you how many dies. I'm just going to put it horizontally so we can see it uh, a little bit better for the camera. But, yes, love that. And you were right what you said earlier as well. That could be a snowflake Absolutely. in the centre. Absolutely, yeah. And you can... You can sort of, as we do with mandalas, take bits off and change it completely, but it does look like an engine in the end when you take the middle way. It does. Oh, a couple of samples here as well. Now, this Lovely. is bringing in the previous set as well. You can see the aeroplane there, but also the world from the previous set, or both included in the collection. 849217, if you go for the one that we're currently looking at. £5 saving, fifteen ninety seven again. Just take advantage of whatever you can afford to go for, because I can guarantee you you're going to use these over and over again. Now, we've got the die-cut block for you now, and it's exactly what it says. It is a block that's got die-cut pieces in it. Everything's already pre-cut for you, of course, being die-cut, but you've got so many useful elements here as well. All pre-printed, all coloured, Lou, but again, you can still add on to these, can't you? You could emboss them, you could re-stamp, yeah. you could, um, add, you know, add your, your sprays and inks and everything on there. And glossy accent looks great, yes. especially if you leave it to dry and then crack it and then put a die through it and wipe it off. You get like the cracked glass, um, oh, yeah. like dials and stuff. But you've got your, like, your paint brushes and stuff. And I, I just, there's little bits in there that Angela's thought, we can't have any space in this book. Let's put something in. Amazing. And I've not gone through every page. So I've skipped quite a number of pages there. But it's not just the die cut block. Also, again, here you've got dies in the selection. This is lovely. I've got another board here as well. Is that rain I can hear? It is, isn't it? Oh. Wow. Wow, it's raining hard here, that's for sure. Right, looking at the dies there, you've got the propeller in there. You've got the words as well, which I absolutely love. Creating love, fly away in the clouds and take flight. But Lou, you said earlier you could separate those if oh, you yeah. wanted to as absolutely. well. Absolutely, and, and the background, um, you can have them 
3D, you can have them 2D and you can have them inserted, you can paper piece them, lots of different ways, yeah. but yeah, you can cut them all up. And I like this, as we were saying, I've not done it yet, the, the aeroplane would just fly away on it, look great. Love it. Absolutely love it. Well, there you go. Just £16.98 for that particular bundle. 628-855 and a £5 saving again on that one. Right, now we've got some papers and rice papers for you here. Now, these are lovely as well because they're all A4. So let's look at the details. We've got four A4 papers and six A4 rice papers. And I've got some samples at the back here that Lou did just to show you the papers. Again, think about your layering. Think about stamping over the top and embossing. Thinking about using your paints and knocking those colours back or adding colour in. You've got lots of reasons and different ways of working with this. So I'm just showing you one or two different designs there that Lou has actually changed. I adore this piece, actually. I've just got to show you this because you've got the flight path there. The flight path of um, Amelia there. Of course, uh, Lou, you, we've said about this, haven't we? I, I did do some research in between the shows just to write my little story, Aww. which we will come back to, but I learned so much. Prolific writer. She was part of the 99 Club. She was just very, very at the forefront, but... Um, you know, it was difficult for women, and it, you know, they, they bro broke boundaries. And I'm not just interested in women who do amazing things, but they happen to be women yeah. who do stuff. I wanted to do, um, you know, Marie Curie and all these wonderful people, but also men. We're going to look at some um, fantastic um, adventurers. I'd love to do David Attenborough, but oh, wouldn't that be? You know amazing? all the animals he's oh. done. Can you imagine that? He's just such such oh. a, an amazing, it's inspirational. It's been knighted, hasn't he? I heard this morning. And I, so it's just so inspirational, well. isn't it? Yes, yes, it certainly has, and that's the right thing to do as well. There you are. I'm just showing you these as well. The rice papers, Lua's embossed over those as well. So don't just think about tearing them up and sticking them down. Think about the other ways that you can work with them. What a lovely kit. Three pounds saving on this one as well. Eleven ninety-two is the price on this one. Eight five nine seven six seven is the item number. Right, most of you are. Oh, I think I've got to do this before I go around counterfunder. I think the monocle have to stay off for the moment. But from here, this is Wing Commander Surrey just doing the counter walk. Uh, no wing walking, but the counter walk. Everything from the bottom of the rice papers there right through to the two options of the one day special, all included in that full collection. I can still talk behind this. That's amazing, isn't it? Uh, and it's still stuck. I was waxing my it's lip, this. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm dreading pulling it off, though. Pull me eyebrow thing. off before. <laughs> right, three payments of £32.63 if you're going for the full collection. That's if you're a Freedom member. Remember, every single saving carried over plus an extra £16.88. Oh, that rain, it's we'll a bit need scary. It in a minute. We'll need a plane to get out of this. Oh, building. I don't know. It's not very safe for flying, I don't think, Lou. I tell you what, it's, I don't, I, I don't to be a fellow uh, having a tap. <laughs> be doing me head in. I, I feel more like I, that I having a monobrow. I, th there I you think go. it's There's time. There's my heroin. <laughs> I think it's time for a demonstration, Lou. That's what I think it's time I'm, for. What I'm are we going to see now. this hour? Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I'm, I'm daft now. Come on, stop it. Right. Oh, now you're reminding me of um, Adam Ant. Oh, there you had your... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Can't sing. No, you can't sing. Can't sing. Right, what are we going to see? Right, I'm going to finish. Right, I was talking to a few people online and friends, and I said earlier, I'm, I've been concentrating on getting all these things done, but this is what I work on at home. I have layers and layers and layers, and I have to leave it to dry and leave it to dry. And I wanted to show people, like, from the start of when, a, you know, the one-day special to now, that it could take you days to do all these layers. And that's what we've been doing. So these are the last little bits. Now, I showed you all the nuts and bolts before, and it looked atrocious. I sprayed that all black. And you can see now the difference. It's settled into the nooks and crannies, and you can see the colours. Now, I'm just the last bit I'm going to do is you can use silver or gold, and I'm just going to bring it alive using a dry brush. Now, it doesn't matter if it catches. What you want is to just bring up, we call it bringing up the set texture. Yeah. And there's all sorts in here. Uh, you could put all your little die cuts, but it's mainly built up using the die cuts. And I've wanted to do that because I wanted to show you that you can put your all other stuff on it. You don't just have to have this. It works with all the stuff you've got in your stash. 
So I've used the words, I've used the stencils in the background. Now, if you make a blob like that, don't worry, because all you do okay. is get your cloth, not your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me if you were using your shirt, though. I've, I've got seen a posh you do that shirt before. on today, I can't use that. Uh -oh. So I've got, me, I've got it there, and just don't worry about it, just... Just enjoy it. And that's what I was saying. I was so concentrating on getting stuff done that I forgot to, you know, this this is me about getting all stuff. Now, if it comes off, don't worry. Get a bit of glue on. Do you know, it never ceases to amaze me. That little bit of white highlighting makes such a difference to a project, doesn't it? It does. And it brings it alive. And that, you know, that mess. And it was a mess. And it was quite scary. As now, it's come alive. And, and you're thinking, wow. At first, it was like... Oh, no one could make that good. But, you know, this could be... It looks amazing. Any colour you want. Genuinely. And it looks like now, like part of an engine. You're looking at the inside of an engine. Yeah. That's that one done. And then the last bit is, what you need to do is paint it. So when you're painting it, you can paint it any colour you want, but paint it a dark colour. Okay. And I've got some texture paste there, so it does make a big difference. And I've got some um, indigo blue, blue gilding flakes, and I put that on right at the very beginning because it just adds to it, like the difference and you'll see the speckles in it and then what you kind of paint Lou we've yeah. had an email in actually yeah if, uh, this is from Kay and Kay says she bought the big bundle last night oh, she's thank thrown away you. with it but she's new to mixed media yeah. and she's totally inspired by you really wants to give it a go thank you but she's a little bit stuck as to which paints she should be recommended what um, would you say to begin with well if you can go for it you buy cheap buy twice yeah. So if you can go for golden, go for golden. And the other one that is really good is Amsterdam, which is Royal Talons. Yeah. You get yourself a set and then, you know, you, I've bought cheap ones and I'm using half too much. It spoils it and you think it's you that's wrong mm. and it's not, it's your product. Yeah. So honestly, it's well worth it. I've had some products here that I've had for yonks and they're still going. And I know I can trust them and every time I use them, they're all right. Love so that. go for Golden if you can, and Amsterdam, Royal Talons, and, I mean, Deco, they're quite good as well. Yeah. Um, but please don't go for dirt cheap ones, because craft is very different to art, um, and there is a big difference. Don't, don't get me wrong, I don't mean go and spend thousands of pounds, but just get a few of the best colours you like. Yeah. Why you don't black. have to start off with every colour, no, do you? No, no, no. Just get your favourite colours and black and white. Yeah. That's all you need to start with, and then Lovely. you can start getting confidence. Well, do check the website out, Kay, and if you want any more help, please do let us know as well. In fact, any other emails that... Uh, questions for Lou, this is the final hour. Remember, this is the final call, so you need to make sure you check those baskets out by uh, 6 o'clock. That's when the offer will finish. But we will welcome any questions or comments for Lou as well yeah. throughout this hour. Right. What I've done is put more white and while we were drying it sort of toned down and then now there's more white and I'm happy with that. I really like that. And you know it, it's all nuts and bolts and that's all it is but it looks like a pile, an engine and the words are very faint but it's take flight in there. You could put more on, you could actually, I don't really want to do too much but um, you could then just finish off. And I think it's really important that people get to see, if they can, how, it's not going through that, I need my sponge, um, how things start and then how they move on and how they, you know, how they change as, as the layers, more and more layers, and because it is, it's a bit, see, it's not quite working that, so I think what we need is probably more lines like this, but you can, yeah, so you get like little lines there, I'll put them there, and then... So, you can hardly see it, but it's just giving it that little bit of touch. Now, I love that. I think it's I really do beautiful. like that. I really do. I adore the colours that you've used. So, the colours draw me in. But then when you look at the detail, though, it's just incredible the amount of detail in there. And, and you, you need all the layers. That would not work with one or two layers. That works with all the layers. So, ha you know, if you can catch the shows from last night and today, it's worth seeing because it started that started off that that way if i can show you both of these started as scraps of paper and bits and bobs and nuts and bolts so if you can it's a good way to see how you know go keep going with it so this one the final bit is a little bit different because there's lots of texture but that 
is lots of high texture. This is a low relief. So I'm trying to smooth out white titanium on my mat. I don't want it too wet, but I don't want it too dry. And I've got to skim this, and it's almost okay. like... You're almost just tickling the surface there, aren't Absolutely. you? Absolutely. Just catching it very lightly. And you should see it start to come. And you do a couple of these, and then you start to see all the little textures coming alive. And then what you can do is when you've done that, it looks like it's all... And then I paint the sides again. But then what you so can do... the difference it makes. Yeah, it does. a tiny little bit. But because I've embossed it, I can now rub it away in areas. So you might want a damp cloth or anything. It's up to you. But I just wanted to show you how, how it looks. And if you do get a damp cloth, places like um, where it has got gold and, and silver embossed, it's getting a bit... It's, it's like rock hard. It stands up on its own. It's got that much paint <laughs> on it. Right, now oh, you dear. can see I see how I can lift away little bits of paint and just reveal like little bits of turquoise there and little bits of that or um what was it called it wasn't ochre but anyway you can do that it was what's it um no no I think we've all lost you now <laughs> I know. <laughs> what was it called? Phil Martins. Oh, and it was um, the, um... Honey. Yes. Honey. Yes. And I put the blue back on. Now, I, you, you, it's hard to see. What you do need to do is get a pen and then... Oh, what are you doing? Oh, I see. All you do, put a bit of scratching, a bit of pen in there, and then you get just a, a paintbrush. Um, you what can pen use, is that you've just used then? It's, it's just a drawing pen, okay. anything that's not yeah. waterproof, and you just put that in. And now what I'm doing is, I'm creating like depth. Can you just see the depth yeah, we can see popping that. up? Start to make it look 3D. So you can use paint to do it as well. And all you're doing is just getting your pen and... Some ink pens are better than others, but you just scribble in a little bit. Uh, you can use, don't use the ones that are on next because they're permanent. You need something that's not permanent so you yeah. can get that. Can something that's water soluble. Yeah, that's exactly it. So you can see now how that's popping yeah, it out. it does make a difference. And, and all that. But I must admit, these are two different ways of doing the same thing, but they both started like that. And it's nice to see you can do different things like this, but they are take they are going to take a few hours to do, and they won't oh. be overnight. Do you know? And it is lovely to see you finishing these projects off, yeah, Lou, as well. Absolutely. So we can see how they really do come to life. We'll let you get ready for okay. another demonstration. Now I'm just going to run through the details again of uh, the collection, actually, because that's what most of you are still going for. We do still have stocks. Don't forget, you're going to get that gift with purchase as well, the extra stamp, and 50 lucky winners will get a golden ticket as well. Now all, as I said earlier, all of those same savings from the individuals will be carried over into that full collection plus we're going to give you an extra saving on top if you're a freedom member that extra saving and the word extra I've got to emphasize is 16 pounds and 88 pence so if you're not a freedom member just join give it a try for a month because look at the savings now what you're going to get is everything that we can see here so from the rice papers that's what we're looking at there on screen right at this moment through then we've got the die block and the dies there as well those die cut pieces ready to go and all those dies incredible amount of dies there in that bundle moving along again we've got more dies we've got stamps we've got chipboard for you as well you will use every scrap of the packaging do not waste a single millimeter moving along again we've got more in the way of stamps dies and chipboard different colorways with the chipboard as well and then of course the one day special is also included in the full collection not just one you haven't got a choice you've got both of these selections in the full collection so you get in the seven C's you get in the cogs as well everything we've just shown you there and a flexi buy of three payments for 32 pounds and 63 pence no wonder it's busy 817 892 is the item number right now i've got lots of samples to show you now i'm, I'm going to try and multitask because i was rather busy in between shows Lou. because we were talking we were saying earlier wouldn't it be funny if lou was a pilot what sort of journey would she be on well i decided yeah that you you weren't sort of a, a, a civil pilot you weren't taking people away on holiday oh no you you were deployed to do your missions and oh, that yeah. sort of thing yeah i was on a mission yes so i, I decided 
that you were going out on your first deployment. Oh, I wouldn't okay. have anyone with me. So you there. just, I'm your wing commander. You're trusting think, me to I'm come out. Yeah, you trusted to so, go out yeah. with me. So as I show samples, I'm going to read this little story to oh. you. See if you can make any sense of it. It will become clear later. There's any pilots watching, they might get this before everybody else does. Pa I've, I've got to have my glasses on the end of my nose because the screen, I can't see through my glasses, but I need it for here. Right, OK. So, Pilot Lou is going to bag up in her poopy suit, as this is a nugget. Let's hope that she doesn't have to deal with goo. Otherwise, we may need a green apple. Bingo! Time for a meatball. <coughs> Lou is flying the angel and has to avoid the spaghetti. Watch out, Pilot Lou. Don't miss the apron. Do you know, I'm, I'm going to rewind <laughs> this just so I can go through <laughs> that again. Because that is brilliant. And those all the, the, the words for it. That aviation right. this it makes absolutely no sense unless you've done your research or you are perhaps a pilot and I, I've played around with it a little bit but I've got to tell you that I found it very interesting to look up words that pilots use yeah. and um, we'll just we'll just go through this oh we can go through it on your next demonstration I'm still showing samples here actually I'm just picking up everything I can find <laughs> just explain what you know why I just spoke the way I did, the gobbledygook <laughs> that I just spoke. It wasn't gobbledygook. I'll tell you what, we'll, go, we'll go through it in your next demonstration. Yeah, I think. don't mind, don't mind. I'm, 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 I'm really interested. I love stuff like that. That's it does make sense when you hear the full version and why those words were put in where they but were. But there's a reason it's like um, turn the big light on. I say that, oh, turn the big light on. What does that mean? <laughs> Are they bigger than all the rest? No, it's like terminology. I love it. I think it's amazing, you know, our terminology. So. Shall, oh, I, shall really I carry on is. with this? Well, yes, you carry on. Right. And I will try and explain what I've just been talking about as you go <laughs> through it. What I've done is, it's all I've done is just to show you the background. I wanted to just create a little idea of... Um, it's showing you how you can use your stencils okay. um, and using them with mixed media and changing what, what you do with them. So I've got a soft gloss gel and I have got, she says, the very last thing I'm going to pick up is... Oh, come on. Oh, you didn't get those stickers on, did you? You need to colour code them. Oh, my, no, no. So I've got some light modelling paste and I'm going to look for this. So I've got... No, I'll use this one. I'll okay. use this one because I've used that one before. Okay. So what I've got is I've got the nuts and bolts and stuff and I'm just going to put some... Not a lot, I don't want a lot, and I'm just going to spread it and leave it don't don't keep pushing it in start so doing that's gel medium did you say that one that was the modeling paste that's the modeling paste and then i'm going to put the soft gel medium right. but this one is a gloss okay so this is to get some texture don't start trying to butter your bread because you do that you'll push it underneath so okay. you've got some nice you know so sort of I clean crisp. very clearly actually yeah and then you get another piece and just turn it over and then you can mess about then because okay. the stuff that's on it you see that is going to work brilliantly yep. because you you'll get some texture it. why waste anything oh yeah you don't need to and you need to just give it a wipe but i must admit these get stronger the more you put on them um so i'm just going to flip that over so you can see what you actually end up getting is some flat mat um, and, and you get some gloss so you'll get a different interaction with them and what you can do then is add like stamping and all sorts to it oh that looks nice yeah, yeah. i thought what i'll do is i'll use the adventure and this is all out of my my journal okay. so just to show you that i do this i do a mess about um and i've just what i've just done now is exactly what i do to get myself motivated this was some tape that I've, it dropped off the shelf so i thought i'd better use it um and I would put, you know, maybe some of these and some of the the, the stuff I've got oh, there. Oh, no. I've got a little present for you, actually. Oh, right. That you might be, I had to hide it because of social distancing and all that. Um, near you, there's a card stood on the counter there. There's a little present inside it. You, you, need, you need to open it up, though. There's something in there that you must use in one of your... Uh, demonstrations in this hour. Oh, who's that? <laughs> oh, oh, I've got an hat on. I look like I'm wearing a wig. 
<laughs> right, I'm having that. It's Pilot Lou. It's Pilot Summit. That's my very first show. Is it? Yeah. Is that what it's from? Yeah, that's my first show. Oh. I remember wearing that scarf and nearly strangling myself. Oh, oh, look at it. Look, look, look. You've got to see. Look at that. What do I look like with my hat on? <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Just on me head. Oh, what do I look like there? Look at that. <laughs> Get in. I'm having that. It's going on my page. Hang on, bit of glue. Can't, you can't. Yes, you have to use it. And while you're sticking that down, the first line of the story is... Um, Right, I said Pilot Lou is going to bag up in a poopy suit. To bag up means just to get your suit on, to get your, your yeah. clothes on that you're going to be flying in. And the poopy suit isn't as bad as it sounds. That was a rubber suit that would be worn when you're on your operations flying over water. Because it was right. waterproof, it was rubber. So that is the reason behind that line. I'll come back to the next line oh, and right. give so a bit more. It's not in case you can't get to the loo. No, you no. have a job getting to the loo in your poopy suit, though. Well, that's what I mean. You'd be, it's like it'd yeah. hold your poopy yes, it suit. It, you know what I mean? It'd hold it. It would. Right. OK. <laughs> so what I've also done is I've got some rice paper. This, some people who are tuning in now will be like, no, 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 no. I like. Um, I've done some rice paper. And on the rice paper, I've embossed. And I've done the same technique. I've got... Um, embossing powder in gold and I've got the plain I've done that in paste so all these textures really help to sort of um, bring on a difference and a uniqueness to your work because you, you know it's, it's all right you can use what I've got but the, the choice is to make it your own really I've got some green here and I'm just going to put a tiny bit of green on oh that's nice um, and I don't want too much because it's really thick so I'm just going to You've added quite a lot of water to that brush. Though, I have, you? because it's so thick, I want more of a watery That's finish. A so green. if you just put a layer on and then pull it through, it, you get an, a lovely... Oh, nice. Don't... See, you might have a bit there. Don't, don't concentrate too much on one area. I like area. it, though, that you can see those darker bits. Yeah, I do. I do, really do. So, and then when you're happy, you can sort of dry brush. Now, I wanted the green, because I, I, I just like green... I like green and blue, but I like the orange and, and reds that you can put with it then. So it reacts differently on the pastes than it does on the, um, you know, like the, the gels. But what you can do, and I found this out, that if you've got, say, a thick paint like this, I didn't know this, I was watching something and then I saw someone doing it and I was like, no, no way. No you can actually paint you, with it with a soft gel or heavy oh, gel or anything. Oh, and I was yeah. like, well, how are you going to do that? And it was like... Is it finger painting? Finger painting, mixing it together. And now you've got a gel, but you've got a paint and a gel. So it'll, that'll have a real, like, not only will it have a shine, but it'll have a gloss finish. And you can blend it and it, it, it takes a lot longer for it to dry. It's just... I never thought about blending them together. I just yeah. thought, and then if you do it, sort of push the colour in, and you see how it pops out. So I was watching. So, you know, sometimes the people will ask me questions like, can I do that? Just do it. Just do it, because you might be able to tell someone else. And it's not, no one, you don't have to have permission from someone to do it. It's well, just... the girls in the gallery were just speaking as well, and um, they're very... It's true what they've just been saying, actually. Sometimes we get so hung up about, you know, a, a brush mark perhaps that's a little bit heavy or something that's yes. in the wrong place, and we sort of kick ourselves about it. But really, you're encouraging us to work in that way. Don't be afraid of these things. No. You know, it adds to the overall look, the detail that you see coming through, the different layers. It does. It all works. It does, and you can. There are times when we need to be neat, don't get me wrong. I mean, I was talking to Tracy before, and I think her work is amazing, but there's times... And, and that is beautiful but there's times also when you think no I'm just gonna play and we forget to play and that's where yeah. all the work comes and from. and that's where we have fun when we're yeah. just allowed to play I'm adding now Ooh, some Indian that. orange and this is a background so all the gels gonna pop out and yeah. you're going to see this is a so this will be like from a chipboard now can you see how it's really taken there but don't be scared about that add a bit more water and just you can spread it out 
and you get this wonderful sort of rusty colour. And it is a it's it's a background at the end of the day. Oh, I um, love these and, it. and I could go over that with my gel medium. So you must leave it to dry at some point. Do you know, um, if you were in that plane, if you were Pilot Lou in that plane that I can see there, and you were on your first operation, yeah. that's classed as a nugget. A nugget? Apparently. Yeah, that's where the nugget came from. Excellent! I love that. I've just left that to dry. I just look like some glam rocker on that, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of perched on my head, I love it. Oh, you love that. that, though. Have you stuck it on there? Yeah. Oh, you could have put it a little bit lower if you wanted. I stuck it on there, it would have been a right laugh that. <laughs> Creating love, take the flight. <laughs> she flew the world away. I flew somewhere on there. I must have been flying. Right, I'm leaving that to dry just to show you how you can now do change the colour. So I've got on here the gloss, the matte and everything and another little a little sort of way of adding mixing colour together. I've got two bright colours here. I've got a, um, a magenta and I've got a dark blue and I don't want, I don't want a lot of colour on here. So you can see how strong that is straight away and I'm just going to drop the colour in. Then whilst it's wet, I'm just going to let the colour... So I'm just going to put colour on there. Then I'm going to get a little bit of water again. So I've okay. already got the water on there. And then whilst that's wet, I get my brush, my little... Oh, this one. These are great little brushes, these. The Phil Martins give me some and they're brilliant. Oh, I bought some, actually. very generous. Yeah. Well, I bought a load um, and I, I was telling him and he says, oh, I've got new stuff. So I was like, oh, right, OK. So he said, like, try them out. So I'm just adding, can you see how it's all flowing oh, now? that's moving, yeah. Oh, those colours again, though. And, and again, bright colours. So they don't yeah. have to be... Oh, I like that. You, you, they don't have to be, like, browns oh, and rust. So I'm mixing the two together, letting it already drop into the colour. And then you can see it start. So totally different. It's not like the ones we did before where it's all browns. We've got a nice bit of... Now, if that was the sky that you were flying in, you could, it could be classed as flying in goo. Why? That is when the sky is almost so you can't see where you're going. Really? Yeah. Oh. So it's not quite as abstract as what you'd think that one, because when you think of goo, you think of... You do, don't you? And things I, that you can't. Ugh. Yeah, I often the thing that get, know, gets to me though that. is that yeah, I, that I often think, how do they come up with these things? Because you're like, well, how did you think of that? What and how did it catch on? I know. Well, the ne the next one, meatball. That was in my story. Do you know what a meatball is? Well, other than the thing that you eat, of course. Go in on. aviation terms, apparently a meatball is. You have something called a glidoscope indicator. That's one of these um, things. Is it? That's yeah. the light that pilots watch when they're landing on a carrier. That's one of these. That's, that's, what, yeah. that's classed as a meatball. All oh, right. Well, I didn't know that. Didn't know that. I really didn't. Right. What I've done is, that's really clever, though, isn't it? When you sort of find all these little things out, you, you're like, wow. I'm just adding water now, and I'm going to leave this. So I wanted to show you that, um, although this is quite sort of steampunky masculine, with the right colours... This will dry really light. Don't be thinking that it's going to be dry and really dark. By the time the show's over, that will be so pale, you won't even notice. Um, you won't notice half of these things and you'll have to redo it. Yeah. But that will then go and sit. see it now. There's lots of detail coming yeah. through. And it's sort of sinking in, but this is the paper. So you can see very different feels, but, you know, and, but you're building it up again. Now, this is dry, drying, so the gloss on there... I can now add a little bit more and, and it'll really bring that up again. So layers, layers, layers. It's just all layers. And this is a background. This isn't for um, the focal point. Do you know, it sounds like we're in an airport with the amount just of rain. It, it sounds yeah. like aeroplanes, doesn't it? All coming into land or something. So I've just rubbed a little bit more on there, and you can see now it's coming alive, but I will put some other stuff in here. So I've got some of my blocks here. This is my second lot now. And before I finish um, like showing you, I want to say it's really easy to change these. You don't have to have them these colours. And 
a light colour is always easier to change. So what you can do is rough up the edges. So um, you can rough it up by doing it like this, or you can use an emery board, or you can use sandpaper. Just rough up the edge, and that makes it receive the paint a little bit better. Now I'll use this, and then just rub the brown, and it, hopefully it'll look rusted. Now it's got a, a slight coating on it, but not enough that it'll stop the colour from penetrating it. So, and then you just... Honestly, it sounds like someone's having a shower above us, doesn't it? <laughs> it sounds like someone is properly it having like a shower. Sounds like more than one person having a shower. Yeah, they're having a party. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> oh, hey. Oh, hey, Ethel. Right, so, what I've done, I've just put a colour. Can you see how it's taken that colour? And I'll just show you the others. I've put a bit more colour around the edge. It's changed so easily. I made it look old. So, you know, you don't stick don't stick to the colours as that and I would start to build this up now but I'd get my little book and I'd think right well I would get me a little book there it is I think right okay and I'd get me people and I'd look at the colours and think right well which would go see that one would go but it needs a bit of paint on it and even these bits keep these because when you take these out of the book you can make a frame just by cutting them out so that, if I hadn't ripped that, that would have been a good frame. Yeah, that could have just done the plain look. Oh, yeah. That looks good around the plain. So, you know, look at that. Look at those little bits there. This is a great one. I'll put a bit of blue around this one just to show you. You've used a lot of green in there, Lou. Yeah. Would you know what, if I said to you, because part of your story was the green apple, do you know what, the, what would you think the green apple was when it comes to aviation and aeroplanes and things? Green apple. Something to do with Adam and Eve. No, I don't know. <laughs> um, Green apple? Oh, I don't know. The green apple yeah. is actually, shop, it's not a very pleasant thing, actually. Mm. The green apple is the control knob that uh, drops the cockpit emergency oxygen. Oh, wow. That sounds... All oh, right, when you're, they're going into free fall or whatever. Mm. That doesn't sound good. But there's that. There's that. I quite like that, but I don't like this line. This, but it looks like a war tall sort of. It does. It, like it an old so effective. And then I'm going to do the same thing. Just going to get the paint, and and I'm just going to blend it in. And the whole thing about this is, I've got some crackle paint which would look great on this, yeah. uh, but obviously we've not got time. But the whole thing about layers just shows you that, um, you know, it, if you take your time. And, and, and just keep going with stuff. You'll be surprised how, how much um, you'll develop your own skills and your own style, but you'll also get a real understanding of the products and the, the products that you're using Definitely. because taking the time to sort of build on it, it really makes a difference getting to know. And sometimes limiting yourself makes a big difference because when you're limiting yourself, you're sort of thinking, I can only work with these colours, so you really explore all of them yeah. i'm just putting a light bit of the blue okay. uh, the green sort of blue no just, blue just there. the heads up as well Lou. we've got about five minutes of all demo right. time left just a little bit of the white with it and i'm just trying to blend the edges of that in because it's a little bit too in my face for me yeah, so a little bit of white oh, I, love, I love it when you put white on white's your saving Honestly, it's just saving. So the edge of that is not as bad as the edge of that, if that makes sense, if I pull them off. Can you see how it's now, it doesn't look as harsh and it looks like it's a... very effective. It just makes a big difference as well. You know, when you wear these, like, I'm going to get try and get the stories that, that were, were sent to me online about all the captains and what they did. And, and it'd be nice for me to print them off and just put them on here. It would, actually. And I'm just going to do it here again. It is again. lovely to hear from people, isn't it? And oh, I can't tell you. It's so exciting. When they hear the stories, it's almost like I find myself like picking my chin up. Like, you know, wow, wow. And I was just coming on air, so I couldn't really hear all of it, uh, read all of it. But, yeah, it was, really, it was really, really exciting. So just that, and then I think I need a little bit more white there. And don't be frightened of white, because you can always wash it off. I'm loving that. Then get your stencils, build up... And I quite like this here. 
but it needs white. I won't be long. Just to remind you, everybody, stencils, of course, we've got two different one-day special options for you, but also part of the full collection, you will get all of the stencils that Lou's working with. If you're just going for the one-day special, do choose carefully if you've got a certain budget, but, of course, all of those savings carried across into that full collection with the extra, if you're a Freedom member, £16.88. Do it's been the same thing, Lou, right from start to finish. Most people have been going for the full collection. Well... It, it works out about a pound a day, and I do understand that. But if you think, well, do you want it and can you afford that, then it makes sense if you can. But if you can't, there's still parts of this that you could just go for that, you know, you don't have to get it all. But, you know, if you can, it, it makes sense. I'm bringing the white into it now just to... That works well. Just to bring, break it up a little bit in parts so you'll start to see... Um, there we go. And I quite like Perfect. just having those like broken up areas and bring your white on back here so that you're not. It's, it's not still got a couple of minutes of demo time, oh, good. Lou, so you can carry on. Can you doing see how that? the white now has yeah. toned it all down? And now this is this. This could take a couple of days. It could take you one day. Oh, it depends on what mood you're in as well, because sometimes you're in the mood to sort of finish stuff, and the next day you're like, no, I don't like that. No, I don't like that. No, I don't like that. And before you know it, you're like, right, walk away from it. And that's what I say to people, just walk away from it, leave it. And when you come back to it, you're like, really? The amount of times I've gone, have I made that? <laughs> so can you see now it's starting to build, and you've got a real sort of... Really, really. Well, it's is. coming together, isn't it? It looks, it looks as though you've just printed that off now, Lou. As though it's something that you just, you found uh, something that's already laid up for you. You've printed it away, but you've got the texture in there because you have got the yeah. different gels and mediums included as well. But what you can do is if you just, oh, what are you doing? I'm just going to take it back because it's, it is a journal page, but it wasn't made. Oh, what have I done there? It wasn't made. It was made as two because. Oh, I, I thought you were just. I didn't realise there was already a, a marked line. Yeah, on it's made of two. So, so you've got your double page. Yeah, now. it's a double double spread, but you can have it. You can keep it as one if you want. You can keep it as one, but I quite like the idea of working on them as one. Yeah. So that when you you start flicking through, you think, oh, I didn't know that was that part of that. That's part of that. So if I just show you um, some more that I've done. Where's that one going? Oh, there it is. So when I put these into my journal now. I'd, I'm going to wait for it to dry a little bit, put them in my journal, then as they flick through, it sort of tells a story. It does tell a story, yeah. And I like the idea of it sort of all following oh. on, so um, just to show you that, like, this is, like, look how light this is drying now. So we've got lots, lots of texture, and when you can just see the light, some shines, some's matte, and you can see that texture on there. Is, is, is lovely. So I'm just going to put this in here and I'll show you some crazy ba mad backgrounds I've done using the same stamps and stencils but they don't look anything like I've done. So you've got the embossing on there in the gold. You really have got an awful lot of scope haven't yeah. you with these. And then you've got like pinks. Um, it's like fireworks. Exactly. And it all depends on the colour that you use. What it, what it yeah. looks like. Like you said fireworks. Pinks and purples make it. I mean oh, this that's is... Nice. Oh, different and this is quite faint but it's quite nice as a background. So everything that you've done has been achieved with Only the full this. collection, yep. everything in that full collection are on Absolutely. the counter today. Oh thank you Lou, thank you really so so it. much. Thank I you. can't believe we're almost at the end of another show. I, I know. Where is the time going today? I know. When it comes to that full collection, let's just have a reminder what you're getting because it starts right at the far end of the counter with the rice papers and the A4 papers. You can get those individually. You have got savings on each of the individuals as well. But bringing through all those savings, carrying them right down the counter, we're going with the, the block, the die cut block there. We've got the dies. We've got stamps. There's so many different bundles. We've got the chipboard as well. In fact, there's two bundles with a chipboard in. Um, repeat it again use the package and use every single scrap when we get to the counter where the one day special is itself you're getting both of those options in the full collection if you want to go for the one day special individually then you have got the choice but the full collection is where everybody's been shopping i'm not surprised in total you've carried over 34 pounds of savings from those individuals and then as a freedom member you are saving an extra 16 pounds and 88 pence then on top of that you've got three flexi payments of 32 pounds and 
63 pence. Doesn't get much better than that, does it? We are almost at the end of another show. I'm just going to bring in one or two more samples, actually. Um, this is going right across the full collection because that's where everybody's been shopping. We've got, got so much. I think our pilot's getting ready to go on another mission, actually. Uh, yeah, you, you need to be careful where you're landing. You've got to land on the apron, Lou. Do you know what that is? Oh, that would hurt, wouldn't it? That would hurt. <laughs> Land on someone's that apron. That is simply just the concrete, the tarmac area around the hangar. Right. Oh, wow. wow. Jeez, it's amazing what you learn yeah, when I you want look to shout online. that out to someone. Land on the apron. That would be a bit... <laughs> you, they'd think you're a bit of a weirdo. That's one of my samples, actually. Looks, that, is it that looks one better of now. from the shows? Yeah, it looks better now, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, that's, so what show was that from? Uh, eight o'clock last night. Eight o'clock? Yeah. Please do catch all of the shows on Rewind if you want any more inspiration of how to use this collection. So many people have bought it. Just You can see for 60 days those shows as well. So if you've forgotten anything, you want reminding, you're a little bit stuck. And I know Lou just posts constantly on Facebook and social media with all of her different designs and inspiration there as well. Now, everything is dispatched from the 19th of October. Just remember that. Don't forget as well, you're getting that gift with purchase as well. And 50 people are going to find a golden ticket in their package. That means you can scan the code, the QR code on the back, and you can join in with a, a live demonstration with Lou herself. There is so much on offer here. Final call. We are almost there. Are you ready, Pilot Lou? I'm ready. You've got your monocle on. I'm ready. She's ready to go. Thank you for joining us. Safe landing, Lou. I yeah. hope everything's all right. Watch your apron. Oh, yeah, watch your apron. Watch the spaghetti. Right, I'm going to go as well. Wing Commander Sturrock is on their way. Please stay with us. Much more to come. I'm just going to show you the rest of the collection as I go down here. There we go. Stay with us for the menu. <laughs> You've got your money cut. <laughs> Coming up next is Maggie G Embroidery. And then we've got Ecoline One Day Special. Lou Sims is here. And then we're back with Tracy Hay. Oh, what a fun day. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion, and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, using the Hochanda app on your Amazon Fire Stick for free? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Amazon Fire Stick accesses the Amazon App Store to add new applications. By downloading the Hochanda app, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Simply turn on your TV and connect your Amazon Fire Stick. If this is your first time using the device, follow the on-screen instructions to connect to the internet and log into your Amazon account. Once set up, you'll need to open the search bar. To do so, simply use your remote circular directional dial to scroll to the search icon and select it. Now simply type Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. All you need to do now is select download and remember it's free. Once this is added to your Fire Stick, you can move the app for easy access. Press and hold your home button on any app and then select apps from the menu that appears. Scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the button with the three horizontal lines on your remote and select Move to Front. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Paul Church from Clarity Stamp. I've been fortunate enough to turn my hobby into a career and joined Clarity Stamp in January 2016. 
My background has always been in crafting and I enjoy making things and sharing things. That's what crafting is all about for me, making things and sharing with others and also learning all the time. At Clarity Stamp we bring you a wide range of products from stamps, stencils, groovy and Percomano. And the great thing about that is that it covers crafters from all different aspects. So whether you're into stamping, stenciling, parchment craft, we've got it covered at Clarity Stamp. So I hope you can tune in and join the Clarity team on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Donna and this is my brother Simon and we're Pearly Winks Craft Supplies. We've been crafting since we were very young. My mum got us into crafting and we've been loving it ever since. We have a good selection of inks. We started with our winks, which are just the water-based ink, and then went on to the pearls. We've added some chalks, we've got some glitter sprays, and then we've added some beautiful stamps to complement the inks. We've got a fantastic design team who help us with all our designs for the stamps and we've got a great range of inks which we manufacture ourselves here in the UK. Our pearl sprays and our pearly inks are loaded with mica so they give you amazing results on your projects. We hope that our products bring you as much fun, creativity and inspiration as they do to us. We love all of our products and we hope you do too. So make sure you don't miss our shows on Achanda. Yes, indeed. Good afternoon. The time has chosen. I must look at the clock. Five o'clock. I, I wear a watch and I never, I never use it. Uh, it's just gone. Five o'clock is what we're looking at. And we are talking about, yes, this here, a new supplier to the wonderful world of Hachanda. New supplier on Hachanda. A big fan as well. She's, we were chatting to her via Skype uh, before the hour started. Oh, my word. She seems the biggest bundle of joy and of energy Ever. She's absolutely amazing. You wait till you see her as well. Uh, we've got a, we've got, oh, actually, let's do it now. Can we throw to her now? Uh, we can. Let's go live via Skype, I think, to the Isle of Wight, which is a beautiful part of the world. I know it well from the hotels that are down there. The cheeriest person looking back at me at the moment. If you could see what I can see here, uh, it's our very own Maggie, my love. How are you? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm so pleased to be here. Thank you, Adam. No, it's not. But if I had my way, you would be here every day. I love you already. <laughs> um, right then, before we go any further, um, we're busy already. Let me put that out there. We're busy already on the kits themselves. <laughs> Calm yourself Sorry. down now, Petal. Don't peek too that. soon. We've got an hour to get through. Uh, so... <laughs> Tell me a bit about your background and how you got onto the wonderful world and became one of the family now here on Hachanda. I know. I'm so excited. <laughs> I've always been creative. Um, taught myself. I'm a real doer. Um, I taught myself to dress, make, and make curtains. And I won't incriminate myself with my start my um, craft stash online, and uh, do a bit of everything really. But I had a foundation in retail, and. Um, was very, very privileged to have my own business. And I started embroidery um, classes. And um, I made my own kits for them. And really and truly, it was from those that Maggie G Embroidery really started. Um, the the uh, instructions that I made, I could see it changed people so much. It gave them so much joy and so much self-esteem. And creativity is a wonderful, wonderful thing to be able to give to people. But I wanted to take embroidery further. I wanted to make it affordable. I wanted to make the, the um, instructions really, really good. And I wanted the contents of my kits to be absolutely absolute quality. So I took the business online and really from there I literally 
built that business up, the business up from the ground up. And here I am today. Here she is, and there she here she is, the Isle of Wight. Oh, look at that little beaming face. I love it already. Right, <laughs> let's crack straight on. Maggie's with me for the hour as well. We've got live demonstrations. Um, this first kit, oh my God, a third. So, the first kit, I've not even showed you a thing yet. I've not even read a number out. Uh, $14.99, a third of the stock here now has already gone. 549347 is your item number. So, Maggie, to, let's go back back to basics with me on this. What are we getting when I get this home? What do, do I need to first of all do I need to supply anything or do I get everything in the kit? What have, what am I getting in the kit? Tell me all. What do I need to that is a really good question. All you need is um, an iron for the iron-on transfer, and I'll tell you a bit more about that later. Um, you need a pair of scissors, and you need a hoop um, to put your piece in to keep it nice and, and straight and taut. Um, those are the only things you need. Everything else is in the kit. This is what I call my definitive embroidery kit, and this kit was... It was created by my customers. Everything they wanted to know, um, all their questions are in this kit. What are needles? What fabric do you use? What cottons do you use? Absolutely anything you need to know, as if you hadn't even heard of the word embroidery before, is there. And then we start with a very, very simple little project with five easy, easy stitches, and they're hopefully set on their journey to the wonderful world of embroidery. And it is a wonderful world of embroidery that you're about to go on as well. Um, I was flicking through the instructions before we came live while mm. Lou and Catherine uh, were flying around the studio. And it is... <laughs> a, that's what they do naturally. Uh, but uh, there is a full kit, nothing to do with the show. Uh, but they have got a full kit and it breaks everything down. So what is needles? What is hoops in here? Everything is on here that you are going to need. The back page is the full pattern that's on there as well that you are going to need. All of these for full. £14.99. Uh, now, Maggie, I have got one serious question to ask you. Now, here at Achanda, we're very good at, at sort of describing things that are loosely what they are. Uh, but this says, Maggie G, I'm loving the name already, uh, Beginner's Blossom Embroidery Kit. Is this for beginners? Oh, completely. It is as I say, the definitive guide to embroidery. It's where you start with my kits. There's no fancy schmancy um, casting off or, or um, casting on or none of the technicalities at all. This is sheer joy. You put the threads and the colours exactly where you want to. I just give you the foundations and all those really nice, easy tips um, about how to start. The technicalities can wait till later. Let's just get you started. And um, we're busy already. £14.99. 549347 is your item number. 40% of the stock now has already gone. Right then, let's press on because I've got a very long counter to get through. Uh, right then, we're going to speed things up a little bit now because I also want to get demonstrations in. Next up, we are now looking at this next kit. Once again, everything comes in the kit. Let me go through the kits for you. Uh, so first of all, you get all your threads that are on there with all the colour swatches down the side as well. It'd be easy if I hold it that way, but then you get them all in if I hold them this way. Uh, horses for courses. Uh, so you get all the threads that are there, all the threads that you need. What you're also getting included in the kit I love this and I've never seen this before. I've seen them before, let me point that out, but I've never seen them in kits. Uh, you get a needle threader, which I think is a absolute godsend. You get a needle threader that's in there, so you haven't, you haven't got to guess where you are. You're getting two needles in there. Uh, then we get all the cottons as well that we need, and all this will be in the instructions, what we use each material for. I'm guessing by the looks of it, one would be a backing. Uh, your calico would be a backing that you would uh, sort of sew onto, so it gives you that bit more rigidity uh, as you sew through. So you've got that rigidity in there as well, which I absolutely adore. Uh, everything included in the kit, full instructions in the kit as well. Um, I'm going to go for it, Maggie. Beginner friendly as well? Completely. This is what I call my beginner's dimensional um, stitch. Um, I love in dimensional stitches, as, as my customers know. And um, this is really the entry-level dimensional stitch one. And 
anybody can do it. Anyone can do it because my instructions are so good. They really are. They're beautiful. Sorry, my little chubby fingers within there. there. Uh, we love the bee. We absolutely adore this. You're adoring this as well. £15.99. 15% of the stock now has already gone. 616883 is your item number. Right then, let's move on to the next one. Once again, uh, this is Bumblebee in a Meadow is what we're looking at now. Everyone's getting excited here in the studio. Uh, Bumblebee <laughs> in the Meadow is what we're looking at. Once again, all the threads that you will need, all numbered and coloured for you as well. Uh, so you can't go wrong. Uh, from your threads, you're also getting all your ingredients as they were. Your needles and your fabrics are all in there. Full content of instructions. Oh, I can't say that word. Full instructions. Uh, easy to read is the word I was going for. Uh, full, easy to read instructions. Tell you how to use everything. Where to start, where to go. The pattern is in there as well. And beginner friendly. We are talking about the brand new supplier of Maggie G's. What we're talking about, Bumblebee in a meadow cover embroidery kit, fifteen pounds and ninety nine pence. A beautiful little gift as well is what you're going to need. Five four seven nine nine seven is your item number. Uh, up next, we've got tr tranquility. I can't even say the word. Tranquility brights is what we're looking at this time. Now this time we've got a bit of beadwork in here, uh, is what we're looking at with this. Uh, we've got a little bit of beadwork uh, that's pushing through. Um, I'm going to go over the few French knots in here as well. Uh, that I can see just in the background. Now once again, everything's in the kit, you even get the beads inside the kit as well. Um, the little beads. Uh, Maggie though, do we get more thread than we need in all the kits? Always, always. And the lovely thing about this one, Adam, is that it can be personalised. Um, now, I don't actually tell you how to do that. I, actually, I must do that. Um, <laughs> tell you how to personalise it. But, I mean, really and truly, all you need to do is you print off your letters or whatever you need to do, and the linen is thin enough for you to just put your letters. Don't forget to... No, you won't need to do the mirrored. That's fine don't need to do the mirrored and you just paste, put your linen on top, um, center it with your design and trace through the letters and there you go, good to go, some letters to stitch over as well. So this makes a beautiful personalized piece as well, lovely for christenings and weddings. A quarter of the stock here now has already gone, 15 pounds, 99 pence, brand new today, 798294 is your item number. Uh, we've got more on the show as well, I've got so many options for you. Look at the detail in it, how beautiful, and the colourways that you are getting in here are beautiful. Uh, maybe you're going to use them on the front of a cushion, maybe you're going to turn them into like a little tapestry if you want to do a little mural. Uh, you're even going to put them on through a throw, you're going to sew them onto a pocket or a jean, because I'm guessing you could do that. Once you've got the concept for these, um, you get the threads that's already in there. You could put it onto your little denim pockets if you wanted to. You're getting full instructions, full kits as well is what you're getting for £16.99. 15% uh, of the stock here now has already gone. 535836 is your item number. If I was you, I would really be shopping ahead of me on this show. We are ridiculously busy already. So, 15% of the stock already gone here. Okay. Uh, we'll bring in the details for you, um, but we are so, so busy. Uh, so this is your embroidery kit that you're looking at the moment. Uh, uh, well, let's bring up the ones for this one. Oh, we've moved on. So the one I'm got, the one I'm standing in front of at the moment. These are the details on the screen. Five three five eight three six is your item number. Sixteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Uh, there's your follow on florals. Then up next. We're now talking your sequins uh, that we've got in here. So this time, I don't know if you've noticed, but they're gradually getting detailed and detailed. So this, you're stepping up the game every single time is what you're doing. Um, this one is beautiful in that beautiful circle that you've got there. Once again, the beads and threads are all in what you're getting. Everything's included with your kit. You're getting your two needles. You're getting your needle threader in there. And you're getting all the colorways as well. How beautiful is this? covered in French knots that you've got in there. I think I see a little slip stitch I think I'm going for. I may be wrong. Um, Maggie, my love, how many stitches, roughly, do we need to learn if we've never done this before? This 
kit here is the uh, is it's called um, Learn Something New: An Introduction to Woven Stitches, and this again is all about dimensional stitches. So you've got lovely woven pico daisies there, and you've got spiderweb stitches, and you've got cast on daisies, and all sorts of wonderful textural um, stitches in there for you. Um, this is an absolutely beautiful introduction. If maybe you've, you've come through the ranks and um, you want something a little bit different, want to stretch your skills a little bit, this is absolutely perfect for that. It really is. There are so and many. This will, will get you through to the sort of, I think, the initial being a bit scared of doing something a little bit different. But what you've got in the instructions, though, which I really enjoy, and I'm looking at them at the moment, uh, you've got full in diagrams of how to do all the stitches. Mm. So you've got things like double uh, double woven uh, pico daisies in there. You've got single woven peking daisies in there. You've got detached chain petals in there. You've got the lazy daisy in there. Um, what else have we got in here? Uh, you've got a lazy daisy, uh, another lazy daisy. You've got a, um, a cast on stitch daisy. But everything is broken down into full pictures and diagrams so you really really can't go wrong every single no. page is exactly the same so you really are in safe hands through every single mode that you're about to go down 26 pounds and 99 pence is what you're looking at 517106 is your item number right then next up if i take a big step to this way um, this is your apricot stump work now correct <laughs> well, thank you very much. I like the way you've uh, <laughs> labelled them for me at the back, though, so I can read ahead. What's this all about? Though? What is a stump work kit? What are we talking about when we talk stump work? Well, this is a modern take on stump work. Again, this is something really, really easy to get into it for the first time. But stump work is, um, for all intents and purposes, it's a raised embroidery. Um, oh. If you think of back in the Stuart times in about the 17th century, all those lovely caskets that had people on them that were all stuffed and padded um, and that's what is called stump work and this is a sort of a modern take on it again it takes more a little bit further on and this time you're doing things like putting um, making wired leaves and poking them in there and shaping them and doing all sorts of fun things like this it just again takes that skill level up a notch uh, well, you're loving it. A third of the stock has already gone here. £34.99. and pence. Four four nine three seven nine is your item number. Right then, Maggie, I'm going to love you and leave you at this point. I'm going to let you set up for your first demonstration, uh, and then I'll be back with you shortly. Okay, so you go and get ready for your Thank first demo, you. and I'll see you shortly. Will do. Uh, Thank right you, Adam. No, it's all right. Thank you. She can come again. I'm loving her so far. Loving her. She can come any time she wants. Just follow me around. I'm love, loving our Maggie. Love our Maggie J. Uh, then, next but last but no means least, we've got your uh, your stump work again. This is your flower. This is your flower festival. Uh, but this is in your mauve stump work kit that we're looking at. This is beautiful once again. Uh, all the stairs, we said, it's more of the rigidness uh, that you're getting in here because you are getting uh, the wires that run through that obviously you can bend and manipulate um, for you. So everything is in there. You're getting full instructions again. Uh, we will ask Maggie as well, is there any help or guidance along the way uh, should you get stuck with these? And I'm sure there is. Yeah, she's a lovely lady. Uh, £34.99, 440615 is your item number that you're looking at. Now, Maggie did say at the top of the hour, you might need an embroidery hoop to do some of these. Well, luckily enough, I've got some on the show as well. I've got a set of four embroidery hoops. Uh, nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Two zero seven six five seven is your item number for your embroidery hoops. Good sizes as well. The sizes of them hoops are um, big to small, seven centimeters, twelve centimeters, seventeen centimeters, and twenty-two centimeters, which is three inch, five inch. 7 inch and 9 inch is what you're getting. Oh, look at us being precise. Um, uh, we've, got, we've got everything there. For all that, for £9.99, 207657 is your item number. Right then, we're back to the first one. 
This has been really, really busy, okay? We're now 80% of the stock has already gone on your Maggie G Beginners Blooms Embroidery Kit. $14.99 is a breakdown from if you've never picked up a needle before and thread. It will talk you through every stitch that you currently see on here at the moment. And once you've learnt them stitches, it then means you can progress your journey to wherever you want your journey to go in the world of embroidery. There is so much you can achieve. You've seen some of the things that we can achieve already on here. But now, start off at the basics. You've never done it before. This is a good place to start. Because it's quite easy for them to go, oh, you can go for this one. But if you've never done it before, where do you actually start? Well, this is the perfect place. So £14.99. 459347 is your item number. We've had an email in from Tony who says, uh, Oh, she just wants to show her support. Maggie, uh, Maggie, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, we've had, do you know Tony? Oh, yes. Uh, we've had an email in from Tony. She just went, I just want to show you my support for a good old friend, uh, Maggie, on her first show. <laughs> her kits are superb and so easy to follow. Um, she is amazing. Oh. <laughs> Don't well up on me now. You'll set me off. <laughs> uh, right then. Are we ready for demo? Let's go live to the Isle of Wight. I love the Isle of Wight. Um, it's a beautiful place if you've never been. Um, to have a look at our first demonstration. Right then, Maggie, my love, what would you like to show me first? Right. OK, everybody, don't sigh. I'm going to show you how to prep. And now we're not talking about stripping wallpaper or anything like that here. We're talking about starting your embroidery kits. And this applies to every single kit on the show. Now, we're going to talk about the beginner's kit first and foremost, um, because I'm hoping there are lots and lots of you new stitches out there. And what I want to show you is... Um, and this is the same with all my instructions. There's a lot of them. There are pages of them. So what I always say is go and stick your cosy feet on, your cosy slips on, and get yourself a hot chocolate and have a really good read of them first. Now, what you're going to do after you've done that is you're going to discover that you've got the most beautiful DMC threads in here and you've got the most beautiful and wonderful John James needles with a threader. You also, in all the other kits, you get whatever, however many needles you need for each job you'll get, all right? So some of those big kits, you'll get about four needles in doing different jobs. Anyway, so the other thing you'll get is you'll get your calico backing, as Adam rightly said, and you'll get your beautiful linen. You'll also get this here, this square. Now, this wasn't a genius idea of mine, I have to say. It was one of my customers, because the idea is, look, you can just pop it on top of your test piece there on your transfer and just check the heat of your iron. And that brings us to the transfer. That's this. This is a heat activated pattern. And again, I do this for a reason. Um, it gives a much nicer, much softer line um, to go over in my humble opinion and anyway my customers voted for it and what uh, they say goes right take this piece off the bottom like this snip it off you don't want it because otherwise you're going to transfer your linen turn it upside down on your linen like this on your ironing board and then place it face down you can see through it and then iron without any um, steam. It's got to be a non-steamy iron. And then iron it over with your nice hot iron, irony, irony, irony. And then pull your pattern back just to see if your pattern has actually gone on there. All uh, right? Ma Maggie, that my love. Maggie. Mm. I'm sorry to chip in. Um, yes. I, I was, we were all engrossed, and I, and I didn't want to keep chipping in and interrupting you. I was meant to take this limited stock, uh, but in fact, I've jumped from limited stock. I'm now technically sold out of this first kit. But don't worry, um, we've, we've, we've got the powers that be that have been here. Uh, we've managed to get some more, so if you are, if you are wanting more, 
it's a dispatch date from the 15th of October is what you're looking at now. Um, so we've not many now, and once they've gone, they have gone. Uh, so we're now on the 15th of October. If you want the Maggie Beginners, the Maggie G Beginners Blossom Embroidery Kit, £14.99. We're on extended delivery to the 15th of October. 549347 is your item right number. Um, that's, so that's the information I'm going to have. Sorry about that, Maggie Love. We're coming back to you that's live via all Skype. Right. I thought to myself, oh gosh, am I not in the middle of the screen or something? Oh no, you're doing well. <laughs> you're doing all right. <laughs> Okay, right, let's get on then, shall we? Let's take this pattern up and then we've got our pattern on here. Now, if it's a little bit faint, don't worry too much because once it goes onto your calico, um, you'll find that, in fact, it looks darker. All right? Okay. So then you're going to pin your, um, your, your um, linen onto your calico like this and... For all you dressmakers out there, you'll know this. You'll pin your pins outwards like this because then it'll mean your fabric is nice and straight. And what you're going to do is you're going to then um, you're going to then uh, attach it from, to the linen and the calico together. And what you're going to do is you're going to do a herringbone stitch. Now, the reason you're going to do a herringbone stitch is because it's a again a lovely stitch for the, the fabric to stay nice and flat and flexible too for when you stitch your um put your stitches on so what you're going to do is this is just a piece of dressmaking cotton because you don't want to use all the lovely threads in your kit that would be a waste and then this is your embroidery needle from your kit all right and then you're going to fasten into your calico like this couple of stitches and then you're going to take your thread across now what this is is an elongated let me take my finger out of the way an elongated cross stitch all right that's all it is now the other thing i need to say is you do not these do not need to be perfect whatsoever they are not going to be seen so for goodness sakes it doesn't matter so you should see the state of mind right Go across onto your linen about half a centimetre through and across and you put your needle in to the, through to the linen and the calico and you take it out. Um, is that horizontally? Yeah. Anyway, and then you go for about five millimetres through your, your linen and your calico. So you're joining both la linen layers. And then you're going across and you're coming down across again. And you're doing the same behind the th thread, front of the thread, in and out on the calico, and then back up again. And then back down again. Now, there are some rule of thumbs I can tell you to make absolutely perfect um, herringbone stitches. But quite frankly, it really is a waste of time on this. All you're doing is um, securing your fabric all okay. right and what you're doing is taking your pins out along the way so that you get this let me just turf that into the dog basket right that's it <laughs> so then you have um your your um calico and yeah. your uh your backing okay and that's all ready to go onto a hoop right now let's say for the sake of argument we're going to use a round hoop now on my Facebook page, I have put a really lovely article, if I say so myself, on hoops and frames. A little bit about um, the history of them, but most of all, all about what I think is a good um, uh, frame. And that's what matters, really. So we're going to put our, our design on our hoop centrally like that. And then we're going to put over a piece of tissue paper. Now, I'm sorry it's taking up the whole screen. There we go. I've tilted it a bit for you. And then you're going to put the hoop just slightly, um, not, not tight at all, like I've got it. <laughs> That's it. Over the top, like this. All of this is in your instructions, by the way. Okay. 
And then, little known fact, did you know that that little... Can you see that? That's... Uh, no, no, that way. There that we go. Way. That's little slide... That little line there, that... Can you get it down? Yeah, we can see it. That houses a screwdriver. Ah. And that's what it's there for. So you pull your fabric down. Pull your fabric down. So it's lovely and tight, lovely and tight, lovely and tight. So it's drum tight, all okay. right? And then I'm going to do this yeah. with a screwdriver. You're really not. Um, and then with the tip of your scissors, you're going to just take that, um, that tissue paper away and you're going to reveal, uh, where are we, where are we, the pattern there, all right? Now, you can take all of this away because really and truly the whole idea of this is that um, it will eliminate this nasty grubby stain that you will get around your hoop when you've rubbed it or had it on your, um, your hoop a little bit. Um, too long. All right, so you'll you'll get rid of that and okay. you can keep it nice and clean. Good top All tip. right, and that's it. Right then, so that's how we set it all up. Um, Indeed. Do you want to? Have we got any of the stitches you can show us on that one? Or have you got another one you can show me the stitches on? Do you know Jimmy will be absolutely thrilled because I've actually missed out the next demo for for the lavender one because of the lighting. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, we'll, do the, we'll go over to the lavender later. All right, and we'll do a little recap, and we'll let you set up for another demonstration. Um, <laughs> Thank our, you. Our, our Jimmy's throwing a little party, uh, but <laughs> he's not really. Uh, right, this sold out. It's back on extended delivery. Two-thirds of the extended delivery stock now has already gone. We don't have a lot left. £14.99, 549-347 is your item number. Uh, we think it's going to sell out again before the end of the hour. Let's talk about what you're actually getting in the kit. So this is a beginner's kit, okay? It's Maggie G uh, Beginner's Blossom Embroidery Kit. So... What we're talking when we talk beginner's kits, well, Maggie's really, really well uh, spoke you through it. I like my English just there, English. Uh, English just there, <laughs> my English. Um, it basically goes through everything that you need in full instruction form. Um, but everything is in there and you get everything in the kit. So if you've never picked up a needle before, this is the perfect way to start. So you are getting all the threads that you need and it will tell you how many threads you're going to need as well uh, for the sheer fact you may only want to need one skein uh, from the thread that's on there so this is going to last you an awful long time uh, from there you've got full colors down the side as well so you always know what colors you're going to be using uh, from the colorways you've also got your test piece now this is what this is it's limited stock we are limited stock again um, if you want it get it uh, oh, the only thing you need to add is your hoop, your scissors, and your tissue paper. And that is it. That's the only thing you need to add. Okay? Uh, sold out. We are now sold out once again. £14.99. That one has gone. It won't be coming back. Well done if you got it for the second time around as well. Um, so, that's gone. Let's press on to the lavender. Uh, Bumblebee. This is our Jimmy's favourite. Our Jimmy loves this. He absolutely adores it. Um, he, like, there's something about lavender that our Jimmy loves. It sort of sends him to sleep and that sort of thing. He, 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 he sprays it on his pillow and things like that. Um, so he's got a fascination with lavender. And he was drawn to it, funny enough, like this little bee was, uh, for £15.99. pence. Once again, you get full instructions that you get in there. Uh, that I absolutely adore. Uh, £15.99, 616883 is your item number that you're getting with this as well. Uh, we're at a third of the stock with this one as well. Um, I like the way you, I, you could turn the bee around if you wanted to, so you could have him flying up, or you could have him flying down, because he's got that little silver thread that where he's been. I absolutely adore it. Remember, you get your, um, your transfer in there as well, and you also get your little test piece. So all we transfer 
is on the paper and you get that little test just to see how hot your iron is. You just snip that off at the bottom as well. Uh, you can't go wrong, 616883 is your item number, is what we're looking at there. Hopefully we will get to a demo uh, with this one later as well. So hopefully we will bring back the lavender demo. It just involves moving cameras around. That's all it is, that's what we were laughing at earlier. Uh, right then, now we've got the bumblebee and the meadow is what we're looking at now. Uh, once again, a nice collection is what you're looking at. So maybe you want to go for both of these, £15.99. 547997, 40% of the stock here now has already gone. 547997 is your item number that you're actually looking at at the moment for this one. Uh, very busy. Once again, everything is in the kit that you need. Tranquility Bright, we're talking about next. Now, popular, two-thirds of the stock has already gone. And as our Maggie G was saying earlier, she's another name. We have to say a full name now, I feel. You can't just call her Maggie. You have to call her, you have to call her Maggie G. Um, loving that. I wonder if she knows Honey G. Uh, but uh, with, the Maggie G, with the Maggie G designs that you're getting here, it guides you through, it holds your hand, it's through a process. So if you were lucky enough to get the beginner, maybe this is going to be your next stage. For the sheer fact, it's got a bit of beadwork in there. You can also, as Maggie G said as well, um, personalise it. So you could have a date in the middle. You could have Mr and Mrs in the middle. This could be a applique onto a cushion if you wanted it to be. It could be an anniversary, the day you met. It could be names if you wanted it to be. It could be absolutely anything you want it to be. £15.99, and pence. Seven nine eight two nine four is your item number that you're looking at at the moment. Um, I absolutely adore it. There is so much. This, uh, we think this is going to be the next one. I can hear how busy it is. That's why it makes me up. We are ridiculously busy at uh, this hour as well. Uh, the phones are going. There's people on the website. Uh, shop ahead if I was you. Tap the app. Jump to the website. It's the quickest and the easiest thing to do. Because I really don't want you to miss out on any of the designs. Because they are beautiful. Uh, right then. We're moving on. Uh, colour on floral is what we got, and follow, follow on florals. Uh, this is the uh, soft version that I've got here in front of me. This is a beautiful, beautiful version, and once again, um, look at the details and the designs that you're actually getting in there. Uh, they are absolutely adorable. Uh, we will be going back to Maggie for more demonstrations as well. Um, so 535836 is your item number. 16 pounds and 99 pence. These are brand new kits from our brand new supplier, uh, Maggie G Embroidery. Is what we're looking. 50% of the stock here now has already gone. We are busy across the board. 16 pounds and 99 pence. Right then. If you want something different, this is really different. I've not seen anything like this before. Um, if I turn it this way, which is the way the photo frame is, uh, you've got those beautiful designs, but you could really have it any way you want to. It's so tactile uh, that you've got in there, which is absolutely adorable. £26.99 is what you're looking at. 517106 is your item number uh, for this one, which is absolutely beautiful um, if you could only see what I could see on the other side of the studio they're setting up for the one day special they keep putting pens in a stand and time anytime anyone touches them they all will fall back down again everyone's done it so far it's hilarious to watch uh, right then uh, up next uh, we've got your apricot stump work kit 80% of the stock here now has already gone once this has gone there's no more of this there's no more of the stunt work of this one, so once this is sold out, it's sold out, it won't be coming back. £34.99, 449379 is your item number that you'll be getting on this as well. Uh, it is beautiful because you've got a bit of wire work in there. So you've got all that stunning wire work that's running through. You've got your little test patches as well. We're now limited stock for your stump work. Let me move my big sausage arm out of the way uh, so you can actually see what you're actually getting on this. Uh, it is beautiful, beautiful through and through. You've got, as, it is sort of reminds me of those Tudor cushions uh, that you used to get. It's got that real embroidery and 3D-ness uh, to them that you've got running through. £34.99, 449379 is your item number for your stump work that we've got. And last but no means least, uh, we've also got your flower festival in mauve this time uh, of the stump work that you've got. So if you like them both, 
if you can go forward both go for both but two-thirds of the move now has already gone as well so if you did want the move option 440615 is your item number 34 pounds and 99 pence is what you're looking at for your stump work in move right then maggie are you ready for me to come back to you with another demonstration maggie on the isle of wight can you hear me yes and i'm so sorry i was so long to set up adam oh, don't worry <laughs> Don't you worry, that is what I'm here for, uh, to Best tell people plans numbers. and everything. Oh, I love it. Oh, look at that bee. Right, Maggie, what would you like to show me? Right, what we're going to do now is we're going to do something absolutely splendid. Um, this is the whole point of, of embroidery. This is the excitement you get. Once you begin, you, um, you can then see nature and you can embroider it and what we're going to do here is we're going to shape and we're going to um we're going to shape this bumblebee and the, he is made from what's called uh, turkey work and that's the name that um they they used to the stitch they used to um give for um imitation uh, turkish rug work really so we're going to put, we're going to do the stitch and I'm going to see if I can find a place on camera that I can actually, let's go this way. I think it's that way. That's it. Cause I'm yes. So we're going to do um, turkey work. Okay. This is the turkey stitch that you're going to uh, make your bumblebee with, your fuzzy wuzzy bumblebee with. Oh, so what you're going to do is you're going to take, um, I'm using uh, three, six strands here, and you will be asked to use six strands in the kit. Um, now, my bumblebee, I have to say, is pretty prehistoric because he's, he's jumbo size so that you can all see him properly. Um, He's a bit smaller in the kit. So bring your thread up and then what you're going to do is you're going to secure that thread and we're going to make loops and then they are going to be secured. So you're going to go slightly behind the, the thread you've just left up and slightly in front of it to make a straight stitch. But these are actually going to be, be back stitches technically. And then you're going to come up next to your stitch there your tail and you're going to come up and you're going to come down slightly in front of the stitch you've just made there and you're going to make a loop like this and then you're going to go back and you're going to go into the front of the stitch there your securing stitch and you're going to come forward And then you're going to come back to this stitch here and you're going to carry on making your loops now once you've done that you will end up with stripes of color with your loops like this and then what you're going to do is you're going to trim them so that's what we're going to do here we're going to trim with a sharp pair of scissors all of the loops in your bumblebee just like this oh, and you'll start to see give him a little trim give him a little haircut that's that's exactly what it is adam it's it's a you're giving him a haircut and this is the absolute wonder of of embroidery so so in theory, Maggie, are you just getting, I know you've said this, but just to, it's more for me, if anything, are we just getting, are we just opening up the loops like we would in a pom-pom? You, you are absolutely doing that. Yes, you're, you're, you're literally cutting off those loops. And this is why they call it turkey stitch, because ultimately it makes a pile like a, a rug. Ah. And that's why they called it turkey stitch. Oh, I like. Hmm. Right. So how long have you been embroidering for, Maggie? I have been embroidering for about 10 years. Okay. Um, I'm self-taught, and I think that's where really the um, the instructions come from, because um, I, I'm really what not what I would call a natural student. I, I need to be very visual, as I think a lot of crafters are. And then 
Um, so I really wanted some um, instructions that would be nurturing and encouraging, friendly, um, and I'm always on, on hand to help anyway. Well, that was so what be, we're going to do... That was going to be my next question, Maggie. Before we, before we move on with your bumblebee and before I forget to ask you the question, um, if, we, if we get any of the kits home today and we sort of get stuck... Are there ways of contacting you that was for help and guidance or just showing us the way? It is absolutely part of my ethos. It is completely part. I am there all the time. Um, so you just email me um, or you contact me on the, the via the Facebook page and um, and I will be there to help you, most certainly. I find you on Facebook. absolutely what I'm there for. Where do I find you on Facebook, Maggie? Give me your Facebook. We're not meant uh, to, but I don't care. It is, it is um, Maggie G Embroidery, Adam, so it's very simple. I'll be finding, I'll be following you after this. Right then, back to the bumblebee <laughs> before he gets too short. <laughs> there we go. Bless him. There we go. It's half the size, Maggie, it's half the it size. Is. You, you do have to put trim a bit, but, but that's, that's the thing, you see. You don't have to make those loops any, you know, particularly, um, any particular size. There we go. And what I'm doing is I'm making him into a dome shape. Now, obviously, I would normally be be lifting the frame up, and um, and I'd be turning my frame around and and properly sculpting him. But so on telly and on a, a, a on a um, on on a flat hoop, it's a little bit tricky. <laughs> But normally I would have them have him a little bit more sort of there we go, a little bit more domed there. How big's this be, Maggie, that you could see? There we go. He is prehistoric. He <laughs> is absolutely prehistoric. It's like I a think hornet. He'd, you just, he'd have you your keep leg going off. in. Yeah, it, he'd, he'd have your leg off. No it would have been quicker with a hedge trimmer, Maggie, I, by the looks I, of it. I would not want to be in the path of this bee. Uh, he's more a hornet, really. But... <laughs> but I have to say, it's been my saviour because the lighting's been appalling, and the and my frame has not been playing ball, and everything oh, that no, you're doing wrong has gone wrong. You are doing amazingly. You really, really are. But uh, I don't think this camera angle's working for this bee because you keep going in. How much fur well, has he got? I, I, I can't tell you the hours we've put in rehearsing, and oh, oh. Um, it's just been. And then, of course, it all falls apart live on TV, doesn't it? Oh, this is the best. I love it. I love you. I go. so hope you can come into the studio next time. I, I knew you. I knew everybody would love this. I mean, the stitches you'll find on the in the in the kit, you know. Um, but so you know, this is really the core of embroidery for me. This is, you know, it is delightful because just as if you're a painter and you know that you look at you look at everything a different way entirely. <laughs> there we go. Now. He is pretty ginormous, I'll give you that. And I have to say, it's not exactly Vidal Sassoon, but, um, you know, I'd give him the Vidal Sassoon treatment if I was on a, a, a nice, you know, could hold him properly. But I think you get the gist, don't no, you? No, we get the gist. We're really there. Do. We're with you, Maggie. We're with you. <laughs> he's got he's got little sparkly wings and he's got straight stitches of his um of his legs oh. so and he will look much much daintier in your kit i can utterly i can utterly promise you yeah he's he's half he's half the man he used to be to be honest <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've not laughed like this for ages. Uh, so <laughs> let's let uh, let's let Maggie set up for another demonstration. I will reiterate, by the way, uh, I, myself and Maggie and Ross and Jimmy, my producer, we were all chatting to Maggie before we went on air to make sure everything was all set up. And obviously, uh, Maggie said, "Well, I've done the bee slightly bigger." Just so you can see on the telly. Well, oh yeah, that's fine. I didn't realise how big the bee was until we went in with shears to cut him down. Um, you're... <laughs> right, we've had, a... we've had another email <laughs> uh, from JJ Rose. It says, hi, Maggie, you are brilliant. All your kits are fantastic and beautiful. Uh, you explain so well. Thank you, hon. 
Um, I've had all your kits. Keep them coming. That was from JJ oh, Rose, JJ. Maggie. <laughs> uh, she also says the bee's so cute. Well, he was when he had air. Now, <laughs> he had a massive afro at the top of the hour, and now he's gone to a short back and sides. Right then, <laughs> this is your bee, though. This is the size of the bee you will be getting in your... <laughs> so this one... <laughs> This is the size of the bee you'll be getting. As you can see, it's the same technique, but obviously we expand and we make things bigger on TV. Um, we're going to go back to Maggie for another demonstration shortly as well. We're just going to let her set up uh, in the background. Now I'm going to give you the details uh, for the bees. £15.99 is what you're looking at. 616-883 is your item number for the Maggie G Bumblebee and Carted Lavender Embroidery Kit. £15.99. If you like bees, though, don't go anywhere. Oh, I've got the Bumblebee and Clover uh, up next. In Clover, yes, it is. And the Meadow Clover that we're looking at. £15 and 99 pence again. 50% of the stock here now has already gone. Uh, you have got uh, so much uh, in this kit. So you're getting the bumblebee that's in there. You're getting all the clover that's in there as well for £15 and 99 pence. You get a complete kit. Uh, you're getting your needles, your threads, your backing. You're even getting a tester piece in there uh, for you if you wanted to see the tester piece uh, that we've already got in there. Um, £15, 99 pence, 547993 is your item number. Uh, right then. Tranquility Bright is up next. We are limited stock on this one, is what we are, the Tranquility Bright. Uh, this is really busy. £15.99, 798294 is your item number. Um, have we got a demo on this one? Oh, uh, £15.99, 798294 is your item number. Everything included in the kit. Uh, this is what the kit actually looks like uh, when you get it home. Bit of beadwork in this and a couple of French knights that you're getting in there as well. Uh, what you've also got as well is the follow-on florals. Uh, which is next on the show, uh, which is absolutely beautiful. Those beautiful follow-on florals with the colours that you're getting in there as well. Remember, all your colourways are literally... Uh, looking like this. They are beautiful, beautiful colourways. Um, I absolutely adore these kits. Your door adoring them as well. They are stunning, stunning kits and no doubt our Maggie will be back again soon. Well, we're going to see her before the end of the show. Do not worry. Uh, we've got Ma the Maud up next which is that beautiful circle design uh, that you're getting. I can imagine this in the centre of a bag or in the centre of a cushion, maybe you're going to do. £26.99, 517106 is your item number. And unfortunately, this is where I have to stop. The apricot stump and the mauve stump have now sold out. So them kits have now gone as well. So the two kits that you see here are now no more. They were taken away from the counter, same with the mauve as well. Right then. We have got about four minutes left. Uh, Maggie, what can you show me in four minutes? <laughs> right, I'm still trying to get over that beat. Right, so what I'm going to show you now is how to... I hope you can see that properly. Yeah, we're there. Um, brilliant. Um, what I'm going to show you now is how to um, join st stem stitch absolutely seamlessly. Um, in the lavender, you will have a stem and in the clover, and this will change colour um, halfway down. And there's a very lovely way of doing that. So stem stitch, you may know you basically come down and you keep your thread to one side. Now doesn't matter if it's left or the right it just has to be the same side all the time and then you come up and then you go down all right now if you want to join the color what you do is you is you don't lose your needle in the in the uh in your needle that's yes you don't do that but it doesn't matter because what you're going to do is you're going to take your um paler thread and you're going to come up into the stitch you've just done and then you're going to carry on that stitch all right and you're going to carry on now unfortunately i have just lost my needle so you will just have to pretend that 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 has gone down to the back and you cannot see it all right not a problem but um <laughs> <laughs> it's all going wrong. No, so, it's not. So, so, 
<laughs> so there you go. So, and I've also got bits of bee hair, bits of bee fuzz stuck in there as well. I do apologize, everybody. Um, so and you just carry on and then up you go and carry on and there you go i'm not sure whether you'll see the definition or not but you go from dark through to light absolutely yep. seamless we can see it all right maggie we're going to ask you to switch your camera so we can see your little cheery face one more time uh, before we With go but pleasure. we haven't got long to do that the quickest and the easiest thing to do is jump to the website everything is on there um everything well i've got left that's all also accessories are on the website as well that i haven't had time to touch on during the hour i've got things like the hoops on there there's magnifying glasses on there as well with lights in that's going really led magnification uh, you've also got your pin cushions on there um, and your mini sewing kit as well. You've got your Freedom and your 7 Day Savings. Look at that sewing kit. That sewing kit is amazing. A Grows Professional Sewing Kit, 167 pieces in total for $14.99. Uh, definitely get that. Pop that into your basket as well. Just keep everything together. And then you've got also beautiful kits as well. Right then, we haven't got long left of this hour. Start checking out your baskets if I was you, because uh, I really don't want you to miss out on anything that we've got in the show. We've already had three sellouts this hour already, and I have a funny feeling there'll be more to come as well, just after the hour. If you're loving the cottage lavender embroidery kit that you see in front of me, 15 pounds and 99 pence, 616883 is your item number. Uh, right then, before we go, I've got about a minute left. Maggie, my love, it's been an absolute pleasure. How was your Thank first you. time on her chander? Uh, everything went wrong. The producer sounds really quite, quite, um, you know, it, sort of, what's the word? Um, exasperated with me, but uh, it was fantastic. And you were marvellous. Thank Bless you ya. so much. And thank you, everybody. No, not a problem. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed, next time we see you, you'll be standing next to me as well. And may oh, you say your craft, room, so. your craft room looks beautiful behind you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much everybody and thank you adam not a problem stay safe and i'll speak to you soon thank you bye everybody thank you whatever she's on i want it as well we could bottle this. I could make a fortune with this. I really, really could. Uh, thank you, Managi. It's been an absolute pleasure. Check out your basket. Don't go anywhere, though. There's something special just around the corner. <laughs> Yes, indeed. And that something special is our Janice and our Lou Sims up next for another brand new one day special. You do not want to miss this. And then join me with our Tracy Hay next. Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind so they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects and paste prints as well which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilting cottons so tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dies in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. So on our Hope Chanda shows, we aim to inspire you to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Be sure to join us for our Sentimentally Yours shows on Hope Chanda.
Hello, I'm Hayley, and you might have seen me presenting here at Hachanda. Well, I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favourite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. I'll be covering lots of areas of soft crafts like quilting, dressmaking, sewing, knitting, even printing your own fabrics. I'll even be bringing some items from my own Handmade by Hayley range. So I hope you'll join me, let me inspire you, and maybe you will discover a new craft in the process. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. I've been with Hachanda since the very, very beginning, and I've been crafting a lot longer than that. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking, and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years, and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it, and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products, as well as some of their other amazing brands, such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut, and the craft artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. So don't miss the John Next Door and Crafts 2 shows on Hachanda. Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Hachanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a Chanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away, or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888, and join her Chanda Freedom today. A very good evening to you. Yes, we're launching a brand new one-day special here on Hochanda, as we do every night at 6 p.m. A one-day special are items at great prices for 24 hours. So, yes, you've guessed it. You've got to get it whilst we've got it in stock. We've got a tremendous one-day special lined up for you. We also have other items on the show as well that will accompany your one-day special perfectly, or you might just be topping up on your pens. Now, we also have a fantastic guest. We've got the lovely Lou Sims with us. Hello, good evening. How are you, Lou? Oh, I'm fine. Very excited. I've I, I love my eco lines anyhow. I do use them all the time. Why but, do you love eco lines so much? Um, vibrancy of colour. Yes. Uh, blendability, portability. I can do dry on dry. I can use wet. I can use. Well, we've got different mediums with it. I can mix it to my mediums. I can. It works differently with a gesso. It works. You can it's use very it versatile, sorts. yeah. It certainly is. <laughs> oh, my word. You've got some gorgeous colours in here. Alongside those brush pens, you've got your A4 print paper and bl uh, brush blender pen. Now, hopefully, I'm going to have a bit of fun with the pens in the show, but, of course, the demonstrations down to Lou herself will be tremendous. If you have any questions, of course, do email in. It is studio at hochanda.com. Now, in that one-day special, you are getting your set of ten brush pens you're getting your blender pen as well and you're also getting that liquid watercolor print paper now the print paper you get 75 sheets and it's 155 GSM so it's it's 150 GSM but the great thing is it will go through your printers but it will also hold your inks and your watercolors perfectly normally watercolor papers are heavier because they've got to take that water they've got to absorb that all in but because this is 150 
50 GSM. It's also going to be ideal for going through the printer. And Lou has got some great ideas, haven't you, Lou, as to why you would want that paper going through your printer? Uh, well, for me, it was a little bit of a revelation. You can use it by itself. Let's say you don't have to. But suddenly, if you want to do a project, which is what I wanted to do for my first demo, and it started off as a set size, and then I thought, oh, and I've already drawn it. I can put that into my computer, scanned it in. I can now make it bigger, and I can print it off bigger. And so now my original sketch can get bigger or it can get smaller, and I can do it on watercolour paper. And it's like... It's perfect, isn't it, it? It's absolutely superb. You know what it's like. If you do that one sketch the one time, it's absolutely perfect. You can just reproduce that, and then you can colour in with your brush pens. So the colours that you've got in here as well, you've got your great primary colours in there, you've got your yellows, you've got your reds, you've got your blues in there, and you've got colours then, of course, that you can blend in together because you've got your blender pen. £29.93, saving £15. This is going to enable you to add that brightness, that vibrancy and that fluidity to your projects. Everything is going to be dispatched from the 20th of October. It's only 10 days and it's not long to wait. So if you want to produce bright, vibrant colours just like this and blend them so perfectly, you've got your right set right here. Saving £15, it's a great one day special, £29.93. 461449 is the item number. Remember we've got other items items on the show which means you can add those to your basket and if your basket comes to over 60 pounds then you can divide the cost into two i know you can really stuck up now right we've got some more for you let's move down and show you and then we can head towards the demonstrations so you can see the brushes in action now we've got an a3 watercolor pad for you and we also have these gorgeous inks as well at 34.99 saving nine pounds for this deal today, 817130. Now we know, of course, A3, larger in size, more of an area to work with. But Lou, can we talk about the pipettes that we've got in here? Or the inks? Yes. They are beautiful. The inks are the same vibrancy, but they're a liquid watercolour. So you can still do all your watercolour techniques with them. You could put them in um, palettes. Yes. You know, the word totally went for me there. And you can use them you know, little by little. You can actually combine the two together to make more colours. You can do big washes with them, dripping techniques. Add them to your gel mediums. And now suddenly you've got a translucent coloured gel. Um, which then if you put on top of a watercolour, they react again in a different way. You can really make something special. And you've got a lot there. You certainly have. I mean, this is ink, yeah. so you don't need an awful lot to get the intensity no. of colour. And on each of those parts, I'm not sure if this one's open, on each of these parts, you do have the little pipette which is in there Fire. connected to the lid. And you also get three extra pipettes for you right there. So you get those included, but actually in the inks themselves, when you open it up, and Lou's got one that's open at the moment, you'll see that it's got its own pipette. Well, you can see from a distance, but you can see it's its own <laughs> pipette there. Uh, there you go. We are, we are getting a close-up. Sorry, that that's was me okay. putting all of the directs so on the spot there. You've got it there. So, but when you get down to the bottom bit, that's why you've got, you can get then the smaller pipettes to get yeah. right in and get all that you I want. I wish they'd do that with my lipstick, I tell you. <laughs> um, so it's a great deal, it really is. And you've got some great colours in here as well. Of course, you've got the primary colours, haven't you, Lou? So yeah. then you can mix and be an alchemy. Oh, yeah, you can mix them all together to create all the colours of the rainbows that you actually want. So you can make your oranges in there, you can make your purples. Yeah. Um, you can make mix the greens with the yellows and you suddenly got a yellow green. You can mix the greens with the scions, so you've got a blue green. You know, you, you could do so many different colours with them all. Well, you certainly have. You've done them on these and samples as well. That I mean, that's is actually gorgeous. on the printer paper. Is it? So I've got mediums on there. I've got the echo lines. I've got the inks on there. And then I've um, coloured the gel medium in there with the, the inks on. Wow. And that's on the printer paper. It really is all about adding colour, isn't it? And using these for creating the most magnificent washes. Uh, if you excuse the pun, because of course this is by the sea. But you can, and when you've got the colours to start to experiment with, it really does bring your artwork to life. It really does. It does, and I like bright colours. I do like, but it does. It gives it an extra pop. Yeah. And, and we love a pop, don't we? We do. We, we do. do. Uh, 817130 <laughs> is your item number. Saving £9 if you want to go for this deal. Remember, you're getting the A3 pad as well. £34.99, but they are really worth their weight in gold. Right. 
next up, we have got a set of brush pens for you and we've got the inks. And you're also getting the A4 pad as well. It doesn't look A4, does it? But it is. If I open this up, and there you go. So you've got your A4 paper. Uh, 75 sheets. It is a big white sheet of paper. But you know what? I could have opened that up and it could have been cream. So it's nice to show everyone at home it's white. <laughs> the way we do it here at Ochanda. Uh, so in this particular, it was the way I do it anyway, uh, in this particular set you have got your pens, you've got 30 brush pens in there, you also have your blender pen as well. If I just turn these to the side you can see you've got your blender in there as well. Two paints of £41.97 pence means you can spread the cost but it means you get your artist studio right there and those are the colours that are included in the brush pens. You've got some gorgeous yellows there, deep yellows, lemon in there. Uh, you've got some lovely vibrant orange and that orange will run through to the reds and some wonderful colours for replicating the colours of autumn as well as going through the springtime. Lovely water colours in there as well and you've also got your blacks and your greys. And remember you've got your blender pen included. £83.93 pence, but we'll divide the cost into two interest free payments and you're saving six pounds on that particular deal. Uh, so that is for your brush set, your five 30ml inks and your A4 paper pad. Now we've got another deal for you if you want to go for the whole complete collection of pens, if you want to go for the whole complete collection of pens and we've got it right here and this is 60 pens for you so there's no repetition 60 pens in your set number one and set number two so no repetition which means you do get one blender pen within this set of two now we'll divide the cost into three payments we do know this is a considerable purchase but i'm sure you'll agree once you've got it you've got all the colours together. So for serious artists out there or somebody perhaps that's starting out art college, this would be an ideal gift. And it's ideal for you because we'll divide the cost over three monthly payments, £34.33. pence. But we'll send everything out at the same time. So you've got all the colours under the rainbow and then some. Don't forget you've got your blender pen included in that. So if you want it all in one go, if you want to have your cake and eat it too, that's the one to go for. There's your item number, 585022. Now, we do have a pick and mix. Now, this is ideal pick and mix for people that are stocking up or maybe just want certain colours to work with. Maybe your budget won't go to the full set of pens, but you want to dip your toes into the wonderful world of Ecoline brush sets. So, you get to choose any three. There's going to be 15 pens in total. There's five in a set. 625401 is your item number. So, it's going to be 15 pens in total and there's five in each set. £26.99. You're saving a whopping £11 there. Uh, so what we've got are the different colourways. Now I've got some card for you here and I want to tell you about the swatches that I've got because these have been printed on the printable card paper, sorry, printable paper that's included in your one day special. And why is that important? Well, you could print out your own charts, but use the brushes to replicate the colour perfectly because you're using the right paper to begin with. Do you see where that one day special comes in? So these are your colour ways that you can go for. We've got your yellows, we've got your violets, you've got your reds, you've got your earth colours in there as well. Great for autumnal colours, absolutely sensational. Um, also, you've got your pastel. You have a set called autumn colours. Uh, so that would depict all the colours at the moment that Mother Nature is giving us and showing us. You've also got your grey and you've got your green blue. You've got in there greens to choose from, your blues, you've got beige and you've also got your primary colours and then you've got your pastels which are in there, um, oh there's ten in there, is that one go with this one? Did the pastels, no that one doesn't go so we'll, we'll take that away from your eyes, I think I've showed you them all there. That's that's all right, Lou. You can get carried away all the time you like. Uh, so we've got 4, 8, uh, 16. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Anyway, there's, there's, there's my math out the window. <laughs> there's 12 different options. 26.99. You choose any three. Should we do some steals? Yes, please. That saved me. 
Right, so any three, £26.99, pence, you're saving £11 on that deal. So this might be topping up for you, restocking, or maybe adding to your existing collection. Or it might be that there are any certain colours that you want to be working with at the moment. You've got the choice, and that's what it's all about. There's also another option for you. And these are your greys. I wonder how many different shades of grey are in there. Uh, ten. Ten shades of grey. <laughs> and you also get your blender pen. You also get your blender pen in there, which is brilliant. £18.99, pence, saving £6.46. So if you like to use your greys, you've got your blender pen in there. This is a set to go for 326. 532 is your item number, which is excellent. Uh, and remember, with your products, if you're adding them to your basket, if your basket comes to £60 or more, then you'll be able to divide the cost into two payments. Yeah, that's called Flexi Buy, which gives you a chance to get what you want when you want it. Have your cake and eat it too, and we all like that, don't we? Uh, right, so your one day special is available for you. We've got the different sets, and there's plenty more on the website that you can choose from. There it is. There's your website. Uh, so if you see a red banner, it's Flexi Buy. If you see blue banners, it means there is a freedom price on there. Uh, you've got your paper pad on there. It's been proved to be popular already. It's 24 by 32 centimeters. A lot of people going for that one at 13 pounds and 95 pence. Um, we've also got your pick and mix available for you. If you've not got access to the internet, then just give us a call and the call centre will go through the options for you. We've also got the fabulous Pigma Micron black pens for you. We've also got the coloured Micron pens for you and we've also got your jelly roll pens and I love them. been playing with those at home. I think they're absolutely marvellous. Uh, lots of other mediums on the show as well. Remember, if you do have any questions about anything, email in at studio at hochanda.com. Right, Luby Lou. Hello. Right, what are we going to do? Okay, I've brought my printer in and okay. I thought at home I would sit on the computer, do whatever I need to do and send it to print. But I thought it would be a nice way for people to actually see me print designs and that we can then use them. Okay. Now, if I got an inkjet, and historically with watercolour with an inkjet, you'd go, yeah. because the ink would run. Yes. But we can still use it, okay. but we just need to heat set it. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to set this off, because it does take a while, bless yeah. it. I mean, yeah. printers will vary. That's not the paper's fault. It's, no, it's not, not the paper's fault. This is my printer. Is um, I think this is on about version 12. Um, but So you're going to print it off. So I've just put in there. And now what I've done is I created the swatches. So I just went into a Word document, created some tables, and I thought we could print off and do that as a starter. So... I'm, oh, it's going through a little bit quicker than last time. Oh, wow. Well, it's, oh. it's, it's a little... Uh, do you know why? Oh. It's live TV. <gasps> it knows it's live television. It's getting excited. It's like, this is my big moment. It is, isn't it? Sort of thing. So, so chanda has got talent right here. Let's see who wins. Is it Lou, myself, or the printer? <laughs> <laughs> but it was more I was worried that I didn't print 99, wasn't it? Yes, so, it was. Now, because it's inkjet, I need to heat set it. If it's a laser jet, the way the laser jet printers work, it will automatically, because of the heat, do it. So all I'm just going to do is just take my heat gun. Now... So you do this before it, you put your pens on? Yes, okay. because the ink is still wet. If I don't do that, I, the, the black could bleed. Got you. And this is the paper from the One Day and Special. And this is the paper from the One Day Special. Now, with the laser jet, you wouldn't need to do that because obviously the heat in a laser jet printer would seal the ink onto the paper. So we're going to do that. I'm just probably being a little bit OTT with it, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. So there we go. And then that was all I've done for my colour chart. So I would then start off. So I'd label everything. I always put the number down. Um, I'm just going to do the 10 pack that we've got on. Okay. And this one is lemon yellow. So this and is this the is primary. And this is also in the one day special, everyone. So I would label it. So that's P for primary. So I know it's a primary colour. And then I put my colour swatch down. Now, it's up to you whether you use the blender or a water brush. I'm going to use a water brush because I think it's nice for you to see that... Because the blender is a drier way of pulling the colour. So what does the blender brush consist of? It's water with a little bit of glycerin to help with the movement of the, um, okay. the pen. The pens themselves are dye ink and they have a little bit of gum arabic in them. And gum arabic, I'm getting all technical now. No, I love it. I love um, it. Gum arabic, know. when we 
do painting, um, people will do it for acrylics because it can extend, but it can do exactly the same with watercolour. So what that means is the gum arabic makes the colours more vibrant. Yeah. It also means you can play with them a little bit longer because they stay wetter ah. longer. So it, you can do that. A bit like outside at the moment. I know, I've been rushing back and forth to the car in between rain showers, haven't I? But so that can do that, and I would carry on. But I just wanted to show. I mean, this is if you've got the printer paper, this is the first thing I do. And I, I'm sorry, I do love a swatch. Now we, we, you can put it through a printer, but it doesn't you have to go through no. a printer. You could just use it straight with your pens. But it's ideal for putting through a printer if you want to maybe copy some sketches that you've done, for example. Which so you can my... do more than one sketch. We'll show you that in the later shows. Or make a colour swatch that's actually going to be perfect for you because you're using the paper that you will eventually use to create your artwork. And also you can then, because you're using the paper that you're going to be working on, it shows you the intensity of the colour. It also gives you a feel for how the colour moves mm. on, on your actual paper. And it, it is a great way of doing it, because nine times out of ten we colour swatch on what we've already got. And although this is slightly lighter weight, it doesn't mean you can't do all the, the wonderful colouring techniques that we've done. So if I just... So See, I keep mine within the boxes only because then I don't want them to bleed yeah. on top of each other. So if there's all. anyone at home and they're thinking, right, I want to get into watercolouring, um, this is new to me, I'm not quite sure how to go about it. I've seen pens, I've seen uh, little packs of watercolour. Why go for the pens in particular? Pens are um, a little bit more... Um, if you're not au fait with a brush, yes. pens can allow you to colour and get into all the little details that you want. So, for example, I can go into this little square here, and you might find that easier to do with a pen than you would pick up the colour and actually colour in that way. So it allows you a little bit more control. Um, you, take them, you can take them out and about with you. That's true. Um, with the blender pen, it means you don't even have to take water if you don't want to. And they're not, they're not as messy. Then you can put them into your bag, you can put them into your back pocket even, but you've always got the colours there, yeah. haven't you? Uh, you can also dry blend with them. Um, you don't always have to add water, which I love as well. So you can actually layer the colours on top of each other and if you don't want to watercolour them out. So there are lots of different things yeah. you, know, you can do with them. But that is the first thing I would actually do, is do a colour swatch straight away. And I just wanted to show... You know that I've heat set it. it, my printer is old. My husband was a bit worried about me taking it, thinking, ooh. But that is the first thing I would do with actually get it, do yourself a colour swatch and put all your pens out. And you can then see the vibrancy of the colours on the paper you're yeah, going to be working on. Exactly, you see it instantly. It's a great saving on your one day special, £29.93. You're saving £15 on that price. You're getting the pens, you're getting your blender pen included, so you can really start to blend those colours and become a professional colourist. Yeah, you can. You can do it. Yes, you can. Uh, we've, oh, I heard that somewhere before. You've also got that printable paper. You don't have to print with it, but it's printable if you want. Want. and that's the advantage of getting the one day special you can just use it straight off the pad with those beautiful brush pens with your watercolors with the blender pen but it does give you the opportunity if you do sketch something to photocopy it with your printer it will work with your printer which is great 461449 is your item number now something that's proven to be very popular uh, it's your 24 by 32 centimeter pad you get 12 sheets included um, it's excellent Excellent quality as well. It's only $13.95 and it's proven to be very, very popular. So I did want to draw your attention to this. 585549 is your item number. If you want to go for more than one, you're more than welcome to do so. Quite a few of you are doing that. Stocking up on the excellent quality and the price saving. Saving three pounds. If you buy two, you're saving six. So it kind of makes sense if this is the paper that you're using or you've been recommended to use to buy it from us here at Ho Chanda. Remember, Freedom members, no PMP to pay. If you want to become a Freedom member and take advantage of that, you can do that right now. Add your membership to your basket and you won't be paying any postage or packaging. And you can end your freedom membership at any time so very very popular for that now the complete collection of pens is also proven to be busy as well um, that whole complete collection includes 60 pens and there's no repetition in that particular set if you want the whole set the whole shebang without repetition 
there you go. £102.98. We do know that's a considerable purchase, so we'll divide the cost into three payments, not two. That means £34.33 today, and we'll get all of the pens sent out to you. But you'll pay your next payment in a month's time and a month after that. So I'm sure you'll have done lots of beautiful artwork in that time, or even done artwork to sell. Who knows? Who knows? So it's a great way of getting the whole collection of 60 pens for 34 33 today. That's your first payment. Now, if you are going for your one-day special and you're going for this as well, there is going to be a little bit of repetition, just to let you know. Uh, but that's fine you can never have too many really can you you can never have too many but just to let you know but that's your choice and your decision uh, and lots of artists out there do that they stuck up whilst we've got these great prices here on Hochanda it's a great way to do it uh, so this is your one day special 29 pounds and 93 pence 461449 right back to Lou Bye. this is what I got excited about the yes. one day special because I, I obviously worked in my head what I wanted to do Charmaine sent this lovely video over of her koi fish in her pond in it, and that sparked me for a demo so I started off, and this is, I'll show you, Janice, because I can, but this was a leaflet from my local paper okay. that I just doodled my initial design on. Okay. And then I do what I normally do, which is I got my tracing paper out, and I traced it. And I was just about to sit there on the, the paper we've got on, and I started drawing and yeah. drawing and drawing and drawing. And then, you know, like that light bulb moment, you go, you've got printer paper. Sort of. So I did do my first fish, and I've, I've watercoloured it with the, the coins that we've got Doesn't on. Doesn't it look vibrant? And I, I thought, and thought, well, I want to actually make a pond, but I don't want to be sitting here and doing each individually. Yeah. So at home, I scanned it in, and then I can manipulate my image. Of course. So I thought, right, that's what we'll do here. Now, I'm hoping I haven't pressed 99 again, so we don't need 99. <laughs> 99 <laughs> fish. That'll expand Charmaine's pool a little bit, oh, won't no. it? So I just... I've actually drawn this onto photocopier paper, yep. nothing more exciting than that. And I'm just going to put it in the printer. And I'm using the copy mode. Obviously, at home, I would use... Oh, what's it doing? It's now, of course, you know, <laughs> use your common sense at home when we're using this with a photocopy. And I don't mean that to be detrimental to you, but no. when we're using this uh, with a photocopy, it has to be your own designs. Yes. So it's something you've drawn, you can then make as many copies of that as you like. Um, if you've got a licensed image that allows you to do that, do check the terms and conditions. If you're buying anything from the internet, you know that, you know that. You probably know that more than me. Um, have a look at your terms and conditions before you replicate that on your photocopy pa on the paper that you can use in a photocopier. Uh, so just make sure that it is your own design. This is Lou's own design, yes. but it's a great way when you draw something to make the exact same copy time and time again. So I just put that in, I've just printed it off, so there's my design and I've now got it. Now at home I wouldn't be quite so wasteful on the paper, I would have put another one there, another one there, yes. I would have had about four. Yes. But we'll work on that one, so I just wanted to show you, so I've got all my other bits ready, so I'm just going to put that on top of the printer because I don't need it at the moment. So all I'm going to do again is I'm just going to heat set this um, to work on. Now, because whilst you're just doing that, can I just mention the full set of pens, just while you're drawing mm. that a moment? Um, or it's, it's, yeah, we're getting very, very busy. It's a great deal. It's more than a great deal. It's not just about the money. It's about having the whole set right here for you on Hochanda, so you don't have to go and look elsewhere. It's right here, and we'll get it sent out to you. 60 pens, no repetition. You've got all the colours in there, and you've also got your blender pen as well, so you can start blending. Those are the pens. 34.33 today. We'll divide the cost into three payments, so it makes it affordable. It's interest-free payment. Try going into a store and saying, I don't want to give you 30." Three pounds, uh, 34 pounds and 33 pence today. Uh, if I show you that, you can see the full 60 pens for you. Uh, we are getting busy for these. I think you understand a deal when you see it, but also it's a way of getting all the pens in one go right now. Rather than saving up three months to get them, we'll take your first payment today and we'll send them all out to you. And we'll just take three months for you to pay for them. It's brilliant, interest-free payments. Um, these are the colours. So you've got some gorgeous yellows in there going into your autumnal colours in there. Great colours for the springtime. Can't wait for the spring and the flowers to come back. Although we still have some lovely flowers out in the garden now. You've got your blues for your skies and your seeds. You've got some lovely greens there into your lovely beige and browns and 
greys and maroons. Uh, you've also got some lovely vibrant colours as well uh, for really adding that splash of colour. Remember you can make your washes with these, very bright and very vibrant as well. But with that blender brush you can also blend those colours perfectly to get your shading. 34.33 today and then we'll take another payment in a month's time and another payment in a month's time and we're talking about your 60 pens. Let's turn it that way because you see the colours. 60 pens to prove the 60. There you go. Uh, very busy for these, actually. Uh, 585022 is your item number. Almost, is it 20% of the stock gone? Wow. 20% of the stock gone already. I wanted to show you that just while Lou was drying um, the image. Back to Lou. Right, so I've done mine, but my original image is that way round. But now, because I can actually manipulate it, I can actually have my fish facing the opposite way. So, yes, I can take all the... And, and I don't do fancy digi stuff. No. I just put it in a word processing package. And off you go. Yeah, basically. Um, but you, you could then do as much as you want sort of thing with it. So I've just laid down some of the colour. And I'm going to go really quite wet with the colour. Because I'm, with all watercolour paper, when we throw the water at it... That sounds quite horrible, doesn't it, when you throw the water at it? But... It will start to buckle, but then when it's dry, it goes flat. But that's the same for all. So I just want to add a l my koi fish. I'm, I'm not sure if my koi are meant to be this. You know when you just go, oh, I like them this colour. I think, yeah, koi, koi are carp are oh, the nice golds and reds. Various colours. Well, I've got a blue one. <laughs> in fact, if you laminated that and placed it in Charmaine's pond, I don't think they'd know any different. I think they'd think they've got a brand new mate. Could well do, yeah. Um, but it is nice, isn't it? A pond. Of it. But so I can keep building it up. So I'm just, and I'm using a brush rather than the blender because I just. I know I can use the blender, but the blender gives you a little bit more control about the amount of liquid you're putting on your actual um, piece. So in doing it this way, it's just showing it, um, you know, that the paper can actually... Uh, uh, abuse sounds the wrong word, but that's what I'm meaning. It, um, that it can we'll take, go with that. Yeah. We'll go with but, that. You know, it can take as much as you want to throw at it. Now I've got a question for you, because uh -oh. I'm seeing you placing the, the brushes down onto the paper. Mm -hmm. Then you're taking a water brush and you're using them beautifully. Could we use the blender pen in conjunction with your water brush or do we use the blender pen in a completely different scenario? No, you can use it in conjunction if you want to. Can you? You can indeed. Ooh. So I can Every use day it. school day. I can do it that way. If I can do the blender pen, I can pick up some colour on the side. Now, why do we want the blender pen? The, the blender pen, if you're new to any form of water colouring, the first thing that scares you is how much water you put on. You're right. So you can either do things so you've got, you're too dry, yeah. um, and then you're, you, you know, you're, you, you're looking at how much you put your brush into your water, yeah. or you put too much on, and then it can actually flood yeah. your work. I mean, you can, you can dab it away. The blender pen is, has, gives you the ability that it's a set control that's coming out all the time. So you have to squeeze it? Nope. Right. So if I just put down a little bit of colour, yep. and we do it that way, I can take the blender pen and I can keep going back over and I can pull the colour out. I can... So you can, you can change it how you want it to be. Oh, I can I like then, that. if I keep colouring it out, the blender pen goes clear. Perfect. So then you can just use it with another colour if you want to. Yeah. So now, your the, nib might get dirty, yes. but that doesn't mean it doesn't work. Okay. So don't, don't expect it to stay nice and clean. No. But it will pick up different colours. Right, your blender pen comes in with your one day special. Can you see how it works there? And your blender pen also comes in the set of 60. That's a complete collection. Details on the screen for the complete collection. We're busy for that complete collection, though. I'm not surprised. Yeah. I'm, I saw um, Paula on social media, which is making me laugh about wanting to have it all. And I have to say... Well, <laughs> Paula I'm, always wants to have it all. And do you know I'm, what? She I'm the gets same. It. I'm the same with the pens and the colours, because you get... You, you then think about all the different colours that you want to use and then yeah. you think, oh, oh, if I had the whole set and 
Yeah, I, I, I do the same as well. I try and save, you know, well, for the whole. Do you know what? It's a good, it's a good thought process, really, because you know, let's say you're buying the blues and the yellows, and mm -hmm. you're just mixing it up. Well, then you are going to want the other colours that you can't make from your primaries. So it makes sense to go for the complete collection if your budget moves you to that particular full set. Um, and with your full set because we're dividing the cost Sorry. you'll still get all the pens at the same time but you're only spending 34 33 today rather than buying 34 pounds and 33 pence worth of pens today <laughs> and then waiting till next month and getting the next 34 pounds and 33 pounds worth of pens we don't do it that way we'll send them all at the same time so when you see something you get excited about it Lou it's a yeah. really good way of buying it isn't it it is um, and you've got all the colors also you've got it's when we say certain colours like grey, you've got warm greys, you've got cold greys, you've yeah. got grey. Yeah. Black and white, yes, do make grey, but it's then the other colours we add in to mm. it to make it warmer and to make it... So to actually have those yeah. is, is, is a bonus to me. Well, I don't know if they say it in the art world, but in photography there's no black and white. It's all shades of grey. Yeah. But then you see, so you've got that, which to me is there. Right, and I'm, all I'm doing is I'm, just, I'm actually dropping the water off. I just want to show how you know, the, the paper does take take it and I'm just going to dab it bits away and keep adding on and you can keep adding and taking away I'll just do finish there because I have got some finished ones obviously and we can oh I want to put a little bit of the purple in and just mix in the colors and you can put as much detail or as little detail as you want in I must admit I've thoroughly enjoyed the paper. I'm going to pick up some of the orange from here actually. Why waste it? Now don't you think using watercolours, Lou, is really relaxing? I mean I could sit and watch you all day and all night. A watercolouring place. <laughs> um, but I prefer watercolouring because it's quick. It says me making this look like it's longer than it needs to be. But um, it's uh, for me it's quick, it's instant results, you can add to it, you can, you know, you you can make a colour lighter quicker by just throwing a lot of water at it. Yeah. There is so much you can do. So it's, it's almost like you're dancing around the paper. That's what I've, I've tried to replicate it at home many a times, and it's it's never as good as yours. <laughs> oh, thank you. But so I've, I've actually, like I was saying, I was dropping the water on. So I'm just going to drop the water on. And I'm just going to dab it up with a towel because there. So I can take the colour away. But the paper will dry flat, and on the back, I'm not... I can dry that all off and it will work absolutely perfectly. So I'm just going to hide my rag because if my mum's watching, she'll go, ooh, she's got she, that rag What's again. your mum's name, Lou, then? Mary. Mary. Hello, Mary. She keeps sending me messages saying, I really wish you'd clean that. <laughs> <laughs> Mums <laughs> are great like that. They are. So from that, I actually, that is another large one. So I then went, so I've got all my bits here to show you. Oh. So that was there. So I then enlarged it from my original from there. I then turned it round a totally different way and I've now got a bigger fish but I can do it in a different colour. But it's still my original sketch but because I can scan it or take it into my computer I've got all of that. But then I thought, ooh, what else can I do? Can you if... just show those to the camera? Sorry, I Sorry. We just we just missed those because we've got the blue and the orange. There you go. But you, So that's, is that the same fish? That is exactly the same drawing. Is it? So what I did was, where can, I've got one here, here we go. So that is exactly the same drawing and all I've done is enlarged it from the original and coloured wow. it out onto the printer paper. So this is the original, this is the card we've got on, the watercolour yeah. card. And this is the printer paper, and you get the same effect That's on the printer paper as you do on the card. So you don't have to redraw it, rescale it, nope. if you excuse the pun. Um, you can just rescale it on your computer if you've got that capability. Again, you don't have to use it for photocopying, but those are the advantages well, of having it. Well, saying that, I then thought, oh, ooh, demo like to prep, let's be a little bit lazy. So these are my original watercolours. So I put the watercolours in to... Well, it's not lose them, don't swim away. And that is a, f I just put that through the photocopy like you've just done now, I've done now. And I've got an hour colour representation, but all I did was I actually took the colour down. Got you. So I've now got it slightly darker yeah. from my original. So I thought, oh, so now I, I can still use this because it's on the thingy and I can still go back over with... What a great idea. So I can 
still add to it, and this is the print paper, I can still add my echo lines on there, I can still go through, I can add different colours, it's not changed it, I, and then I thought, well, that's okay, I like that, so I did one in grayscale. Oh, look at that. Do you know what this so is just, like, Lou? It's like having a computer or an app mm. on your tablet and manipulating pictures and changing them. But not all of us have that. We don't have that capability to do that. And we don't all have the technology mm. to produce it. Here we're doing that for real, which sometimes is a better way of doing it, via that photocopier and then using that paper that you've run through the photocopier but will also take your eco line pens as well perfectly it really is a great way of putting that together now your pick and mix to add all of those colors maybe you want the gray scale the black and white maybe you want the greens maybe you want the yellows maybe you want to mix it up and go for some autumn colors together for example we've got a pick and mix for you you're saving 11 pounds on this deal 26.99 you're getting 15 brushes in total if you want to go for the whole lot, we suggest you go for the full set of 60, but this gives you a really nice way of choosing three sets of five. So, every time. <laughs> now you probably haven't seen what's happened and if where are you if you stay there we can probably if i put that there there you go no one will ever know floor manager kirsty that i just totally destroyed the set but what i do have some swatches here so you can see them this is what i was reaching for so you've got your set of yellow so you've got your pastel yellow your light orange your light yellow your deep yellow and your is that chart Chartreuse. 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 There you go. In your yellows. Your violets. You've got your different shades of violets in there. From your fuchsia, you've got your red violet. You've got your blue violet in there as well. Your reds. So you've got all those tones of reds, which are absolutely beautiful. So you don't have to mix them. They're already there. You've also got your earth colours. Really like these. Do you think, Lou, I'm right in saying that some of these earth colours you could possibly use for some skin tones? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Definitely yeah. use them as some skin tones. And then with the um, the pink beige as well. And then that autumn collection. Yeah, beautiful. That would make a beautiful range of different types of skin tones. Right, let's show you the next one. There's your autumn and there's your pastel. You've got your greys and you've got your green blues. So not just green and not just blue. They're green blues. We like that. Uh, the next one, let me just turn this over. There you go. There's your beige pink, so that'll be good skin tones as well. You've got your blue, your greens, and your primary. Sorry, I'm all over the place for you, but, you know, you, 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 can, you can pretty much see them all there. <laughs> I've already knocked it over once, so I'm not going to go there again. I'm just excited about the colours. Uh, right. So, 15 pens, it's a great deal, saving £11. And the great thing is, you choose, you decide. Maybe you're stocking up, maybe you're restocking, for example, or maybe you're dipping your toes for the very first time. And £26.99 is a great price point for you. Saving £11 on that deal. 625-404 is your item number. Uh, right, we're headed back to demo, back to Lou. Right. Continuing on? Yes, sorry. So I was just saying, so that was the grey scale that I printed out. And I just did that in a normal black and white. And I just now added pink on, so I can totally change it again. I did, it, so you, you can do all of those things. So I can put them in the printer. I can manipulate them. I can make them bigger. I could make them smaller. Yeah. And this is when I started out, because I obviously I did a canvas. And I've just done myself some water lilies on the canvas uh, and I just started with the one fish and it was just really getting all the demo ready so you didn't have to see um, me always colouring. So Is that flat Lou? Just put your hand over that. That's amazing. That's a, you're a magician when it comes to shading. That's incredible. But, oh, okay. <laughs> Lou, I'm okay. giving it you. Take it. Okay, I will do. But then, so the, my original project was going to be, so this is like 20 centimetres. So in my head, I was going, right, I've got my koi. I could put it there. And then I was going to bring in the gels. And we are going to do some different techniques and do some washes for the background. Yeah. But then I suddenly went, oh, now I can do all of this and I can print on the paper. I then went, oh, I think I'll do A4. So I did some lilies onto A4 and then I thought because I now I can have that fish oh, and wow. sorry let's move that out of the way I can now add that fish isn't that vibrant so I, I've got an A4 um, but then I got really ambitious and I thought right okay if I can color you know scan these all in I've now got 
lots of different lilies that I've scanned in. And then what I've done, like this one here, I've gone over with some extra colour so I can make it darker and lighter. And again, we're using the paper that's in the One Day Special. Of course, you can scan onto any paper that your yep. um, printers will accept. But the difference is with your One Day Special, because this is watercolour paper, because it's... Um, a more lighter weight watercolour paper, it will go through your printers, but you can add your watercolours to it afterwards. Mm. So you'll have colour so you, on there already, but then you can add colour perfectly. Yeah, well you saw that when I did that grayscale, I actually went over with the pinks and the greys. Yeah. So you can add all your different colours on. What you could do as well, so where I've gone over and I, this, um, so I changed the colour of this and made it darker. Um, I would actually bring out things like my Sakura um, Stardust and Metallics and you yes. could add your little, um, like the scales on oh. and have that iridescence look. The Metallics, we do have the Metallics on the show um, oh. with the oh. uh, Jelly Roll pens that oh, I'm just gonna they grab. are lush. Uh, so. I think we're going to add some to the actual Call Your Cops well, so you can see just how quickly. perfect they are. Let me see They're only £17.99 and I can tell you now that is an excellent price because when I was doing my research, <laughs> Having a look around, I'm telling you now, these are a fabulous price. Saving £4, 848857. And the fact that we've got them, they're in stock, ready to send out as well. Now, if anyone buys these, will these also be dispatched on the 20th of October? Okay, uh, so anything on the show, 20th of October, but it does mean we've got them in stock for years. Not too long to wait, is it? Uh, 848857 is your item number, and I believe Lou is going to be using them now. Are you using them with I water? am. Um, all the Sakura pens. Um, once the whilst the ink is wet, you can blend. Which no, you never told me that last time. Sorry, <gasps> but you can blend them together as well. Can I do that with the fluorescent ones? Yeah. I've got? No. No. So I can now add. So I've added a tiny, like metallic. Uh, can you see a little yeah. shimmer? That looks amazing. So I I've actually that. added that on, and I can blend it out, and it blends. Per so if I, I could do, you know, I could do my little scales if I really wanted to. Yeah. And you know, I can blend them in, and have them a little bit more pronounced. So for the fish now, I can actually, you know, I can add that little bit of definition. Oh, I love that. I never knew you could use water. Every day really is a school day. <laughs> oh yes, Not definitely. Not that I convince myself because I say that all the time. Right, so we'll put that there. Now, so as I was saying, I started off 20 centimetres and so then I did some other lilies because yeah. now this is on the huge paper. Yes. So now I've is got... Is that the A3? Yes. Yes, we've got the A3 on with the inks. We'll put the details up on the screen. It's an A3 pad, but you also get your Ecoline uh, Pipette inks as well. And three Pipettes too. Uh, so that really is a great deal if you want to go for that. And that's 83.93, but we will divide the cost for you. And that cost will be divided over two payments of £41.97. So that's your five inks right there. And you've got your paper, but you also get the three pipettes as well. These have a pipette on them, but when it gets to the bottom, then you can take that pipette and you can take that and then you can just simply suck up your little and then out it goes. 34 dollars I thought we'd made a mistake on the price, but I didn't like to say anything. <laughs> 30 What a relief that is. What a relief. Now you're giving us a call. You're like, oh, look at all the money I've just suddenly saved. Uh, it's 34 dollars for your paper pad and your inks. It is a sensational price, everyone. It really is. 817130. Sorry, Lou. No. So then I've got all the other bits. So I've started out so these are what I've scanned in and as I said I've gone back over this with more color because I wanted to be yellow so suddenly now I can create a bigger project so I can put my lily pads you know in lots of different locations I've got a smaller one there I can start adding the koi in different locations so suddenly what was meant to be like a 20 centimeter project has now, has now got bigger and bigger Let's but you've not had to redraw it no that's the beauty and oh look at that so i can now make it bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger so i would obviously do a lovely color wash background but that was taking from that's the original from there well and then it was as i said i was prepping thinking oh i was tracing them all onto the normal pack card and then i went i've got printer paper I can print one, you know, I can scan one in and then I can do lots of, print them off in lots of different ways and I can still do all my watercolouring techniques as I've done before. I just, so. I'm just looking at that and my mind's racing with ideas now because if you had your background on like some acetate 
or Ooh. if you put those onto some glass and then underneath the glass you had a bit of water like blue water i don't know how you do that but I'm if sure you, you guys to think about it if you that took that amazing. and you had you know on the printer paper so you could still have your beautiful printer design yeah on your printer paper but if you had printable acetate yes you could have your beautiful watercolour effect and then put it round with printable acetate. So you've still got all that lovely watercolouring that you've yeah. done, but you've now changed it into a different medium. I love that. Right, oh, so. that's fantastic. Oh, it's a shame you've just taken it apart. Amy. Oh, sorry, I will make it up. The, okay. uh, as you see, I've made so many bits for this. I was so excited <laughs> it was like that. So I'm just going to bring that back in. I'm just going to say, this is another thing I went, look, it shows you how excited I got about it, just from one demo. This is me photocopying it in colour. Yes. But then I manipulated my fish the opposite way from my computer. Okay. So now they're both touching each other. Oh, a little, little coin So I can do kiss. them that way. And this is on the printer paper, which I'll actually do. So I could actually do them the same colour, or I can do them in a different way. So it was brilliant. That, that revelation was like, oh, oh. You know, I, you just I, go, if they kiss, I bet their little whiskers tickle. I know, I had to put the whiskers on and everything like that. So, you this is my... You kissed a No, I said... I had to put the whiskers on. Oh, sorry. Not your, not your, not <laughs> okay. Lou's whiskers, everyone. No, or not mine. my whiskers. Right, so, this was like... <laughs> that's heavy. <laughs> oh. just, that's going to make me paranoid now after the show. I'm going to check for whiskers. <laughs> you've, got, you've got no whiskers. Right. And even if you did, they'd be lovely. Okay, so I'm just going to put that there. And I'm just going to grab one of the inks I've got. I want to blue one let's have a look so i'm reaching across now we're going you're to using do... the tray of inks that you get um is that the first or the second which which color are you using i don't with? think i've got the same colors of you i think i've got one set that's the same as you uh i might have to borrow your cyan from there if i can if we're allowed to if kirsty doesn't mind doing her magic now i think you're using <laughs> oh, the inks busy. from our second set which also comes with your brush pens as well yep. um and you're also getting your a4 paper pad with that and it's a great deal at 83 well, you can split the cost actually into two payments of £41.97. It's a great deal. So you get to your principal paper. That's the one from the one day special. But you also get it in this particular package. You've got your fantastic set of brush pens, 30 brush pens in there. And that does include your blender pen as well. And then you're also getting the inks. So you've got five inks of 30 mil in each and you can divide the cost into two monthly payments 83 pounds and 93 pence saving six pounds um, and these are going to last you Lou a long time well yes they are because a little the vibrancies of the colors a little goes along a long way um, and obviously you can mix them together as well so I'm just make, so making the start of my background oh, that looks see. good so you're using the blue ink now Lou I'm going to ask you a question <laughs> What's the difference uh -oh. between the inks in the droplets and the watercolour uh, watercolour pens? Um, nothing. One's liquid and one just goes through a, the nib. There you so go. So it's exactly the same quality. There you go. And just it's different the same ways of using it. Different ways of using it, yeah. But it's, it's more liquid, if that makes sense. Yes. It'll flow and work in a totally different way. Okay. Right, okay. So I haven't got the blue that you've got, but that's fine. I'm going to do something different then. Let's do... Oh, let's have a think. What shall we do instead? Let's go for a grey colour. You know, we just go, oh, what shall we do? So, that is in the other set. So, I'm going to grab some of my gel medium. And I'm going to do it so I want to keep this quite wet. Now, the gel medium is, is well, that's too much. Is that the matte or the gloss? I've really? got the gloss here. Because I'm doing a water effect, I want it glossy. Okay. Um, just to let you know, Lou, we've got about oh. just under, well, we've got four minutes left on the show. Okay. Uh, but there is another show, of course, tonight. It's a one-day special at eight o'clock. So I'm just going to put some of the liquid watercolour. So the liquid watercolour is translucent. So the gels, when the gels dry, they dry translucent. So what all I'm going to do is I just want to make, um, I mean, that looks awful in colour, but it will, <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to go, mm, that looks horrible, but it will dry um shiny will because it's translucent we'll be able to see some of the color underneath okay. from there um, another a dry version of this is the flowers that are in front of you in one of the pictures on the um, that I've done is it one of the ones standing up 
Uh, it might be. Let me just have a Luke Miduke. Oh, this one here, Lou. Nope. Nope. Um, this one here, that's Lou. That's it. Yeah. Now, can you see the white bits on there? Yes. That was me tinting with gel medium and the grey. Wow. That I've just done like that now. And then I've colour washed the background and it reacts with it because where the, the gel medium, because it because I've left the watercolour wet and I've done that deliberately, Yeah. you've got like wet on wet so it bleeds slightly the colour underneath as well. Wow. So it creates a totally different look. Uh, details on your screen, £12.99, saving £4 from us here at Hochanda. 500 mil, that's a lot. It's an introductory price for you. So we can use this for, well, we're using it through the stencils. We could, uh, um, we all, nine times out of ten, you always seem to see us use gel mediums either as a glue or through a stencil. Yep. Use it with your paintbrush, but obviously use it there. Yes. So, all right, I'm going to move this gently out of the way. She says, let's grab a koi. <laughs> I've got so many fish now, I, I think I've got half a lake here. Um, so if I grab a paintbrush, think of the different things. I'm going to have to cl clean my paintbrush straight away. I'm sure I'll okay. grab one. I can pick up the gel medium. Now, this is going to go on, and it's going, it doesn't look, but... Um, so when it dries, it dry... It, it'll dry clear. So if I put a, I'll just put a on half the fish so when we can look at it at eight o'clock okay so you don't just think it's stencils you can use it for techniques like this and will you that give it a glossy finish yeah. oh, uh, the other see. thing you could do is on another image yeah because it'll act like a resist is you could paint half your image with a, the gel medium yeah so we could be very precise with the paintbrush and then it will act like a resist when you put your other color on i see That's so there's clever there's lots of different ways so you can use it you know in, in in, in so, so many ways. I mean, it is a, a superb adhesive as well. And, um, and obviously texture. Yeah, and 12 99 gets you 500 mil. That's, it's, that's, it's, that's big. It, I mean, Lou's got it right here. You can see. And I've, had, I've used my pot a lot. How, bi how big that is. I've used mine a lot, I must admit. Yeah. Sort of thing. Um, I'm very good at cleaning mine as well after having to uh, wrestle with it and <laughs> throw it to the floor to try and get the lid off. Um, right, so I'm just going to clean my brush there to get rid of that gel medium, but I'll leave that to go to one side so we can see the difference. Okay. Right, I'll, I'll actually put that over there because I'll knock it. So all I've done is I've taken my stencil and where I've done the grey, can yep, you see, I, can. I want to add those droplets. So when that's dry, yep. I will see the light blue through that with a little tinge of the grey, like a water droplet. Yes. I can then go in with a darker colour blue, yeah. but I've still got the lighter blue showing that's through. So and So then when that's dry, I can then put my original koi back on. And you get that lovely water And effect. I'll get the water colour. So what I'll do is I'll let it dry, or I'll use the heat gun and dry it, and then I'll add some the other blues to it, and then we'll be able to see how it acts as resist. And that was just using like the inks. I mean, that, you can use the inks in so many different ways, but that's just one Isn't way. Isn't that amazing? And we've got more demonstrations <laughs> to come at 8 o'clock tonight. I think I'm joining in one of those as well, so very excited about that. Your one-day special details on the screen there. Great price, $29.93. You're getting the paper that will go through your printers, but it's that watercolour paper, that excellent quality. You're also getting your brushes with your blender brush included. What a great deal for your one-day special at only £29.93, saving £15. Remember, a one-day special special is only for 24 hours but we've got so much more on the show as well so do head to the website and have a look but remember to check out your baskets we'll see you again at eight o'clock but stay where you are because we've got more shows coming up here on Ho Chandler we'll see you in a few moments time bye bye Yeah, Tracy Hay is coming up next with our Adam. Uh, Echo Line One Day Special is back at 8 o'clock tonight, and then we're spinning that wheel, and there might be a few cows in. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family-run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board.
On the Atranda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Achanda. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the centre of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcasts and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Flexi Order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Hi, I'm Sarah and I'm Vicky. We are the Stampin' Sisters from Stamp Haddocks. We'd started our family-run business in 1992 when we were importing rubber stamps from the USA. But now we design and manufacture them all here in-house in our shop in Bedfordshire. We make grey rubber stamps and we make them as deeply etched as we possibly can so that you can use them in many different ways. On our shows on Hachanda, we like to give you lots of different techniques to use with the stamps, different ways that they can be used and ideas. We hope that we can inspire you to get out your stamps and have a play. Look at all the different designs we've got. We've got Christmas, we've got scenic, we've got cute and furry. There's something for everyone. Make sure you don't miss the Stamp Addict shows on Hochanda. Indeed, good. Uh, uh, is it early evening? No, it's seven o'clock. It's evening. Uh, good evening. I hope you're well. It's Saturday night and it's our second chance to look at something that actually flew out of the door when we launched this this afternoon. We are talking... We've already had three sellouts. I look behind because they're still there. Uh, we've already had three sellouts already uh, during the Tracy Hayes shows. I know, already three. And some are ridiculously low stocks as well. Okay, we're going to try and get through everything throughout the show. We've got brand new stamps that have only were launched last night on Tracy's website. We've got brand new stamps that have been launched on her channel today. We've got returning favourites as well. We've got your old friends of the paper pads, which are ready to go cards, ready to do. Stick them down, stick your little creatures on the front, and you are good to go. And I am not alone. No, 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 no. We have the creator, you could call her the CEO, the marketing 
director, um, all those bigwig titles, the El Capitan of the ship, as it were. Um, because in theory, everything he's done uh, for Matt Tracy, and she's here in the studio. Hi, my love. Hello. General Can... Dog's Body, I think. Is oh, a... <laughs> a nice way of putting <laughs> General Dog's Body and does a bit of everything. But it is true, because there's... There is only you, and you design everything. It all goes through, and this is this is sort of like a little hobby because you have sort of like a big proper job to look after yeah. the alpacas as well. Yeah, well, I don't actually get too involved with the day to day looking after the alpacas. I do more of the kind of behind the scenes office part of that. But yes, we do have an alpaca farm that you is the main so business. So you have this to run, you have the alpaca farm to look at after as well. Um, and you keep coming up, constantly coming up with all these amazing concepts and the amazing ideas. And everything, and we said this earlier in the early show, nothing dates in this collection, which I think is amazing. For the sheer fact, you can use it any time, any year, and you can keep coming back to it day in, day out. Yeah, we've got um, over 100 stamp sets now and in the two years that we've been doing it, and none of them have been discontinued. So, um, and I just keep wanting to play even with the first release. So it's, yeah, it's really good. And this is the thing, and we said it in the earlier hour, you can do anything with these. You can go from Christmas, you can go to Halloween, you can go for birthdays, you can go for new babies, you can go weddings, anniversaries, everything that you can do with the cute little characters we've got in front of me. Right then, let's kick straight off with our first one. Uh, the Polar Pals that you've seen, 50% uh, of the Polar Pals. This is the brand new one that only launched on Tracy's website yesterday. Um, yesterday, yesterday morning? Last night. Oh, last night? Oh, I've ahead of myself. Uh, last night it launched. So this is its first TV launch that we're looking at at the moment. And 50% of the stock now has already gone. Uh, but look at what you can create with all the beautiful designs that you've got in there as well. Sorry, that was me trying to rummage through uh, the samples that I've got here because I have so many to show you. The concepts, and this is what I say, they can be absolutely anything. We're going to show you how to do this this hour as well. This is, this is one of our demos this hour. I cannot wait because I want to see what this piece. Uh, we've got so much coming up as well. So that's your Polar Pals. 50% of the stock has already gone. Up next, Hey Sugar. Oh, three quarters of the stock now has already gone. Now, this has got that well-known Jammy Dodger biscuits in there. Other biscuits available, bourbons and custard creams, just to cover my own back. Uh, then you've got the little hippos. Now, if you look at them, the hippos takes the hearts out the centre of the biscuits, if you wanted him to. Then you've got the giraffe and the little teddy bear on sort of frosty donuts. But these could be water rings, if you wanted them to be as well, if you wanted to do that water effect. For the sheer fact, we can pop them onto donuts as well, which look a little bit like these. Uh, how beautiful is that? They are absolutely stunning. They, oh, here they are. I have so many samples. I've, I've, I've rearranged all my samples, but now I can't find them myself. Uh, how beautiful are these? And then this as well. Look at that. Taking the heart out of the centre of the jammy dodger that you've got there absolutely beautiful so very busy for that one as well right then then we move on to i can fly 50 percent of the stock of i can fly now has already gone uh, so, your I can fly, you've got your elephants and your big wings in there, you've got your elephant dressed as your little bumblebee. I, uh, these are so cute. Uh, you've already got, as well, uh, your elephant with the wings wrapped around him, like he's, just like he's off to a fancy dress party, is what you're looking at for this as well. But then, you can do samples that look a little bit like these. For the sheer fact, you can go simple and you can go all out and use all the other die forms that you've got on there as well. And you can also use some of the paper pads that we've also got on the show that will really enhance and make it even easier for you to create your site, uh, your, um, your cards or your big pieces if you wanted to go from them. You can see, yeah, I'm going to use cards if you don't want to. We've got Juggling Life up next as well. 40% uh, of juggling life now has already gone. So you've got the beautiful elephant that's on there. You've got the hippo that's on there. You've also got the rabbit. And you've all got the... The elements at the bottom, which in theory is what they are juggling, which I find is an absolutely amazing. So it's down to you what you want to create them. For the sheer fact, you can have the rabbit juggling the carrots. You can have the hippo on the unicycle juggling some of the papers. So maybe it's back to school cards or well done on your exam cards that you've got in there. Or you've got the elephant juggling life. You see, quite poignant. 
Uh, but it is beautiful. And these would be nice, just simple designs like these in frames on uh, children's bedrooms, if you wanted them to be. They lend themselves to these sorts of designs. Uh, from there, we're now moving on to the centre one. This is the Wild Side. Um, limited stock for Wild Side is what we are. We are limited stock for your Wild Side. So if you like this one, I would get in quick. Limited stock means basically I've got less than 10% of the stock remaining is what you are looking at now. Uh, then we've also got your finished samples as well. Once again, clean and crisp. Just literally one element with a little bit of a backdrop on there and a sentiment, and you are good to go. Then, I love this little sloth, because in your previous collections we had the sloth doing other things, didn't we? Yes, there was a sloth that ha um, ha was holding onto the rainbow. Yeah, so now look, he's now dressed as a little bumblebee. I, you can sell so many stories. If you've got past collections, they really work well. Then, you've got your little elephant dressed as a, uh, as a zebra. as a little zebra in there, a little zebra. Uh, that you've got. Last but no means these. Now these ones, so this one here, is backed by popular demand. You wanted this back. It's already limited stock now. Now these are slightly different to what we know yours. What would we use these um, sort of stamps for? So these are great for art journaling, mixed media pieces, different things like that. But they also, they, although they're a different style, they still work really well with our cute characters. So you can use them for backgrounds or wreaths like that. Um, they work with everything basically. They really, really do. They're absolutely stunning. We're going to show you the rose one as well that also works on the same system. How, how stunning is this? And it just shows that it doesn't matter what cute little animal you go for, it will work with all of them. It really, really will. Uh, we're busy across the board with £14.95. 739844 is your item number. We're going to have sellouts as well this hour, we feel as well. Uh, we can see the figures coming in. We're very, very busy already. 739844 is your item number. £14.95. Those are your A5 stamps that we're talking about. And then we've also got your A6s on the show as well. Now your A6s, these are once again are beautiful. We've got your two brand new to the collection launched last night on Tracy's website. So first of all, uh, we have, let's go up close, we have leader of the pack. Uh, we have here. Now we saw the demonstrations for this. This is limited stock. We saw the demonstrations in the first hour uh, this afternoon. There is so much you can do because we said it could be a wolf, it could be a fox, you could also turn it into a little corgi as well. We felt that you could do, oh well, I felt uh, that you could do so much with. And then you've got the little paw as well with sort of. Now, does the paw actually say anything or is it just a jumble of words? It, it's the same text that's on a lot of our stamps. Um, it's kind of positive words and things on the. So actually, you can actually read it. So it's not like a, a mishmash of words. It's actually readable as well. So if you wanted to really go in with the pointers, we've got another stamp that this would work beautifully with uh, coming up later as well. Uh, so that is your leader of the pack, a limited stock. Then we've got, uh, you blow my mind is what we've got next, with the two little whales uh, that we've also got on the show. Once again, this is brand, brand new. Ne never been seen before. I'm going to show you some samples uh, for these as well, because they are beautiful. A quarter of the stock here now has already gone. That is beautiful. Is that using um, brushos? Yes, it is. Yeah. Look, at me, look at me and my knowledge. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> using a bit of brushos on there. Uh, then, using... Did you make this background or is this in the pad? No, it's just a, a simple painted one oh. that I've done, yeah. Look at, look at that. How beautiful is that? That is absolutely beautiful. And then turn your little whale into a little girl whale if you wanted to as well by putting a little little flower in her hair and little waves oh. behind. Uh, beautiful uh, for that one. Very busy for that one indeed as well. Right then, we're going to move on. Uh, I Conquered. I love this one as well. Uh, the little I Conquered that we've got on there. Now these are cute and cuddly. Now they're smaller in size, which means you can do more. I can see gift tags with these, just stamped onto brown paper, like wrapping paper would be beautiful as well, just in your black inks. And it's also your, the verses that you've got in there work with every single character that you've got. They're not animal specific, as it were. They're not, they don't zone in to the mouse. Some of them do, but some of them don't. Conquer, obviously. Um, that, that kind of works with all the different conquer images but yeah a lot I mix and match a lot of my sentiments with the different characters and things from different sets 
I love them. I'm just standing them all up because I've knocked them over and I'm trying to be professional. Uh, so, uh, they're in. Up next, we've got the Flamingo. Up next, uh, this, once again, you've got the rainbows in here. Uh, you've got the Flamingos as well, the two little Flamingos. One happy, one looking thoughtful uh, that you've got as well. Uh, three quarters of the stock here now has already gone. And then you've got this car down the front, which I absolutely adore. Once again, very simple techniques that you can create. Now, we were talking about this when we came off air earlier, um, about you love white space. I do, yes. I'm kind of becoming a bit renowned for the white space. Some people might think it's too much, but I just like having the contrast of um, something that's colourful, but with that white space so that it really pops. It really does. And that's, so this is, a, this is the perfect way to start learning what you like. Make those simple white cards that you've all got to have. You haven't got to cre create in these big, big backgrounds if you don't want them to. Plain and simple, pop these on the front of them and you've really got a beautiful card. Trust me, you really, really have. Uh, up next, what do we get up to? Oh, little bit crazy is what we've got next. Uh, so you've got your unicorn in here. You've also got your alpaca in here as well. And I only laugh because literally before I came on air, I don't know if you saw the comment that was on Facebook that I, I retweeted your comment oh, on right. Facebook and, and all over social media. And someone put, I don't remember it's an alpaca. <laughs> <laughs> um, there you go. Uh, that's what made me chuckle. It is. Uh, three quarters of the stock have already gone here as well. Absolutely adore. This next one you can do so much with. Um, because this one here could be an adventurer if you wanted him to. I reckon you could put a little parachute on the back of him if you wanted to as well. Have him flying down. Um, and then Tracy said if you take the little bauble off the end of there, that you could make that quite Christmassy with a little Christmas hat on. As, as if you've noticed, none of these are Christmas. None of them are birthday oriented. None of them are weddings or anything like that. Because it's down to you what you wanted to create. Um, last but no means these. This one's backed by popular demands as well. This is no words and it's also limited stock. This is what I was talking about that will work beautifully uh, with the paw prints that we had earlier. Uh, we're down to single figures on this. A large background stamp. Use a whole, use little bits if you wanted to. Just snippets here and there. Then you've got the hearts with the same words that flow through. That teddy bear is super, super cute because there is so much uh, that you can do with him uh, when you get him home. So these are cards like this or cards like this or simply using one of the backgrounds and doing cards like this as well. They're absolutely stunning. Sold out. We are now sold out on no words. We have no words left is what we have. Uh, no words at all. Right then, let's go and look at the papers. Now, we didn't see these earlier because we were phenomenally busy, but I said we need to get them in here because it is a cracking little deal of what we're talking about over on your 6 by 6 inch paper pads. Now you're going to get two of the paper pads in total and 9 times out of 10, these go, these absolutely fly out of the door. So talk me around the paper pads, Tracy. For some people are thinking, well, I, before I flick through them, why do I need the paper pads? How do they go with the stamps? make instant backgrounds for the little characters so you can just use it in its entirety or you can snip them up and do different techniques with them they're really really versatile lots of rainbows in in them they're just lovely they just they just work really well with the characters they are beautiful uh, this one i'm looking at the moment is rainbow rules now obviously i won't have time to flick through all of them uh, but you can see what i mean how Look, if you went for that word stamp, how well do these all work together? So if you did miss out the stamp and you still want the papers that are in there, uh, you've got it all in there as well for you. Those watery backgrounds that you've wanted time and time again that you don't know how to do, uh, you're getting all these. There are so many beautiful things uh, in here. This is, you're getting 30 sheets, you're getting 10 designs, and it's 200 GSM as well. So it will run through your dye machine. Do you have a favourite paper pad? Um, I know it's like asking which is your favourite child. It is, but... yeah. No, I, I don't really, but um, there was two, there's two that came out relatively recently called Mono Magic and White on White that are something that you don't see very often. They're really, really simple designs, but they work beautifully as backgrounds. Let's go through. This one is uh, Mono Magic. So this is new to the collection. It, it was new last time. So look, oh, look at these now. So if you're scared of that white space, how beautiful is that? And of course you can ink onto them as well if you want to. So, so although they're black and white, if you want to add some colour you can. Also you could change the colours so if you wanted to add that hint of sparkle. How beautiful is that look with the heart in the background? Um, 
these are stunning so once again it gives you that help along the way uh, just adding the wolf there's a card with this with the wolf that you've got there just adding the wolf that's in that front cover is a car is a ready-made card if i show you that and if my system is correct bear with people i've just literally put some yellow round to make it look like the moon and so it starts like that but that the cards you've literally cut it out a bit of yellow around the moon and you're good to go so as we were saying earlier these are ready-made cards is what we're looking at here as well so that is your mono magic um, and then you might also want to go for the white on white i don't remember seeing white on white um, oh look at this now these are these are like your sort of zen doodle designs that you'd get yeah you can literally go to town on them if you want to with colors pens different things like that or you can just leave them simply as they are and just add a character or or a sentiment or something like that oh, I you imagine doing this with a picture of a loved one maybe for a wedding that you've got in there as well would be stunning these on their own in box frames work a treat if you don't know what to do and you're into your box frames you're into your photos on the wall and stuff and you want to start filling things up they really really do for the she fact let me show you some of the samples uh, that we've got here i've seen this one somewhere this one is vintage rainbow if i'm not mistaken uh with the colors that you've got on there i think these are so they are so so beautiful uh, but they all work they're ready-made backgrounds so all the backing papers that you're seeing here are the some of the backing papers that you would get running through the sheets themselves so all of the colors uh, that you've got things even like the alpaca one that's there how beautiful is this backing paper all that they do look like little teddy bears so if you've got little boys or girls rooms and you don't know what to put on the walls or you don't know how to do cards for them uh, you've got ready-made cards already here things like uh, the denim blush uh, for example before we move on it's literally these beautiful papers you put your figurines down the center that you want to use there you've got your sort of like your zebra stripes if you're going for like your zebra look uh, that you want to go for but you've got all that hint of the blush and the denim so you know whatever papers you put together they're all going to work because they've got the same theme that runs all the way through once again 30 sheets 10 designs 200 gsm is what you're looking at you are getting two of these books for eleven pounds and ninety-eight pence, uh, we've also got the A4s as well. Check the website out uh, for this little pick and mix. It's the quickest and the easiest place to go and have a look for you. Uh, for the sheet fact, they're all on the website. Those little circles as well that you're seeing on the front cover, they're the pages that are on the inside. They're not there for decorative. They're so you can see some of the designs that you're actually going to be receiving when you get them home. They are absolutely beautiful. We're going over in the navy. A mono magic our Ross is going for. Beautiful. Um, then you check out your baskets, add to your baskets, and then you'll take you through to all your details as well. Something else though, before you go to check out, you might want to do is add in your A4 paper pad. Now these are the ones that get me every single time. It's this one that I absolutely adore. I'm gonna have to come this way, otherwise I really am gonna knock everything over. Um, but if I flick this back for you and show you some of the pages in here, just look at these. If you are scrapbooking, if you've got photo albums and you don't know where to um, address your photos, you've got ready-made backgrounds, A4 backgrounds, all ready done. Just things like that. How beautiful are these? So A4... What would we, as, as a non craft um, what would we use the A4 pads for? Because they're large designs and some people will be scared of cutting into them. They're really good for things like um, the journals that you can, where you can get the journal dies and different things like that because they're that much bigger. It means you can do a whole journal from one sheet or put into frames, different things like that. Scrapbooking, scrapbooking as you said. Hey, Lots of different things. That on its own for a Christmas for a for a, a grandparent with kids of the grandkids maybe at the bottom or around that is beautiful because it sort of sums up our entire year yeah. so far that we've got here you've got the beautiful rainbow colors on there you've got PS I love you you add photos that is a scrapbook page ready to go uh, once again 
everything has been thought of. Go in with your animals, go in with your creations here. Don't be scared of the white page. And this really does help you not be scared. Mats and layers will really work for these as well. Uh, you are getting, once again, 20 sheets, 10 designs, and we're talking 200 uh, GSM that's already in there. Even ready-made frames are really easy uh, to fussy cut out. What I also like about Tracy Books as well is the sheer fact, yes, you give us beautiful designs, but they're not double-sided. So we haven't got that, that problem saying, well, which one do I use? Yeah. <laughs> which side do I use? Which side of the paper? I don't want to spoil them. They're one-sided, so you know you can use that one side, and you're not going to you're not going to ruin the other side, as it were. Seventeen pounds and ninety packs, and you're getting both of these. This is not a pick and mix this time. You are getting both of them for seventeen pounds and ninety pence. Five six five one zero five is your IT number. Right then, you've seen everything I've got this time on the show. I have no more to show you. If you have any questions, please email them in. If you want to see something used or you want to ask a question while we've got Tracy here, uh, please ask the questions. Email them in, studio at a channel.com. But if you haven't, let's just watch the amazing demos come to life. Right then, Tracy, it's over to you. What do you want to show me? Okay, we're going to use the You Blow My Mind stamp set. And I've got just a circle canvas here. It's about 20 centimetres, I think, or 25 centimetres across. Okay. And we're going to start by using Distress Oxide sprays. And I've got Antique Linen and Speckled Egg. And I'm just literally going to put just a small amount of both and as per normal I'm leaving that bit as a white space I'm not covering the whole canvas I'm just gonna cover that much let's just get rid of that and dry that off these colors work really nicely together and Is they're perfect the new color? it's yeah it's not the latest but it's one of the new one ones, of the new ones. Yeah. what's the latest one though? You it's an orangey, yeah, it's, um, I can't remember what it's called, but it's like an orangey ready colour. Oh. Okay. So that's dry-ish. I'm just going to use my anti-static pad a little bit. It doesn't matter too much. We're going to put some texture paste and some embossing powder on this. It doesn't matter too much if the embossing powder sticks to the underneath part, but um, we're going to use some um, indigo blue slap it on extra thick and I'm just literally going to stencil through with that just randomly I'm not doing the whole stencil I'm just doing a portion of it it's like spreading butter on toast <laughs> And because we're trying to create texture, it doesn't matter if it's not perfectly even. I'll just take that off and I'm going to use some embossing powders here. So I've got, um, this is a Wow Powder Atlantic Sea Spray. And I'm not going to cover the whole lot, I'm just putting some patches of it and then tipping it off. And then I'm going to go in, let's turn that over so going go in with a goldy colour as well. It doesn't matter actually if you don't cover the whole the whole texture paste because obviously what you don't cover will just remain clear. Oh, okay. Let's actually try and put it on the canvas. <laughs> okay. And then you need to be a bit careful with this because um, heating it up obviously with texture paste underneath might not be the cleverest idea. You need to be a little bit careful about how often how um, how long you leave it on there. Okay, makes sense. But what, too long, will it start bubbling? It does start bubbling, which I like, but obviously if you leave, leave it even longer, it might, you know, set fire to it or something. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. So, that, that doing so that just now. be, just as soon as you start to see the embossing powder turn, which yeah. is what you do anyway, um, then you can, I don't know why I'm waving this around, it's not really, going to do much good, but. Details on the screen at the moment for your A6 stamps, £9.95, 5683188 is your item number. Uh, you can find all your stamps online as well for your A5 and your A6. Uh, leader of the pack has now sold out as well. Uh, so your leader of the pack, your wolf, has now sold out. And remember, I've not even said yet, well, again, once these stamps have gone, these have gone. There's nothing coming back. There's no phone calls to be made this evening. Uh, literally, once they've gone, they have gone. So get them while you can. This is nice and quiet, this heat tour, but it's quite slow. <laughs> it is beautifully quiet. 
You can see the way it's just bubbling here. There's a bit of texture coming through, which looks great for a kind of sea theme. But do you see a set of stamps? Obviously, when you design, you must have a, an end concept in mind. But when you see a set of stamps, do you sort of know the roughly routes you're going to take? So, so sort of like, oh, I'll do this in this sort of style, or do you just sit and play? It's funny because I have an idea in my head and I get lots of requests for different things from people and usually if I sit down specifically to design one thing, it ends up something completely different. different. Um, but I do have, so I've got a, a long, long list of ideas that I'm slowly Rocking trying to get right through. <laughs> so you can see there how it's coming together. So I don't know if I can show that so you can see the... The texture coming through so there's just parts of the different uh, color embossing powder there and then yet again I'm going to go in with my Posca pen and just add a little bit of white and a little bit of black just to add some extra interest let's try and get that everything except the canvas <laughs> of course there we go that's better okay you we're can obviously covered. go to town with that at home I'll cover my hands as well but there we go and then we're going to take the whale so I'll just pop that to one side for a moment and I'm gonna stamp the whale oh so the background is now what is waves yes Make, make sense now. <laughs> I was thinking, oh, I forgot. I sort of forgot what we were getting what we were talking about. <laughs> there is a, a, a version on the counter there. Ah. Um, so I've actually got one that I've cut out already, so I'm just going to use that one. And I've got the Distress Oxide, again, the um, speckled egg. And I'm just going to use that to colour in the whale. I find that the best way to kind of make your canvas come together or make or a card or whatever it is you're making is to try and follow the colors through so if you're using the color for the background um, and it's not obviously you want it to stand out but because we've used a mixture of colors there it's just nice for that color to then go through to the actual image just kind of keeps everything coordinated so I'm just I think we said this in the early show as well but your designs are they're They've still got all the detail in there, but they're so easy to cut out. You're never going to struggle to cut these details out. No, no, they're, they're quite easy. I, I'm not a big fan of cutting out, but because they're so easy, it's, it's not, a big, not a big deal. So there we've got him. And again, as usual, I always stick to the same. So we've put a little rosy cheek on and there. And these are, are these Distress Oxide pens you're using now? So that was Distress Oxide, um, the, the blue was the Distress Oxide, the pink I've just used, normal Distress okay. marker. And then I'm just going to go in with the white in the eyes. Well. Remember you could use your watercolours for this, you can use your watercolour pens, that one day special would work wonderfully for this as well, to do these washes. Okay, and then when you pop him on here, obviously it picks up the colour from the background, but with the extra sparkle and the texture, it just makes him pop a little bit. And then we've just got sentiment, um, which I'm going to use this one. Actually, let's use some glue. Let's... Remember and things... then just sorry. No, go on, go on. I was just going to say things are selling out quick. I was just going to say, if you want it to, to pop a little bit more, what you can do is just use a black pen. I did one in the demo earlier and just put a rough. You don't need to be accurate with this. That If you kind of go slow and try and concentrate and make straight lines, it ends up looking worse than if you just kind of get stuck in there and, and pop it on. So it's Look at that. Make him so he stands up a little bit. Just slightly proud of the of the background. I love there. it. Look at that. I whale always love you. 
with your little whale that you've got there as well. Uh, once again, all that detail is focused. It draws your eye in. You've still got that beautiful white canvas around the edge, and it does draw your eye to the centre. And that would be a beautiful piece maybe to gift. Maybe you're going to start putting hampers together uh, for the festive season. It would really, really work. Well, why are Tracy uh, gets ready for another demonstration? Let me give you some updates on the stamps that I've got in front of me at the moment. So, uh, your about the polar bear pals. Uh, very busy. 60% of Polar Bear Pals now has already gone. Um, would be amazing for little ones colouring books as well. If you've got little uh, little ones in the family, uh, just stamp them out on different pages and let them colour them in. Really go to town. Then we've got Hay Sugar. 80% of Hay Sugar now has already gone for your Hay Sugar. Uh, up next, 60% uh, of I Can Fly now has already gone. We are very, very busy, so 60% of I Can Fly. Moving our way down to the bottom, these are the Juggling Life stamps. The steps that you've got there are uh, very busy for these. 50% of the stock has already gone. Imagine them in shrink plastic form. Start making uh, charms out of them as well. Um, limited stock. For wild side, single figures now is what we're down to uh, for the wild side. And then we've got Bloom, which is also limited stock as well on the show. Uh, very, very busy. £14.95. Say your A5 stamps, 739844 is your item number for these stamps for. Then we've also got the A6 stamps as well on the show. Now, leader of the pack now has already gone. That has already sold out your leader of the pack. So what have we got left? So now... We have got You've Blown My Mind, which we see now Tracy just using, uh, that we've got this one on the show as well. Maybe you're going to get these as giftables, perfect giftable for someone who's just started in the world of craft. So you've got your Blow My Mind, those two little whales that you've got on there, even with the water that's coming out, or you've got the hearts that are coming out of the blowhole as well, and you've always got that sentiment, I whale always love you. Then you've got I Conquer. Up next as well, uh, busy three quarters for the conquer has now already gone. Uh, this day is yours to conquer, um, absolutely adore it. Then all the way down at the bottom, I've had a little shimmy around, we've got the flamingos uh, that's here as well. 80% of your flamingos now has already gone. You see the themes running through the backing papers as well with the rainbows and the stars that are running on there. Up next, you've got, I love this unicorn. The something about this unicorn is adorable. Uh, you've got a bit, little bit crazy that's in there, a little bit crazy and a whole lot of love. Three quarters of the stock has already got here. I love the saying, like, just saying, hey, love you. Uh, then last but no means least, some bunny. 80% of some bunny has already gone. Some bunny to love. Um, I absolutely adore, adore them all. I really, really do. They are absolutely beautiful, beautiful stamp sets. If you're lucky enough, um, and I've got the money to go for all of them. What a collection. You really are going to start having now uh, with that Tracy Hay collection that you've got here. Uh, 568318 is your item number. Uh, the paper pads that we've also got on the show as well. You didn't see these in the early show, uh, but we have got them on the show as well. I'll flick through some more for you. Uh, there's a pick a mix of any two. Let's go for... Uh, Craft a Rainbow that we've got on here this time. So this is Craft a Rainbow uh, that you've already got on the show. Uh, so now, let me show you what we've actually got inside here. So you've got your things like your sentiments that are in there. Uh, so it's all sort of done on your brand craft card uh, this time. How beautiful is that? You imagine that with the donuts of the first collection that you've got in there. Uh, would work wonders. Um, so you've got all these different colorways running all the way through. I love that. Uh, with your stamp forms on there as well. Uh, once again, you get 30 sheets, you're getting 10 designs, 200 GSM is what it's on the paper, and the cardstock that you're actually using. Uh, so it's beautiful, beautiful cardstock. Uh, Ross, do you have a favourite that we want to flick through? You're going in the Navy. In the Navy, let's go through in the Navy. Ross has got a theme this evening. Uh, in the Navy, so this time you've got the Navy running all the way through. I think he used to be a sailor. Uh, so there, oh, you imagine doing this with the whale. With the whale that's on the front as well that you've got in there. Uh, then you've got the hearts and you've got the circles. You've got that Navy pattern uh, running all the way through. Through. These are brand new pads, can you hear them? Uh, you're running all the way through. They're absolutely uh, beautiful that you've got in there as well. Um, a nice little collection that you've got inside the kit. You can choose any two of these for £11.98. Uh, the quick and easiest way to do the pick and mix is on the website. 
So jump to the website that's on there. Uh, Jimmy, what two would you go for? Craft a rainbow, he likes that one. Oh, he's going to go alpaca pie. Oh, I like alpaca pie. Where's alpaca pie? Alpaca pie is this one. Let me quickly show you alpaca pie uh, live in the studio. because This one is absolutely beautiful. Uh, so this is your alpaca pie that we're talking about now as well. I love the cable knit. Look at that with the cable knit that you've got running through these. Uh, then you've sort of got that, that light check. Sort of a bit of gingham running through. Uh, then, oh, a little of alpaca packers that you've got the alpacas in the circles um I, I absolutely i don't know what is a group of alpacas called a herd, a herd ross there you go um how ross was uh, wondering uh, so there you go <laughs> a herd of alpacas uh, so there we pay with it so that is alpaca pie that we're talking about as well 11 pounds and 98 pence right then tracy we're coming back to you what would you like to show me this time okay we're going to do the polar pals card with the water on yes. the front so I'm going to start off, I've got some Pearlywink sprays here, um, but I'm not using them as a spray. I'm going to open the tops up. I've given them a shake already. I'm going to just make the top of my card just wet there, and then I'm going to dip my brush in. At home I would probably spray them onto a mat and then pick them up, but for ease today I'm just going to my paintbrush in so I'm doing just a blend I, I'm only doing the top of the car because we're creating a scene just at the top so this is going to be like the night sky so we're just going to blend that in and you can see that it's kind of sparkly the pearly wind sprays are just lovely for these kind of effects so it almost looks like stars it's like a cold winter's night and then what we're going to do is take a piece of acetate And I'm just going to work out, so you won't be able to see that very well at the moment, but what I'm going to do is just pop the tape across the middle there. Just try and make sure that's actually straight, it's really difficult with acetate. In your A5 stamps, the bloom has now sold out. Bloom has now gone. So your bloom has now gone. So if you wanted the bloom, unfortunately, there no more. Okay. I'll go with that. So what I'm going to do is just so that you can see it, I don't want to put the wet card underneath, but I'm just going to pop that across under there so you can actually see the acetate. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the extra thick slap it on and the Pearly Winks Teal Pearl Mist. And I'm just going to mix some of the super thick, slap it on with a little bit of that and just mix it in. Well, I've never seen them use this way before. It doesn't matter if it's not mixed perfectly because obviously it's water so it's, it doesn't matter if some parts are slightly bluer. And then all you do is you just from your masking tape, just literally pop it across your acetate like that. And then of oh. course it won't be until it dries that you'll see the, the full effect but it's kind of clear because obviously oh, the, so the, the white disappears. Just, yes, so it just it dries clear but with this sort of blue a bit of a blue sparkle to it. Nice. And again it doesn't have to be particularly smooth or perfect you can just pop that along there and then so that obviously once you pull this off so I get into a huge mess just, in there. just get rid of any excess that you've managed to get on the card like I have there so then this is going to become so you can actually pop that underneath like that and obviously as that dries clear it will become your water and then with the polar bears because obviously the acetate is clear you don't want the glue showing but you can actually put clear glue behind so if I show you with some glue gel there just do it really fine actually what we'll do is we'll stick the little polar bear on first so these polar bears are really great if you're in a rush because you don't obviously have to do much colouring so no, I've just, true, <laughs> just literally added a little bit of shadow on there and then you can just put a little bit of glue on his legs 
like so. I'm just gonna like that. And then obviously you can pop him on the inside of your card. Like so. That will stick to the inside of the it's quite difficult to do when you when this isn't dry. I would let that dry normally first and then um, add the polar bears once it's dried, but you obviously won't see the glue on the inside because it will be in amongst the clear of the, the sea. So once that dries, that will look better. And then you literally just, you can use a tape uh, tape to put the sentiment on. And that's your, the finished card obviously is. I've got, the fin I've got the finished card <laughs> just here. So once in it dries. Me, uh, look at this. And you really do get that look of sort of icy water to it. It's lovely, and you can use that with lots of different, you know, for anyone that got the Paddle Pal set earlier or for any of the other ones. The, the donuts that you said about that could be the yeah. water, you could use that same technique to create different things. You could just, if you didn't want to do a whole sheet of acetate, you could just cut an aperture in a card and just put the acetate on that part. Um, so there's lots of different ways you can use that technique. And it, look, and look how realistic it looks. It looks absolutely beautiful and you can achieve this look at home as well how beautiful is that you really really can uh, it's a stunning little card that we've got as well and remember if you're a freedom member all of this will be sent to you for nothing because it's all in with your price oh you also get a little badge a monthly news don't believe me here's Alioni to tell you more have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Hachanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a Chanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away, or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888, and join her Chanda Freedom today. Yes, indeed, ER. That is if you are a Freedom member. Um, but we've come back at the paper pads because we're very, very busy uh, for these at the moment as well. £11.98 is what you're looking at. 993706 is your item number. You're getting two of the paper pads is what you're getting for £11.98. Um, but we've shown you so many samples that you can see. Uh, with all the paper pads uh, that you've already got here. So there's so many things that you can do uh, when you get these home, like the little bubbles, um, the acetate. We saw these last time uh, we were on the show. It's like little shaker cards uh, that you've got in there. Uh, but all of these are using the paper pads that we've actually got on the show. But if you look at, just stamp straight on. How beautiful is that? And a little bit of, deca little bit of decoupage that's in there as well. Um, how beautiful. But it's all well and good me showing you all these, but how do you use them? How do you get them home? Let's go for a demonstration. Just It's just about the paper pads this time. Um, Tracy, so when we get these home, because it can be quite daunting to go into a paper pad, what, was, what are your techniques? What would you suggest that we do? Okay, so obviously there's the, um, the obvious way of using them, just literally is a backdrop. So um, you could just pop your little character on. So I've got one here where I've it's out of the white on white and it's just literally got the sentiment and then all I've done is from the I can fly set I've stamped the elephant you could stamp it onto one of our papers or if you wanted to do it glittery like this you could and then by just piecing over the top with the character you can create a completely different effect and then just literally on this background paper it works perfectly or you could actually use the papers again stamped on here cut out then you can cut out your little elephant and pop him on like that and that's a perfect topper for a card. So you try and think differently about, you don't just have to stamp the elephant and colour him in, you can use different papers and different effects. I've also used um, different stamps to stamp onto the wings. I purposely wanted to make these wings open so that you can do lots of different, you can do different colouring effects but also you can use other stamps from the range, you can use the paper pad, you can use different things to create uh, different ideas. I've also used, the um, there's a 
oh. a sample where I've actually taken the wings off and used feathers um, instead on that one. And then for oh, this... Oh. Can you... Oh, look. There you go. How beautiful is that? That is stunning. It's just trying to think about things differently so you don't have to use it in its entirety. And then from the Sun Bunny set, I've just coloured the image here, but I've not coloured his hat. But obviously the, the knitted paper is perfect if you stamp it and then she's got a little knitted hat Aww. on there. So there's lots of different ways that you can use the paper pads to just change up your stamps and just look at them in a different way. So it's the different, it's the little elements that you can use. So start look, re, as it's what Trey said, look into your stamps and see the different. So he's he's got wings. So how what, how many other ways can I do wings? Maybe you've got wings at home that you've already got in stamp collections that you could fit behind big ornate wings if you wanted to with the animals in the middle. Maybe he's wearing little bits of clothes and the snippability in these are amazing. Yes, you've got all the detail that's in there, which is phenomenal, but they're so easy to cut out. If you're anything like me, there's nothing worse than stamping stuff out and then going, that's all well and good, but I've done it in the middle of a page, and how do I cut this out now? But these are so easy, and if you've got the right tools for the job, it makes your crafting go a lot further, because it's more enjoyable. And once you start enjoying it, then you start losing that one hour, two hours, oh, I'll do a little bit more of that now. Or oh, I don't mind cutting that out because I know what I'm going to be doing. Let's have a look. So you've got things like rainbow rules in there. Now the circles on the front will show you some of the designs that you're getting on the inside as well. Uh, then you've got rainbow rules again, which is a beautiful, uh, which is a beautiful stamp set. Then the next one is Vintage Rainbow uh, that you've already got in there, which I absolutely adore. Remember, you're getting two of these for £11.98. Uh, then you've got the Denim Blush, so you've got the beautiful blush colours that run through along with the denim colours as well. Then you've got our Jimmy's favourite and director's favourite, Alpaca Pie. I love Alpaca Pie. Um, he loves Alpaca Pie. Um, and then, on the bottom row, we've now got, in the Navy, our Ross's favourite. I'm sure he was part of the village people. Uh, then you've got uh, Craft a Rainbow that's there as well. What, you were the Indian? Oh, uh, okay. Uh, it makes the, headre the, the headdress. Headdress now makes sense. Then we've got Craft a Rainbow Pastel. So this is different to Craft a Rainbow. This is in the pastel colours uh, that we've got there. Uh, now the next one is sort of like your animal prints. So your animal magic, where are we? Uh, so it's bits like this. So these are like your animal magics that we're talking about now. So this really does um, pack a punch, as it were. Then we've got sort of the newer ones to the collection. Uh, white on white, which is nice. And then... A mono magic, mono magic. <laughs> See what I did there? Uh, Eleven pounds and ninety-eight pence. Nine nine three seven zero six is your item number uh, for these. Let me show you some. Oh, here we go. Look, this sums it up beautifully using the denims and how well everything goes together. <laughs> it's, it's all how I hold it, I suppose. Uh, so then. How well does all these fit together? It is stunning. So that shows you how well all those pages fit together beautifully. Uh, things like alpaca pie. And then you just do the little Polaroid that you've got in there as well. Uh, using some um, of the vintage that you've got. You've got like the animal magic that's in there as well. Uh, these are your eights. These are your six by sixes. Eleven pounds and ninety-eight pence. Nine nine three seven zero six is your item number. Something else you might like are your A4s. Uh, talking about your A4s, they are absolutely beautiful. For the sheer fact, let me just pop these straight in. Just so you can, it's easy using your A4 paper and some of the stamps that we already have on the show as well. Or some stamps that you may already have in your collection as well. So that is um, kindness. I love that one. But you got things like Masterpiece. Now you may already have these. Uh, these were launched um, earlier on in the year. Or maybe last year. Uh, that you've got there. Then you've also got the butterfly fountain pen as well. But it just goes to show what you can use the backing papers for when you get them home. They're a beautiful, beautiful uh, little thing that you can already use. Um, right then, Tracy, I'm coming back to you. We've got about four minutes left. What would you like to show me? Some bunny set, and I'm going to use some of the accent stamps um, because 
I always think that they're kind of almost forgotten about, but actually the accent stamps can create great backgrounds or cards in their own right. Okay. So I've taken the heart from this set. And I'm just, oops, let's try. Ooh. No, let's cheat. Actually, let's, let's pop it on. Let's pop it on this one instead. Let's show you with the paper pads. So we've got the extra here. So what I'm going to do is just stamp the accent stamps. Around the waist like this. This works over the background papers that you've already got in your collection. So then what you can do is you can just take, if you want to then just add a bit of extra detail, you can actually just then colour over the top a little bit just to bring out those, the colours. And... Oh, so you sort of match the hearts with the colour that you've stamped over? Yes, yeah. So it's just a different way of, so you can change up, you can obviously use all of the, use all of your different um, stash and so on, but using the papers and adding a bit of extra colour just adds a different dimension. But it takes the colour so well and it also doesn't look like you've just put colour on top of the background, it looks like it's meant to be there. It's a, it's a perfect way of just um, using those accent stamps just to and just making them your own really. So just add the green. And you don't have to, again the sketchy style means that you don't have to be really accurate with your colouring. You can just um, just take small parts, just be really, just randomly add those colours. So that in its own right looks great. If you then put it onto a black background it just makes it pop a little bit more so you could Mount that on there, like that. So if you see that, just like makes that. it a little bit different. And then, of course, you can take your bunny, can just be sat in there with his woolly hat on, like that. So if we just, what I'll do is I'll pop, I'll pop it together so you can see the finished. Just adding a black layer, I find, always just really makes the image pop. So just add some tape on. So that's just using a whole sheet of paper in one go, but equally you could just, you know, cut it up or do different things with it, different techniques. And the knitted one is obviously from the alpaca pie pad, so that it mixes nicely with the others. Yeah, you don't have to really stick does. to one. And also the covers, I meant to say the covers, I've seen lots of people doing some really amazing things using the cover as well, so don't waste the, the circles on the front. Inspiration, where, um, as there's no management in, as it's Saturday night, um, <laughs> where can we find all this inspiration? So you can find us on Facebook, Alpaca Pals by Tracy Hay, and you can also find us on Instagram, Tracy D. Hay. We've hey. also got a group, sorry, on Facebook, no, Tracy on. Hay and Pals. Uh, I was going to say, if you can't find uh, the Alpaca group, uh, if you go to my Facebook page, I put a link up earlier uh, and I tagged them in as well, so you'll be able to find them. I know, I'm a kind sort of boy. Uh, we haven't got that long left, but you can find everything that's on there. Uh, you can also find all inspiration on there as well. Uh, go jump to the website, it's the quickest and the easiest place to go to find all the products that are on there. Uh, you look at the five star reviews for the paper pads and the A4 paper pads that you've got there as well. Uh, we've had so many sellouts already this hour. You've also got some of the older stamps on there as well, so things like the Peacock that's on there. You've also got um, some of the big A5 stamps, if you were just going to go for some of the heads that, that look at those. So you've got the Skippy, oh I like the little school ground one, with the little pig, with the little ring going round him. Uh, 14 pounds, 95 pence. They're all there. Check the website out for them all. It's the quickest and the easiest place to go and the easiest place to look. Uh, thank you Tracy, it's been an absolute pleasure. Uh, what are you back? Uh, December. Oh, not that long to wait. Uh, December is when our Tracy's back, but don't you go anywhere. 
No, no, no. There's so much to shop for here on the wonderful world of a channel. We've got the one day special up next, and I will see you tomorrow afternoon, two o'clock, I think. I don't know. I'll see you then, though. And then, up next, it is your one-day special. Very busy launch. And then, join our Janice for the Saturday night deal wheel. Yes, she's got a full-on farmyard. Welcome to All and Create's fourth birthday event here at Hachanda with three one-day specials and a weekend wow. We invite you all to celebrate with us as we bring you fantastic products and inspirational demonstrations, plus up to two free gifts with purchase in each promotion, so up to eight per customer. Join us for All and Create's fourth birthday celebrations on Wednesday the 14th of October at 6pm to Monday the 19th of October at 6pm. Hi, we're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina, this is Josie and this is my dad Roy and we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. So three years ago we decided to embark on turning our own designs into polymer stamps. We're really excited about where this is going to take us in the future and how we can evolve those designs and keep bringing you something that's just so, so different. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection and this was down to Josie using her iPad and hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. So make sure you don't miss the Daisy Bee shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Teamwork makes the dream work and at Clarity we are designers and manufacturers of, dare I say, beautiful, top quality and award-winning craft products. We are home to the very first, the original transparent art stamp. We hand make them here in Kent and our talented illustrators are always coming up with new original concepts and wonderful artwork. In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. Since January 2017, we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment art. We are so fortunate to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. So if you would like to learn more about clarity stamping, stencil work, parchment art, both groovy and traditional, please join us, myself and the Clarity team, here on Hochanda for ideas and inspiration. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with the Chandler is fantastic for us, it gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dyes, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please, don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on a Chandler.
good evening to you. Yes, we're back with the One Day Special and the gorgeous, the lovely, tremendously talented Lou Sims. Good evening. How are you? Oh, lovely, thank oh, you. Oh, you've been busy between shows. <laughs> I can see what she's been up to and we'll carry on with the demonstrations. We'll have a quick glimpse. Look at that. Oh, gorgeous vibrant colours there, Lou. Yeah, I just wanted to show that I had used them in between sort of thing and how I said I went from one to another. So one's in my journal, one's on a canvas. And then we were talking about painting on the actual gel. To see, I don't know if it'll show. Can you see? Oh, Ooh, you can, you see, can the gloss. see that, that lovely bit of gloss. Yes, we did that in the first yeah. hour using the different mediums that we've got for you on the show today. Look at that. Absolutely Ooh, divine. Yeah. Love that. Well, of course, those colours were created with the one day special and the beautiful colours that you have here in your brush pens. Let's talk about artist quality. Let's talk about taking your art to the next level or maybe starting your art on the right footing to have the best that you can get and the best that money can buy for you at the moment. £29.93. pence. You're saving £15. This would normally be £44.93. So already that is a great saving for you. Maybe that £15 saving, you could have a look at the pick and mix we've got available for you. So you can extend your colours or maybe go for the complete collection. We'll talk about that in a moment's time. But with this, your one day special, you get your brush pen set beautiful vibrant colors in there you've also got your blender pen that goes alongside your 10 brush pens and that blender can blend beautifully the colors into one another absolutely sensational uh, let me just grab that and show you there you go so you've got your beautiful blending pen and then you've got this incredible paper pad why is it incredible well this is for your watercolors it'll take your inks perfectly but this will also go through your printer as well. So it's a lighter weight watercolour paper. You get 75 sheets included and it's 150 GSM. So going through your um, photocopiers, it's going to be absolutely perfect for printing on as well. Maybe you sketch out and draw a design, but you can't quite replicate that again. But you want it again, maybe bigger or maybe smaller. This is going to give you the capability of printing that, your own design, on the watercolour paper and then carry and continue on with your colouring. It's fabulous, isn't it? It's a great idea and more demos on that with our Lou in the hour. 461449 is your item number and that's your one day special. You can see the vibrancy of the colours that I've got in front of you. This in particular, my favourite. How did you know that that would be my favourite, Lou? Oh, I don't know. I was doing a, an online class with um, Tara Laporte and she did like this um, wacky f fox and I thought, well, I fancy doing a, a fox fox. But all the dribbly bits over his nose was because I didn't like the nose. So oh, I found, oh no. So I found a way of using the inks and, and dripping it all on I think to get fabulous. rid of it. It's almost like the fox has come up to the window in the rain and is looking through saying, let me in, <laughs> let me in, even just for a little gin. I just made that up. Foxes don't really drink gin. I can't speak <laughs> thing. I've been drinking so <laughs> foxes don't really drink gin. It's hard to say, Lou, drink. Gin. Drink gin. Try it at home. None of you all sound so bad. No, don't try drinking gin. Try saying it. Drink gin. Can't say. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> let's talk, talk more about colouring. Do drink responsibly, of course, but do try saying drink gin. I can't say it. Right. Uh, it's not a phrase I'd say every day anyway. Now, let's talk about the artists amongst you now. Everything is going to be dispatched from the 20th of October. Let's take a look at the complete collection that you're getting here. We were very busy earlier on today for that complete collection. You're seeing the value for money. Not just the value for money, it's how you can buy these. You get the full 60 pen set. No two colours are duplicated. You also get a blender brush in this particular collection. But what we'll do is send you out all the pens, but only take part payment today. That's £34.33. pence. Then we'll take another payment in a month's time and another payment a month after that. It means you don't have to save up and wait for the full collection. We will send you out that full collection in one posting but your price will be divided over three payments. It's interest-free as well, so it makes a marvellous way of being able to get the whole range instantly. Let's take you through the colours that you're getting here on this beautiful swatch that our Lou put together using 
the watercolour paper through um, photocolour, which is great. So we've got all your different yellows in here. You've got your reds, your scarlets, those beautiful browns, all those colours to create your seas and your skies as well. We've also got your greys and you've got your blacks as well, which is fabulous. And then you've got your second pack. And in here, you've got the lovely yellows, you've got the sand colours in there. It's a great set to get because, Lou, you've got all the colours included in this particular set. And that way, you're not missing out. You're only part paying today. You are, and you're also, you're getting lighter and darker. Um, you're getting warmer colours so you like you've got the blue greens yeah. in there you've got more yellow greens in there you've got the pastels in there so you, you've actually got shades above and below um, that you know that you can actually blend your pens together and create another new shade as well so your rainbow could Grow Just even keep bigger. growing bigger. Mm. It certainly could. It's a fantastic price. It's a great way of buying from us here at Hochanda. And Freedom members, well, you're not paying any PMP. So if you want to get hold of your 60 pens but only pay a third today, this is the time to do it. 585022 is your item number. Now we do have different sets and different uh, deals for you. So let's carry on going and show you the next deal that we've got included for you. Now, You've got your set of 20 pens, or is it 30? It's 30, isn't it? So I'm going to take that away for a moment. I was, I was no, I'm not, to, I'm not going to tease you. I'm going to let you see that full collection. <laughs> now, am I right in saying, Lou, that this one doesn't have the blender pen included? No, the original set of 30 yeah. doesn't. No, the original set has the blender pen. Yes. The new edition set doesn't have the yeah. blender pen. So, the, the um, blender pen is in the latest with the 60 or with your one day special. But if you're going for this particular deal, you've got those fabulous colours in there. Let's just lean this forward so you can see those gorgeous greens in there. You've got some lovely skin tone colours in there as well. Well, you've got your uh, blues and you've got the sensational greys, the different tones in there and that deep black as well. £83.93. pence. Not only do you get the pens, you also get the inks as well and you get the pipettes with your inks. And you also get a set of three pipettes as well. Uh, two payments of £41.97 pence gives you this whole complete set. I just need to clarify, because I'm, I'm getting confused myself. The blender pen is actually in this set. So I wanted to confirm that. The blender pen is in this set. That's where I was getting confused. My bag, my fault, I'll take it. Do you know what? I'll take one for the team. So, my fault. You get... The blender pen included in. I'm just so excited because we've got so many different colour <laughs> pens. And you've got a whole array. You've still got your greys in there, the blues and the greens, those lovely autumnal colours as well. Two payments of £41.97, pence, but you also get your inks as well. I do know that. Now, your inks do have a little pipette in there. And you get the earthy colours in there, but you also get three pipettes as well. So that when these run low, and that's going to take a long time to do so, you'll have the pipettes in there just to go in and take out the remaining bits I think. Uh, £41.97. pence. Of course, you also get the pad as well. 418328. Right. A3 pad next. Well, even I know that because it's an A3 size. Uh, right. So, uh, we'll change the details for you in a moment's time. It's all getting very colourful, this show. Uh, but that's why we love working here at Hochanda. Because we bring you that variety. Even if that variety keeps changing whilst we're on screen. <laughs> With you, it's all about variety. Uh, right, your item number 817130. You've got your larger paper here, you've got 12 sheets of this, uh, A3 in size, which is a fantastic size to work on for your bigger landscapes or maybe your abstracts. But don't forget, just because this starts its life as A3, you can cut into this, you can make it smaller if you want to. That's why this is such a great deal. 34.99, and you also get your watercolors inks as well. And these are your primary colours and you also get the pipettes with that. Do you get the pipettes with the other one? I think I said you get the pipettes with the other one. So here's me confusing everyone even further. You just get the pipettes with this. I'm going to go out the studio, I'm going to sanitise my hands and I'm going to come back in again. 
Right, I'm back in the room. Everything's going to be fine. Uh, sorry for the confusion. And I've eaten as well, Lou. I know, can't even blame lack of food. Just lack of, lack of brain, really. Uh, okay, so we've got to pick a mix for you. And in each pack, there are five pens. So that means getting any three packs is going to get you 15 pens. You choose, you decide. So maybe there's some colours that you want topping up with. Maybe there's some colours that you work often with. Maybe you want to go for the grayscale colours with the black and then maybe tone it up with some of the purples and the blues. It's going to be entirely up to you. Remember, if you want all the colours, it's best to go for the full complete set, which we've got for you on three payments over three months but if you want to go for a pick and mix you choose you decide let's take a look at your colors that you're getting right so your greens you've got the different shades in there of your green so a spring green a normal green a grass green a forest green and a light green you've got your primary colors so your yellows your magenta your blue your black and your blender goes in that particular set. Your blues for your skies and your seas. You've got your light blue sky, you've got your um, ultramarine, you've got your indigo, your turquoise, and your ultramarine deep, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous deep color. Remember these pens do last a long, long time, depending on what you're coloring, of course, uh, but they do go a long way. You've got your beige pinks in there as well, so very, very subtle colors there, which are gorgeous. More colors here with your yellows and your violets, your reds and your earth colours. Great colours for the autumn, but there is an autumn range, yes. Alongside your pastels, your greys and your green blues to boot. Love this one. That could be my favourite. I would probably go for the autumn. I'd go for the greys and I would go for the green blue. Actually, I'll go for those three there. That's me. That's me done. But how about you? Pop these into your basket, saving £11 on your pick and mix. 625401. Uh, we've got some grey pens for you, different shades of grey. Uh, we've got two, four, six, eight, ten uh, pens for you. Well, nine actually, because one of them is your blender pen in there. And here is your colour swatch, which is beautiful. And you've got that sepia, that deep sepia colour in there which is fantastic. Is that the one? Yes it is. Um, so if you want to pop this into your basket it's just 18 99 saving £6.46. Did that make sense? Hopefully it did. Let's have a look at the website. This will definitely make sense and if you want to make sense of everything I was trying to make sense of head for the website. That's where you can see all the items. Um, we are busy for the complete collection. Lots of you are going for that in the earlier show as well. Um, you see a red um, banner, that means it's available on FlexiBuy, so you can divide the cost. If you ever see a blue banner on a website, that's as a Freedom member, you get a discount. Look at the five star reviews as well for the Pigma Micro Pens. Oh, they're fantastic. I've got them at home, absolutely adore them. Do lots of sketching and doodling with them. We've also got the metallic pens from Sakura as well, those jelly roll pens. They are divine to use, and I learned today you can use them with water as well. We've got your mediums on there, and some of those mediums Lou was using earlier on in the demonstrations. Right. Right. I think it's time to get over to Lou, don't you? Lou, what we're going to have a look at first? Right, first I'm going to have a look at the... Boom, oh, I've got stuck to my tissue. Um, the different things we can do with the pens, not necessarily with the printer, but then we can move on yeah. using the printer. I've got the printer paper here, and I'm just going to grab a couple of the pens. I'm just going to put the lids on, because I know if I don't, they'll go for a walk. And we can put the colours down, so that's the beautiful yellow... And obviously, if I put the scion next to it, that's like, and I can blend the two together, and I can obviously get my green. So we can we can blend them that way. But what we can also do is we can do colour on colour. Okay. So if I'm going to put, so the colour that goes on the top will bleed into the colour in the bottom. But won't that affect the pen's use? We'll, we'll see. Okay. <laughs> you know, you just go. I'm hoping not. You know, I'm looking at the pen going. Mm. So. If I'm going to put the yellow on top of the blue, and I'm just going to hold it here. Now, the longer you hold it in place, the more soaks, the in. More soaks in. So I'm, 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 I'm t counting in my head here. So I put a bit in there, and then the yellow pen is still yellow. But you put it on the blue. I did. Oh, blue. So now I can colour that out. So even though you've only got ten pens in the one-day special you can actually now start doing your own 
blend. Can we do it again? Can we do it again with something else? <laughs> yeah. Have you got two other colours to do it with? Yeah. This is amazing. Do it with all the colours. No, I'm only kidding. You do what you like, but do it. But no. you can still, it doesn't affect it blending out. I'm using water, oh but we could word. use the, the blender brush. That's like so. a magic pen effect. What, what other colours can we use, I'm going Lou? to choose a pink one, then. Only because I know what colours they make. Pink and You know yellow. when you go. Okay. <laughs> and then I'll turn it the other way around. So... So the, the pen on top yeah. puts the ink into the pen on the bottom. Got you. So the longer you leave it on there, the more ink flows in. So the yellow is going into the magenta, is it? Yeah, using? I mean, I can see it here. Yeah, I can. Yeah, So and if I do that, the yellow's fine. Yeah. Okay, so then if I do it with the magenta... Oh, that is your tequila sunset just there. And then oh, I'm I going... I mean, just sunset, not tequila sunset. <laughs> and then I've gone back down to the magenta. But I can do it the opposite way round as well. Sunrise, sorry, not sunset. <laughs> I have no timings in my house. No, that's fine. And I can do it with the yellow and bring the other oh, colour. Oh, that is beautiful. Even that as a background, just adding that, that tone of colours. I, this is so, fabulous. Oh, you wait till you get these home and try this. Um, but so you can then, as you can see, um, I'm going to say yellow's fine but you can blend it out perfectly so if I put this side on I can get one color going down the side and I can gradually create stripes of different color. I thought you were doing sunburnt legs then. <laughs> but so you can do you can do it that way if you didn't want to blend it out so you yeah. can do different stripes of color this is and actually brilliant. do it that way. So the pens can do lots of that I mean I can blend them out with a blender pen you know and I can I can still blend it out with the blender pen as I would do as normal and then just clean the blender pen off. Oh, isn't that fantastic how the blender pen works there? So the, yeah, the blender pen just gives you the control. If you're worried about how much water to put on, I mean, I put lots of water on there because I just wanted to show how much yeah. it blended out. But the blender pen takes that uh, worry away because some of the mistakes we make when we do water is we dab the brush there but we forget that we have a load of water collecting here yes and that is then what subsequently goes into the bristles which then floods it now can we still do like bleaching techniques with um, the watercolor yeah because I mean if I flicked I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna flick some water on I'm making sure there's a lot there I'm going to use my grubby rag sorry mum <laughs> I thought you were calling me that then <laughs> And then, oh wow, yeah, that so is fantastic. I can I can actually do that, and you know you can do all those techniques if you want to do it. So if you were doing like a water background, I mean when your ink's dry, it's it's a little bit harder to do all the different techniques. But if you were doing like a water background, that now suddenly easy, you've added yeah. bubbles into the background of where you want to put your, your water. Wow. So you can still do lots of watercolour techniques, even though these are pens. Yeah. Um, you can, I mean... And do you, know, do you know what I'm seeing here? You're creating all these different effects. Yeah. Different backgrounds, the colours mixing up. But do you know what I'm not seeing? <laughs> A mess. Well... Ish. Give me time. But, I mean, I can still add water to it, and you can still do all your flicking techniques if that's what you want to do as well by just adding the colour onto the mat and adding water on that way as well so you can still carry on and do lots of different things but that is a mess now but, but it, looks it was great. just it was to say you know the pens you know can do lots of different tricks and techniques you can lay them down together and then just splodge your water on and create yeah. your colour you could do it on your mat and create your colour and the you? same I've got another question uh -oh. so I'm getting really excited now <laughs> uh, apologies at home could you get the pen and go over a stamp and then stamp with it, maybe? You can. <gasps> really? Yeah, we've got that for it as a demo. Let me see if I can quickly grab a Ooh. stamp that's near. Was that a close with me at home, everyone? Sorry about that. Don't uh, get too close. Right. Let's just, I'm trying to grab a smallish stamp. So, one stamp set, stamp block would be a good idea. So, I'm going to go on there because it's water water themed and I like water then let's have oh let's do oh yeah let's put that one on <laughs> no surprise that I've got a sea theme is that your favorite theme yeah I don't is know it? why yeah it is I think it's because you there are so many different colors in in the ocean yeah um, whether it's by the creatures themselves 
And or, you know, the colour of the water with reflections. Did you know at night time the colours become extra vibrant mm. when you go night diving with a torch? So, Random I can do that way. So I've got the, the stamped image there. I can huff. Because all I'm doing is moisture. And I can see... From there, and I can get another generation. So if I do it again, um, if I really want a, a heavy water... So these could Effect. replace your ink pads if you like using watercolours and watercolours mm -hmm. only. Um, they just can working out where the electrics is, sorry. They can <laughs> replace your brushes because you can use them as a brush if you want to as well. We've got all these different techniques and effects that you can use, but what you are getting is that name of Eco Line, which is quality. It's artist. It's artist quality. And it does make a difference, doesn't it, Lou, mm. when you're using artist quality products. And what do we mean by artist quality? Well, the all the things that an artist or a professional artist wants in there, whether it's um, vibrancy, whether it's the fluidness of the colours and how they move and how they translate on the different papers, um, how you can blend them together, yeah. you know, what you can use them in. Um, for example, I mean, this is on the watercolour paper just as is. If we put them on top of gesso, um, it reacts in a different way because the gesso will allow the watercolour to... Um, be fluid a little bit longer. So th there's lots of different ways. We've got the um, Arabic gum on the, that. If you mix it in with the watercolours, makes the colour um, glossy and translucent, but gives you open playing time. So, so that's what we mean by artists. But there's all the things that artists wants to do. Yeah, you can do. Like you that. can do with I love them. What you've created. They could be bookmarks. <laughs> they could be tags. But that was that's just the oh, colour, and I've just spritzed it with water, and I've got three carrying on and that was just a stamping as in if I got my brush what's great about these with the one day special because it's at that discounted price 29.93 you're getting a selection of pens and you're also getting the paper as well you're good to go you can start recreating all of these effects that Lou's putting together at the moment let me tell you the colors that you're getting in the one day special I've just picked them up here You'll get, I'm not going to give you the exact names, but I'm going to give you roughly what they are. So you've got orange in there, red, you've got magenta, you've got a purple, you've got a blue, a lighter blue, like a turquoise, a green. Uh, you've got a golden colour, you've got the yellow and the black. So you've got a great array of colours to start with. Uh, a rainbow of colours, if you were. And you're also getting the blender pen as well. So I think that's a great starting point to give you a taster of artist quality paints that you can do exactly what Lou is doing right there. Don't forget you get your blender pen as well as that watercolour paper that you can also print on. Everything is running away <laughs> from me tonight. Janice, don't touch the pack shop. But I needed to because I needed to show you what colour pens you were getting at home. I don't have a pack. I do oh, have a do. pack That's behind full. me. I do have a pack behind me. There you go. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. They will be behind me all the time. Well, keep them open because you're going to need them. Am I? Mm. Oh, <laughs> Saturday night as well. <laughs> Not saying a word. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are we doing next, Lou? You've got a pack over there yes. and you've got a blender pen. Oh, have I? Okay. And I thought what we could do is... I've printed you out either your name yeah. or a saying. Okay. Um, oh, yes. To see a rainbow, you have to feel the rain. So I've done the... You, it's, so you can see where to go. It's a lighter, it's a darker grey. And we're going to go over it. And I thought, those pens haven't been used, neither has the blender pen. And it'd wow. be a great way to actually have a go. And the other one is your name. That's my name. Don't wear it out. <laughs> Which oh, we can't, can't read there. there you go. <laughs> I Janice. wanted to do them in a light grey scale, so when we put the colour on top, the yeah. grey didn't quite Ooh. stand out. So you've got the choice of either one that you are would like to now? work with. We are. Oh, excellent, if you fancy excellent. having a go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. I might do you want a mat to work on? Uh, do I need a mat to work it's on? It's up to you or is that table smooth enough? Uh, I think the table's pretty smooth. Okay. I think the table's pretty smooth. Well, I'm going to use, obviously, because I've got... I'm very greedy. You've got the whole set there, you lucky lady. So what the I thought we'd do collection. is we'd have a go oh, at... Oh, they look nice when you take them out of the packet. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. You go for it. 
So what I thought we'd do is we'd have a go using colouring in the letters and using the blender pen so people can get to see how to do the blender pen. So if you want to choose two colours, so I'm going to, I'm, as I've got them out, I'm going to do the yellow and the blue. So if I start, I've chosen the word rainbow and I'm just going to lay down a little bit of the blue there. Um, I'm going to go for, oh, I, I'm terrible at choosing. And then I'm going to put a little bit of the yellow. I'm not going to colour the whole letter in, I'm, I'm just going go, to do bits. Oh, I'm going to go for purple and orange, shall I? So what colour? Think about what? when they blend together whether you're going to get a, 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 a blendable colour yeah. or you're going to get mud. Am I putting them down on the side of the paper? No, you're putting no. them on top of one of the letters that you want to colour in. Oh, well, that would be an idea, would it not? So if okay. you want, to, if you see, like, you've got your R for your rainbow, yeah. if you want to put the purple down yes. at the top or the bottom, wherever. Oh, so I'm, am I doing the brush lettering or just do doing the brush the lettering? Really? Do you trust me? Yeah. I'm, I don't know whether I can do brush lettering, but I'll give it a go. <laughs> and I'm going to start with the lighter colour and I'm going to work into the blue and then I'm going to slowly bring the blue up. And I'm creating like green and then I'm going to bring the blue down into the, the yellow and then I'm going to create a green. So I'll start with purple at the top and then do the blue into the yellow and then I'm going to so I'm just patching the colour on, is that right, Lou? You can put the colour on, yeah. So if you stop and leave a gap and then take the blender, you can then blend your colour out and you can make it lighter or darker or turn it into another colour. So I've used blue and the yellow and I've made like a, um, a zebra, for want of a word, um, letter there. So I could do, let's do a little bit more of the yellow. I didn't leave a gap, so I'll leave a gap next time. That's where I've gone wrong. It doesn't matter. You can have some of the colours solid and some of the colours. So I could use the blender pen and I could make this now. So this, the blender pen is acting as if I had put a paintbrush into water and I'm diluting my colour. So it allows you to do that, but you have more control because you know that the water's not going to suddenly splurge out. Can I change my mind and use another colour? Of course you can. It's I your... Like this. So you can make things lighter, so I can pull the colour out. Oh, I didn't leave a gap again. Does it matter if I don't leave a gap? No. You can have solid colours. So I can do it that way. So suddenly I've made it lighter. So if I take, and the blender pen you can clean off or you can still keep the colour on there. I oh, could... Oh, looks good. If you're not oh. happy, you can... We've got Janice. I'm going to try, I'm going to try So harder. I'm going to put some colour on the side there and I'm going to pick the blender pen up and I'm just going to pick some of the colour up onto the blender pen yep. and I'm just going to and this now will make it go light straight away I won't have a dark bit I will be able to go light and really fine so I can pick colour up with the blender pen and have that lighter washed out looks straight from the start so if I do there so let's start it there so the top part will be a little bit darker and I can pull it down I'm trying to remember what word I printed then I remembered it what was the word rainbow oh. you did a whole I did you a whole one so I can use the blender pen so suddenly the blender pen can be used in a different way so I can clean off my pen and you can clean the ink off and even though your blender pen will become really quite grubby and dark on the end it still doesn't affect the no, way it, it works does it. So, oh sorry I'm dropping everything everywhere steady Eddie come I on. know steady Eddie so let's grab a little bit of the magenta and I'm going to use the blender pen and pull that color and then just it down on top so I can now take more color and layer on the with the blender pen just as you would do with a paintbrush yeah I can layer on the other color that I put on so I might put a bit more green up there. and I'm gonna pick up a bit more of the magenta by going through and then I can pull that down and make it lighter are there any not rules, but rules of thumb when it comes to mixing colours. It's Think of what you know about colours that mix. So, for example, the blue and the magenta there will make a soft violet colour. Okay. The yellow and the blue would make a green. 
Yes. A green and a yellow would make a yellow green. Right. Um, I can sing a rainbow, sing yeah, a rainbow, sing a red a rainbow and a too. yellow would make an orange. So it's, so it, it's um, that would work. So it's a way of doing your lettering. So I printed, this is out on the printer paper, so I printed a very faint outline for the pair of us. I'll just blend those colours and then I'll... I'm going to go for, let's go for... Oh, I've got so many choices. I like the blue-greens. Okay. Actually, no, I won't. Let's go for an orange for a change. Thank you. I can hear you saying orange, and I think, oh, let's go for an orange. These are beautiful to use. The flow so, and the intensity the, of the ink that's in there, oh, it's lovely. It is, and as I said, the blender pen is just acting... Um, Saying like a dry paintbrush doesn't sound right, but that, 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 that is what it is. Yeah. Um, and so you don't have the worry of, you know, have you got enough water on your brush? Have you got too much water on your brush? So it gives you, if you're new to, you know, a little bit more control. Also, you probably noticed as well, you hardly have to put any pressure at all. No. Um, to get the colour, you know, on, on there. Right, let's do that. I think I'm getting better as I go round. <laughs> so by the time you get to do your name, you'll be... Yeah. Sometimes I'm my own worst enemy and I just go too quick. I can't help it. I'm impatient. I read a book from the back. Well, I don't read. So I really shouldn't <laughs> use that as an example. <laughs> so we can do... So you can blend, you know, two or three colours together. As I did there, I did blue, yellow and blue yellow and then I got the green so even though the one day special has only got 10 pens in it with the blender pen and also the way the pens blend anyhow you, you've got a whole host of colors you have haven't you and even though when we look at the nib it looks like it's it's thick um, and you shouldn't be able to do delicate thin strokes but you can Sorry, I'm lost in my own little world here. I'm loving this. I think if somebody's blending for the first time, picking these up for the first time, Lou, mm. what would you suggest they do? What what two colours would you suggest people pick up for the very first time so they go, oh, I get it. Yellow and uh, blue. Yellow and blue to mix in yeah. with the green. Yeah. Um, it's, it's a colour we... You know, we know what the green are. And obviously... The, the more you pull the blue through the yellow, yeah. the lighter the green is going to be, or the more yellow green does. And it brings all those colour families in. I like the orange and the yellow that you're using now, Lou. That looks great. That is the carmine, I believe. Or I'm just sort of going for all sorts of different colours. But then I'm just going over the green now, and, I, and it's making like a brown. I, this is where I go wrong. Sometimes it'll just end up a fudgy colour because I'm not really mixing the right colours together. But then have a look at the, the colours as you're talking about being fudgy. And you've got a yellow in there. Could you add a touch of yellow? Yeah. So you could scribble yellow onto your mat and yes. pick it up with the blender pen and just go lightly over the top. And to, to change, and change it to make it, it yeah. lighter. Oh, yeah. OK. So I'll let's try that. I'll put pick. it on my pad. Um, I'm going to go for really dark. Pick that up. Oh yeah, and just add that. And then you don't have to you don't have to put much, or you can put a little bit on the um, on one edge and blend it in. Mm. We could still do the water trick that we did before, and you could put you could um, you know put a little bit of water on it. Yes. So now that I've got the indigo blue here, and when I put it in the orange colour, it creates a different sort of green, a really depth to it. So, and the more you pull the blender pen through the colour that you've laid down, the, the deeper the wash will be that you pull out. So if you're only going to go from the very edges, it will go very light very, very quickly. This is absolutely fantastic fun. And having the blender tool included with you on day special, it gives you that you just think instantly, right, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to sit down, I'm going to have a play, I'm going to get the colours together. And you've got the tools and the rich, vibrant colours that are included. Oh, yours looks fantastic, Lou. <laughs> the, and then 
it, putting the colour on the blender pen changes it. But then, the thing is, I'm, I, I'm used to using the pens to blend with, if that makes, you know, and laying colour on top. Whereas this is the first time I've given you the pens. So you're, get, you're if anything, looking at the, the richness of the colour yes. more than yeah. the blend. I certainly am. Oh, I could do this all night, but I really ought to do some yeah. work. <laughs> so we could carry um, on. Let me just do this. <laughs> It's like you know, it's like when you're a kid, you go, just let me one more, one more, just let, let me watch one more. Let me no, let me just one more, one more, one more. <laughs> no, no. Just, what colour just, haven't I used? I haven't really used just, a purple. Just, just, can I just do one, one more, one more, just one more, one more, <laughs> one more. I know, I know, I know. Are you okay? Okay. Oh, <laughs> I'll bring my rainbow over. First attempt. First attempt. A little bit muddy in places, but I just Ooh. went for it. That looks good. And then this. <laughs> What's behind me? Okay. All right. Little panic there. I thought something was in the background behind me. Um, but oh. I'll carry on. I'll carry on. Um, otherwise, I'd be straight out the door, leaving Lou to continue. But let's talk about your one day special. Right, your one day special includes your paper, it includes your pens, those beautiful gorgeous brush pens. I've just been using them, they're absolutely incredible. Uh, first time using it, look at this, first time and I've blended those, a little bit muddy in areas but you know what, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And as it dries, I actually really like it. I could perhaps do some um, splatter effect on that, Lou. I'd get a black pen and maybe do a bit of splattering around. Or you maybe. could, um, with a mister, lightly spray a little bit, but so it would start to run a little bit as well. I like that idea. I like that idea even better. You see all the different things that you can do with your brush pens. You've got your blender pen there um, to use and to have so many different techniques with. £29.93. pence. Everything's on extended delivery by the way, which means we're going to be dispatching on the 20th of October. Oh my goodness, the more I look at what I've just done, when I first did it I was like, oh no, but now I like it even more. Oh, you're going to love these pens when you get them home. Uh, £29.93. pence. Saving £15 with your one day special. Oh, I'm really chuffed with that. I was a bit worried there, but I'm, I'm well chuffed. I'm well chuffed with my rainbow. Uh, right, and that's my first time using these pens. Now, if you want all the colours of the rainbow, of all the rainbows in the world, go for the full set. This is 60 pens for you. Let's put these together and show you. Those beautiful colours, a whole array of colours for you. I'll show you the colour swatch that you're getting. But in there you've got your primary colours, you've got your beautiful autumnal colours, your skin tone colours in there as well, your green grass, your sea colours. Wow, that is an amazing deal. Now we do know it's a considerable purchase. I don't know what that was, probably my dinner come back. Uh, so we'll divide the cost for you. Yes, we will divide it into three payments, £34.33. and pence. Now, this means you will get the whole collection sent out to you, but we'll just divide the cost into three months. So you don't have to wait another month to get the next set of pens are all coming out to you with all of these beautiful colours. Uh, one... Uh, 585022 is your item number and in that particular set you get your blending brush so that is a marvellous deal uh, and then you can start creating fantastic designs just like this using the pens just like the fox as well let me show you that isn't that gorgeous or creating a rainbow there you go I'm so chuffed with that Lou I really am oh thanks for letting me do that the name there that you can uh have a play with. Oh, you? I could do my name as a rainbow. I love that. <laughs> yeah, we've still got time. Um, if you do want to get hold of these two pen sets together, it's a great price because we'll divide the cost into three monthly payments. Right, so we're heading back to Lou for some more demonstrations. I just quickly said, there's the my rainbow. Now, what we've got is we've got the stardust, not the stardust, the metallics. You could pick out the relevant colour and just take the shadow area yeah. and go along there and you could add the metallics with it. So, the different ways of actually using them. So, let's move that out of the way. Now, what I thought we'd do is, we'd do lots of things that they're printing, but we'd have a go at using the printer paper as a background. So, I've just okay. grabbed some pens. And I'm going to put them this side because then they won't roll so far. And I want to just start 
in the, the middle here. And I'm just going for a, like a loose sort of background. Do that like that, and I want to add a little bit of the, the red. I'm just colouring away and in you, the background that's here, fine. Lee. You just you <laughs> keep going. So, and then I just want to blend it out, and I, I'm not worried about the lines being there. Yeah. And I just want to. Now, I'm wasting all that ink on my tissue there, but I could have put that in a journal. But so I'm just creating a bit of a background. Let's see. So, so I'm going to be like, yeah, there. So let's see. What else colour should we add? Let's add a little bit of the orange. Now, you can put your colours on top of your wet, but I wouldn't leave them there for a long period of time because all that's going to happen is the water will go up and it will just dilute the colour slightly. It will... Um, blend out again, but it seems a shame to to do that. So you could dip it in a little bit of water. So we can do that way, and then I would like a little bit of the blue because I want to add a little bit more of the colour. I'm going to blend it out a little bit more. Isn't this great when a presenter is just playing in the background <laughs> and just keeps quiet low? I think you love it. It's, it's not, I think it's, for me as a, a demonstrator, what is nice is that you have actually not used the pens before. No. And I think, I, I know sometimes for people watching in, it it might not appear, but I, I think as a demonstrator, I think that holds a great s sway because it shows how easy the pens, you know, are... To use. To use. Yeah. Sorry, I was in the midst, like, thinking, what colour am I going to do next? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I'm just going to add a little bit of the, the purple now. So what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to create um, a really, really bright night sky. And yep. I'm just trying to keep the yellow as my centre point. And I'm trying to avoid using black, but I might grab a grey just to see greys are fantastic um, you know when you don't want to use a black because they'll add that contrast or that depth to it yeah. without it being because black if you use too much black you can you know it, it's black there's very little you can do then I want a dark blue let's do a little bit of the indigo as well I'm going to do it that way and I'm just gonna pull that there and said, I'm not worried about the lines. The lines are done deliberately because I want it to look like, you know that when you sometimes you see the colour of the clouds going across a sky yeah. or you look up. Oh, and that's, look at that. And that's the effect I'm going for. Across it. And I want to, and I'm using a lot of water on here because, as I said, watercolour card will buckle as well as paper here while we've got so much water on it. But once it's dry, it goes flat. So it's, it's, you know, to prove that this paper, whether you put it through your printer or not, will work for all your other different techniques. So I'm just going to finish off the last one, and then I just want to do one more thing, but I, and I have a dried one. So I'm just going to blend that out. Now I would probably go back and add a little bit more of the, the cyan blue in there. And let's put a little bit across there and build it up. Now what I have got here, because I want to, we, now we can put water droplets on here and the water droplets will act as like little stars, but I've just got some salt which is another technique. Yes, salt. So I'm just going to put some salt around. Now, because I'm trying to make this look like a sky theme, it's a quick way of adding, once it's dry, um, stars into the background. So I'm just going to lift that up very carefully and put it on top of the mat there. So what does the salt do? It dissolves the, the paint, the dye underneath. So let's just clean that bit up. So when it's dry it'll look something like this. I'm just going to rub the salt off. 
So we'll actually have the background. Oh yeah, I love that. It's like a Petri dish, isn't it? Yeah. So the salt now has taken away. But where the salt has gone with the purple and the blue, I've got the pink underneath. So it, it's like it breaks the colours down to their their rawest form as well. So that's my background. And I thought what would be nice is to um, stamp on it to show that, the, you know, the card and everything can be used with stamps as well as... So if you want to use, you know, traditional card making or backgrounds, you can do. So I've got this wonderful stamp set here and I want to use it to create a frame. So I'm trying to pull them off delicately. That won't last long without being horrible. So so let's just ink this up. So I'm just going to go for a nice black because I want the black to be a really strong contrast against the two. But what I am going to do is because the mat is wobbling, so I'm just going to get my rather grubby stamp mat. And just put a little bit more on there. And I just want to add like the silhouettes of these branches all the way around. So I've got that in the corner there. That, oh, do you know what? That changes it completely, doesn't it, when you put that stamp on? It is, and this background is similar to the one that I've got over there that's got the stars on. Um, and it's a similar way of doing it. So now, so this is actually a tree, but if you look at the tree, it can easily be a branch or it can be, you know, whatever you want it to be. I've got that there. So it, it's a bit like those, um, you know, woodland hollows when you look in yes. to the night sky. So we'll do that there. And I think we'll do one or two more. We'll have that one there. We've got less than 10 minutes on the show, just to let you guys know at home, so you can get your orders in. You can, of course, check out after the show if you want to. Um, oh, sorry, is it me? <laughs> sorry. So I'm just busy making some flowers here. Um, you can check out, of course, after the show if you want to. But it's a good idea when you've got them in your basket uh, not to miss out, to make sure you check out. If items are in your basket for longer than 10 minutes, uh, they can actually just pop out of your basket. Sorry, I'm just... Can you sit, can I do that? No, you carry on, you doing. Do I'm just here, just making little flowers. So I've just put the colours on oh, top like of that the colours. Oh, Yeah. So all the colours are just sort of like blending in and going into each other. Oh, if you blasted that and let it dry, mm. the metallics as little dots in the centre would look really nice. It would, wouldn't it? Like okay. That. What sentiment we've got? Time amongst the trees is never wasted. We could have that there. Or we could have... We are all branches of the same tree. Oh, we're all branches of the same okay. tree. Yeah. I love this set. It's from it's the Big Crafty set, one of their botanicals ones. Right, so we can do that. So. Yeah. So this is just to show that you can create all your backgrounds if that's what you want to do. You can stamp on it. You can do, like, the salt technique. So there we go. Now what I would do is, once this is dried off a little bit more, I'd probably go around with a white pen yeah. and just highlight some of the words and add some definition, just some little shadows to the tree. But that was just to show, you know, how you can create a background, bring your stamping in, and it all works, you know, together that way as well. That looks fantastic. Uh, carry on with the demos, Lou, because I'm having lots of fun back here. Okay, I'll um, carry on. You've got six minutes, so you carry on. And um, right. I'll just stand I'll here. I'll put them and... over there. Yeah. Okay, let's Ooh. move that out of the way. Right, now, we were talking about when we were doing our backgrounds earlier. Let's grab, take my stamps out of the way. Now, what I did started off with is I've made a background like this, and it's using all the different pens that we've got around. And I'm just going to do one or two more because I have got one finished. Let's go for that one. I'm just going to go down this way and think about how I want it to be. And I want a really loose wash effect with it. And you can make some lovely wash effects because of the of, of how the 
the ink just flows. Oh, I'm it, calling it ink. Is that right? It's a it's a dye based a ink. Dye based yes. Ink. Yeah. So you're not wrong. No. Um, and I think if you know having it in the pen form, but the colours we've got in the bottles as well are the intensity you see with the brush pens is the same intensity you're going to get from the liquid bottles as well. So I'm just going to do there and. So, I'm, as you can see, I'm going for another sea theme. <laughs> I right. will step away from the sea themes. You love your sea themes. I it's do. It's fine. And I'm really... I'm keeping this um, as wet and as blotchy as possible because I want... I'm just building up a stylized water background. It's a great way, this sort of thing as well, um, is a great way if you colour swatching. I mean, I do love a colour swatch, as you know, so this is a great way of doing it. Now, we've got a really cool colour here, so let's just add that bit there. And this is one of, like, the blue-green colours. I'm going to do that. Let's add a little bit more water. <laughs> He's still busy colouring in the background. I though. am. Sorry. This, I, I Have you stop. got a favourite colour? Um... No, I think I like all of them because they flow so well. And the black, jet black, it's gorgeous. It is. It's very intense, it's isn't it? Sort of some thing. Some poppies. So when the, the black would be fantastic. You know when we were doing the stamping before? Yeah. That would work perfectly. So I'm going to just do one more, and then I'll. I've got one already uh, we've done. Got three minutes left. Okay. Just to give you a little time check. <laughs> you don't mind that, do you, Lou? No. It's gone very quick. It has. It's gone incredibly quick. So, there we go. Now, I, I could have easily done this with um, the blend pen if that's what I want to do. So, I would carry on right to the end. But one thing I do want to do is I'm just going to add a few spots of my dirty water. Like so. And then I'm just going to blot it away. And that will create some extra bubbles in my background. So I could add, you know, more and there. So I'd let that dry. And when it dries, it looks something like that. So let's move that over there. Or so I can, you can have it that way around. You could have it whichever way, you know, you want to. So it's exactly like that. Now, what I did do, because this is on the printer paper and needs to be 100% dry, was I took a sentiment and it was like be like the sea wild and free and I actually put this through my printer and printed the sentiment on the top which resulted in me ending up once I finished it all with something like that so I actually put the gray scale so that was my background I had to let it be a hundred percent dry before I could put it through my printer and put the sentiment on top and then I've actually used the black as you were saying because the intensity of the black and I've actually wow. then put my wording on top. So your printer paper will go back through, but you must make sure it's 100% dry to do it. And then I can take from there, so where I had my um, little jellyfish, for example, yeah. I can actually carry on. And I've got a little indigo. Let's lightly miss that. And I can actually start if I wanted to you know well I am going to so I can start adding some of my little stamped creatures in so I'll do one more and we could carry on building from there so it could take a change so I'm just being mindful of where the electrics are yes which is not actually normally me I'm not normally it's normally after the event so I've got that there that's so we've got that one. What else did I do with the stamps have I got? Oh, we've got one minute left on the show, Lou. As you're finishing off, because it's nice to finish with the demo, can we just express to people at home the advantage of buying these artist quality pens? Um, they're artist quality, but it doesn't mean, you know, you've got to think, well, I'm not an artist, therefore I can't use them. They're designed that any ability can use them and take them as far as they want. So if you just want to do basic but simple backgrounds like this and splash some water, 
cool. You can still get really cool, vibrant. I mean, that was just laying down some colour and just doing it diagonally, adding salt. So you can do all of that. It totally changes. But if you do want to take it to the next level, you've got all the dye-based yeah. pigments. You've got all the different techniques that you can add to Lou, do so. it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for allowing me to play. <laughs> no. You're back tomorrow, 8 a.m., so look forward to that. Stay where you are, everyone, because it's all about the cows. It's coming up next. I include myself in that. Uh, Saturday night deal wheel is up next. Yes, what would the deal be? Uh, Eco Line One Day Special is back after that, and we're taking a sneaky peek at Pink Frog Crafts. Did you know you can watch Ochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the Added Channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Paul Church from Clarity Stamp. I've been fortunate enough to turn my hobby into a career and join Clarity Stamp in January 2016. My background has always been in crafting and I enjoy making things and sharing things. That's what crafting is all about for me, making things and sharing with others and also learning all the time. At Clarity Stamp we bring you a wide range of products from stamps, stencils, groovy and Percomano. And the great thing about that is that it covers crafters from all different aspects. So whether you're into stamping, stenciling, parchment craft, we've got it covered at Clarity Stamp. So I hope you can tune in and join the Clarity team on Hochanda. Hi, we're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina. This is Josie. And this is my dad, Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. So three years ago, we decided to embark on turning our own designs into polymer stamps. We're really excited about where this is going to take us in the future and how we can evolve those designs and keep bringing you something that's just so, so different. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection and this was down to Josie using her iPad and hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. So make sure you don't miss the Daisy V shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board.
On the Atramda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Achanda. Good evening everyone, welcome to the Deal Wheel. Have you noticed I'm wearing a new jumper today? No one has. Anyway, on the deal wheel, we're going to spin the wheel to get you a deal. It could be 10% off. It could be discounts on £25 or more. Let's face it, it's all to do with me spinning it, so who knows what's going to happen. But I'm going to try and get the very best deal for you. I'll try. So, let's go for it and start the show and spin the wheel. I've got a multitask. Let's roll it. Okay, right, here's the wheel. I've got to spin it. I know. Right, £5 off, £25 or more, 10% off. You could get free P&P. &P. Now, we are on Facebook Live tonight, so hello to you guys on Facebook Live and hello to everyone that's not on Facebook Live. But I want you to will at the screen what you want. And then I shall channel that and hopefully in the arm will spin what you would like. So, £5 off £25 or more? Good deal. Freedom discounts? Plenty of you are Freedom members, so that could be the one. Free standard P&P, would that be good for you tonight? It's a strong one. Or 10% off. Right, are you willing? Don't strain, don't strain, especially at this time of night. Right, are you, should I give it a hard spin, a soft spin? A medium spin. Off we go. Where it stops, no one knows. I'm really excited about this. The lights should be flashing behind me to give you that sensation of what's going on. Come on. Here we go. Five pounds off, 25 more. Free standard PP, 10% off. Every week we get this, but that's fantastic. Five pounds off, 25 pounds or more, which is a great deal because we have got some amazing items for you. So you can start stacking up your baskets. So when you go to checkout, use promo code DEAL5. Use promo code DEAL5 and then you will get uh, that particular deal for you. Uh, it's a great way to buy from us here at Hochanda. Remember, if you are a Freedom member, then you won't be paying any postage or packaging. How much fun is that? I'll tell you something else that's fun as well. We have got on the show lots of pictures of cows. I know, it's Saturday night. And they've all been drawn by our lovely presenters. And you guys at home need to guess which presenter drew which cow. And that's as simple and as easy as that. Now, we have got a collection of cardstock for you here. I'm just gonna have a look at these because these are great, already scored for you already scored for you so you can see just simply fold that in half and off you go you can start making and creating we've got some gorgeous paper here for your watercolors and your inks so it's got some gorgeous textured white in there we do have some brown craft paper now these are nice aren't they especially when you start layering up your colors so if i were to take this and just fold this in half those two colors See, don't they look fantastic? Those two colours look fantastic. Uh, so you've got your craft card in there. You've also got your different size craft card, which is in there, which is great. Uh, 370 pieces in total, just 12 99 Now, because you get a discount off £25 or more, you get £5 off that. So I'm making a right cow's udder of this, aren't I? Um... You've got different sizes. Right, now I'm organised, now I'm organised. Right, let's break this down. 370 pieces for 12 99 It's just over three pence a sheet. Just over three pence a sheet. I'm not doing too well here, am I? Here we go, here we go. Right, 
this is a great opportunity for you at home to get the card. It's all pre-scored and you've got your different sizes as well. So they're card blanks. It's whole collection for you. Different GSMs and different colours as well. So if you're into batch making, maybe you've got some Christmas cards. Now, if you've got, I think, a white piece of paper, you could tear around the edges on that and then be, maybe just put one stamp or a sentiment in there. There's a cute little card for you. Or maybe you are a doodlist. Is that a word? I've just made it up. If you are a doodlist, like a little bit of a doodle and not just on a Saturday night then you can place that on to your smaller card if you want to but there are different sizes in here we've also got the larger card which is cream which is brilliant I'll just fold that in half so they are all pre-scored now these could work as you're outside your your inside into your cards now as we are live on Facebook if you want to give us a shout out say hello just put hello uh, and let us know where you're viewing from and I tell you what shall we show our first cow let's show the first cow <clears throat> who drew a cow like that which presenter when asked to draw a cow, the original story, I was going to get them all to draw me, but then I thought, hmm, draw a cow instead. <laughs> uh, so there is your first picture. Which presenter drew that cow? Maybe there's a little bit of that presenter in that drawing. They do say that, don't they? Uh, so who drew that cow? Get your answers in. It's just for fun on Facebook Live. You can email in as well if you want, studio at hochanda.com. Or you can just shout very loud at the TV. You can do whatever you like. Or just have a discussion between yourselves. But who drew a cow like that? That's the first cow. And you've got to guess the presenter. But in the meantime, if you want to pop these into your basket, 273602. Sarah John says hello. Hello to you, Sarah John. She's watching in Lancashire. Is it wet up north today? I wonder, where else are you watching from? Where else are you watching from? Uh, great collection, though, all ready for you to go and make and create. So it could be a card for Christmas. It could be a card for a special occasion. It could be birthday cards. Maybe you're just getting into stamping, and this is a great way to do that. If you're not making cards, just get the paper and cut it in two. You've got two, what's that, A6 sizes, if you were to cut that into two, and that could be for your watercolouring. And then you could pop them in frames if you want to, so it's a great idea to stock up. It's a great price, normally £40.99 for 370 pieces, not tonight, just £12.99. Now, Sarah John says it's wet and windy in Lancashire. It's wet and windy here as well. It's wet and windy all over the Ockey, isn't it? All the leaves are coming down, but it looks beautiful outside if you can see through the mist and the rain. This is the deal wheel, and you do have a deal on the wheel tonight. Uh, you receive £5 off £25 or more during the show. So if your basket is £25, it's only going to cost you £20. You do need to use deal five. You do need to quote that at checkout. You'll be able to do that on the website, or if you give us a call. Just tell our call centre that it is deal five. Deal five. And then you get five pounds off. You know what? It's a great way to stock up because we've got many items on the show. We've got some Zutter coming up on the show. Uh, we've got some Zutter binders and we've also got some uh, Zutter covers as well coming up. So you might want to wait for them. Now, templates. Templates are very, very popular, aren't they? Uh, instead of buying dies, you can have templates. And with those templates, you cut around the card to build and create your cards. Now, this one, you've got, if I show you that to the side, can you see there? So you could use this template and then you can cut out those gorgeous little piper boys, piper girls, trumpet playing angels. Um, and you could, you could make a card like that so that they stand proud, da, 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 which is great. Uh, if you actually, if you did take the trumpets off that and that, those could be the wings and they could be kneeling, maybe. Oh, that's a good idea. It's a good idea. Um, so we've got lots of different templates. Those are your angels. Uh, kinky boots, kinky boots. Look at that. I bought some boots yesterday. They were nothing like that. Let's put it that way. Uh, we've. Also, I did not buy any kinky boots. Uh, I bought some sensible boots for walking in the winter. Uh, and these are like sensible shoes, aren't they? So there's a shoe template. Not for making shoes, but if you wanted to make fabric shoes for a dollar or a teddy bear, I would think that would be absolutely perfect for you to do so. And there you go, it all falls down. Ah, that was sold by the Thompson Twins. This is where we all fall down. Right, let's poke that one out, poke that one out. There's your Christmas trees. 
So that could make a really nice 3D card if you want to go for that. We've got love hearts, so templates for love hearts. Just draw around them, ink around them actually. You don't just have to draw around them. If you've got a pokey tool, pop that onto a piece of paper and you could spray around it, you could ink around it and then you've got your love heart templates. We've got different uh, sizes of the love hearts as well. But you've also got, let me show you here, um, this, which is a card but you have to cut round there, cut round there, and then you join it together, and that could be a card. And then you could pop that out, and you'll have a squiggle. There you are, let me get that out. There you go. I'm not breaking it. No, you can take that out. You can take that out. Uh, and there is your squiggle. So those are your templates. Very useful, don't you think? £13.99. pence. tell you something else useful. A cow. Which presenter drew this cow? Now, we've had some guesses in. Jane says Adam. That's a good guess, actually. Could be Adam. Uh, one pint, please. Well, they're very demanding, whoever they are, and they're very precise. Uh, Dave says Catherine. Um, so we've had two guesses. Someone's guessing Janice. Um, oh, and Janice from Miami in Florida has said hello. Hello, Janice in Florida. Hello. Um, oh, and Simon from Pearly Wings, he's watching too. So, guys, guess which presenter drew this cow? Let's have a look at the clues. They're utterly cool, quite clearly. They're very demanding because they want one pint, please, even though they've got three areas to put there, they only want one pint. And then you've got the moo, so they're talking, so maybe they are an acting cow. Maybe, maybe. Um, and then they've got, well, they've got the grass underneath. and even got the hills in the background so attention to detail with this one attention to detail can you guess which presenter drew that we shall reveal when we go to our next item six eight four six zero seven is your item number if you want to go for the ten plates it's great to have your company this evening and did you know when you buy items that come to 20 pounds or or 25 pounds or more you get five pounds off that's what the deal wheel is all about yes it is it's all about that and it's all about cows tonight it's all about cows oh let me, oh we can bring the picture up so the results i am here i'm here wait oh do you know what you do you do that three times you can't get up the third time right which presenter drew that cow do you want to know the answer the answer is scott Scott drew that picture, so congratulations. No one got that right, actually. Um, although our direct, was it uh, yeah, Chris uh, thought it might be Scott. There you go. So there he is. Oh, he's lovely. I haven't seen Scott for ages. Well, I saw him the other week, but it's not it's too long ago. It's not enough. It's not enough. I want to see Scott more. You can never see him enough. Uh, oh, he's fantastic. So that was his cow. Uh, we do have another cow for you. Well, another drawing of a cow drawn by a presenter. Uh, right, so I think you've got to think about this. Think about the characters of the presenter, okay? Who drew a cow like this? Who drew this cow? Well, it's got the udders sticking its tongue out. Could be a little bit cheeky. Could be a little bit cheeky. Uh, moo coming from the ear roll. From the ear. So you've got Moo, you've got a little tail there as well. Cheeky little cow oh, is the picture. <laughs> it's cheeky and it's a cow. Uh, send in your guesses. Send in your guesses. Who drew a cow like that? Who drew a cow like that? Right, let's take a look at our next item. Uh, colorific is superific. Yes, it is. Uh, this is a princess carriage. Our lovely producer uh, loves this one. I wonder why, because we've got the gorgeous horse just there. We've got the star trail, the larger stars. We've got the little one there. We've got the crown, and then we've got the carriage. Now these are stamps, let me show you this, good sizeable stamps as well and they're clear polymer so you can see there, um, well you can see that you can see through them 
but my point being you've got great size to your stamps and with all of the designs that you've got on there well, there's so many different ways you can use them so many different ways you could create that horse and carriage maybe you know a princess whose birthday it is or you could use them separately if you want to you could have the carriage on its own you could have the horse on its own you could sketch onto the horse a little horn and it could be a unicorn mm, you could use a crown on its own if you want to so maybe you know someone that's getting married for example the carriage and the horse would be a really nice stamped image on a card for somebody getting married or maybe their table placements £9.99, saving £3. It's a great price. It's a great collection of stamps. 663245. Now we've had some cow guesses. Uh, let's have a look at the picture again. Brian thinks it's Adam. Brian thinks this cheeky is um, Adam. Uh, someone said Scott, but we've had Scott's cow. This is someone else's. Which presenter drew this cow? And at no point were we saying become an artist. I just said, draw me a cow, and they did it very quickly, but it always reveals a little bit about the person. So, tongue sticking out, a little bit cheeky. Got the udder there, so attention to detail. Well, not everybody drew an udder on their cow. Not everyone's included an udder. Not everyone's been utterly cool with their cows. Um, so, maybe attention to detail and a little bit cheeky. A little bit cheeky. Right, talking of cheeky, it's a cheeky deal for you. Uh, you've got 80 sheets, 300 GSM. You've got black and white collection for you from Jelly Bean Crafts. And they're all A4 assorted. And you've got eight different designs. Let's have a look at them. Well, wow. you've got the uh, spotty. Wow, there's a lot of spots in here. So those are your smaller spots. You've also got your dark, that's your white spots on black, as you can see. And then you've got your, oh, look at that. You've got, that's making my eyes go funny. You've got your grey and your um, black dots. This is going to make our cameras go really all over the place. And then we've got the uh, stripes. Now, remember, if you're going for anything in the show, the deal on the show is five pounds off 25 pounds or more we spun the wheel at the top of the show it's remained like that five pounds off 25 pounds or more and all you have to do is quote deal five so add items to your basket we know that this particular one is 13.99 for example you'll have to go for something else and when that gets added to your basket if it's over 25 pounds you're saving five pounds so it's a great deal it really is it really really is so you've got your stripe in there you've also got your Country gingham, um, that's in the diagonal check. You've also got the straight check there, the stripes. Oh, I'll tell you something, this will make you go funny at home. Hang on a minute. It's one of those like 3D effects. Look at that. Whew. Wow, is that stairs going up? Is that stairs going down? Let me just turn that. Oh, that, oh look at that, there's an effect for you. Uh, Sorry, you weren't seeing that on close-up. I was just doing that. Sorry. <laughs> Don't know. Let's not do that because it will send the cameras crazy. You just saw me going, oh, wow, wow. Uh, right, so uh, not the best to, t for, to show you on TV, but you can see around here we've got some great samples of how you can use that card against a black background. It makes it pop, doesn't it, which looks brilliant. You could use it here in the background for a masculine-style card, which is excellent. You could use your inks here and colour them up. It doesn't have to be black and white. And then that really nice dotty in the background. So it's not about using them uh, as the whole of the background. It could use it as a feature piece. Uh, £13.99, 067133. We've had some more guesses. We've had some more guesses. Sarah John thinks Yanis drew this cow. Peter thinks it was Mrs. Scott, which we think is Fiona. Um, have you had any other guesses? Which presenter drew that cow? Shall we do the reveal on this one? Because we've got quite a few more cows to get through. A whole herd of them, actually. This cow was drawn by no other than our lovely, gorgeous Hayley. Yes! Hayley West drew that cow. There she is. There she is. Oh, thanks, Hayley. Good sport. Love that. Uh, more cows coming up. Pictures of.
that is where am i over to the next one um i've got a whole host of cows here for you a whole host for you oh where's that other little cow gone hang on a moment have a look at this that i've got on the counter down i pop oh there it is i don't want to lose that one i'll show that one next i'll show no i'll show that one next sorry talk amongst yourselves uh, right, it is riveting television. Uh, I tell you what, it's riveting. This deal, this deal, nineteen ninety nine, but the saving is twelve pounds. Now, if you are totally bonkers for Zutter, if you are an utter Zutter nutter, uh, then this is the place to get it because you're getting great discounts. One zero eight four two zero is your item number. You have got your binders. Yeah. So you've got your binders here. In oh, turn that the right way around. So you've got your different size binders. You've got your one inch and you've also, is that one inch as well? I think it is. I think it is. Um, so you've got your blue and you've got your silver binding. You've also got your cream and black card. So you've got your three quarter inch in blue. You've got six of those. You've got six of your one inch binders. They're in silver or silver colour. You've got 25 cream and 25 black 8x8 eight eight cards as well that are here and they are 220 GSM. 220 GSM. £19.99. Saving £12 on this deal. It's a great buy, it really is. Even if you wanted to divide it up and sell them yourselves, you can do. Um, Take advantage of this deal with something else. And remember, if you're buying anything over £25 or more, you'll get £5 off if you quote deal 5108420. Welcome to the deal, Will. It's Saturday night. How are you this Saturday night? Are you in the mood for a guessing game? Right. I asked our presenters to draw a cow. You need to guess who drew a cow like that. Who drew a cow I like that. It's quite classic of this presenter. You've got that cute little face sitting all nice and neatly, being very, very good. You've got that little expression and you've got the flowers at each side. And I hope you've noticed that the cow is sitting, composing itself, just hiding its udders from view. That's all I'll say. Guess who drew a cow like that? Pop your answers on Facebook. Email in studio at hochandler.com. I'd love to hear from you what you've been up to today. Um, you know, if you've been up to anything arty, then send your pictures in. Why do we ask you to send your pictures in? Well, it's all about being inclusive. It's all about you being part of our show. And you know what? Some people get a kick out of seeing their picture on TV. It's not a picture of themselves. They're not allowed to show pictures of you guys. That will take too long in the process of getting permission. But it's really nice to share your artwork and projects that you've been working on. It just means that we're here for you and you're here for us. Right, let's take a look at our next deal. 124504 is your item number, £19.99. Again, we've got a whole plethora of Zutter goodies for you. Now... If you're thinking, well, what is Zutter all about? It's about building your own journals. It's about building your own memory books. It's all about building your own albums as well. Let me turn this around to give you an idea of what you can do with your Zutter boards. Now, if you wanted to, you could just paint on these. You don't have to use them to build and create albums. No, 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 no. I've used, I've used Zutter boards in the past for doing little mini pieces of artwork because what you'll see, if I show you that one, what you'll see, you've got that lovely texture on there. So if you wanted to paint on there with your acrylic paints, you see that? That is going to be a great canvas for you to work with. Or you could work with your pastes on there as well. So by all means, build and create your albums and your journals. But you could also use these for little mini pieces of artwork. So size-wise, you've got variants of size. You've got your 4 by 4 You've got your 5x7, you've got your 8x8, you've got your 8x10 as well. And I think that's your 8x10 at the top, yes. So you've got all of those sizes to work with. And how you work with them is going to be entirely up to you. You might want to put a cow like this onto one of your pieces of artwork. Who drew that cow? Nice and composed, cute little face, flowers. 
Now, Sarah John thinks Leone drew this cow. Simon thinks Leone drew this cow. Adam thinks Paula drew this cow. Peter thinks it's Catherine. Um, and then we'll do a reveal in a moment's time. Keep thinking on that. Uh, right, we've got some Coats Moon thread for you if you're in the market for this. Excellent quality thread. And we have got 10 spools and there's a thousand yards on each. My word. That works out to be 10,000 yards. 10,000 yards. That's amazing, everyone. That is absolutely in. Incredible. Eleven ninety nine, saving nine pounds on that deal. By the way, you can have as many of these as you like. The prices will stay at this price for this hour and this hour only, going up at the top of the hour. And if you spend over twenty five pounds, well, you get a fiver off. It's a great deal. Oh, look at this! Oh, I wanted. Do we not have this in the studio? Oh, I wanted to cuddle this. Right, you're getting a metre piece, it's 100% polyester, and it's 60 inches wide. This is the blue jelly bears, you've got pink jelly bears, you've got ABC, you've got rainbow stripes. So that's your pink jelly bear. There's your, I like ABC, I like ABC. And then you've got your rainbow stripes, which is gorgeous. You could make some cushions out of that, you could make a nice little scarf, some mittens, for example. A nice little chest warmer for the winter. 348 700. 348 700. Right. Thank you for that. Uh, who drew? <laughs> Who drew this cow? Who drew this cow? I can reveal the person that drew this cow is our Catherine. And here she is drawing the cow. Look at her smiling as she's drawing the cow. That's how happy Catherine is when she draws. She's happy all the time, but when she draws, she's even happier. There you go. That's our Catherine's cow. We've got more for you. We have. It's a guessing game. It's something to do with a Saturday night. Who drew a cow like this? I do have another one for you, but let me tell you about this deal. 273602 is your item number. Uh, £12.99, you're saving £28. So normally, to get all of this together, £40.99. We have got pre-scored card blanks. They're pre-scored, you fold them, and off you go. So you've got the wonderful craft card. Love craft card. Uh, especially if you're using your Posca pens on there. So you've got your two sizes, you've got your two sizes. All in all, you've got 370 pieces. Think about Christmas cards, think about birthday cards, think about invitations when we can start inviting people. Uh, we are very, very busy for this bundle. Now, let me get the craft card and place that cream card inside. You could do that. You could do that, so you have the inner part to that if you want to. So you're now starting to build up your fancy layers. In fact, if you want, let's do this. Here we go. If you want to put a couple in there, let me get another one. Let me get another one, because I've got an idea. Bear with, bear with. Here we go. There's another one. What I'm doing now is building up a little book. That could be a little journal. So you've got your craft card, your cream card. You could start to build up. And then it's really easy to bind because all you need to do is get a little bit of twine around there or an elastic band even, you know, um, and you can build and create your own little journals. You could do that or you could use them as cards. You could do that or you could do them with cards. So that's your craft card and your cream card. We're getting really busy for this now. 273602 is your item number. I don't want any one of you to miss out on this. Now, here's the thing. 12.99 and 12.99. That's just under 25 pounds. If you wanted to go for this twice, you can do. You can. Um, and then add something else, and it'll be just over £25, something else on the show. And then you get a fiver off. Uh, we've got different size cards in here, and we've got different coloured cards as well. This is a nice colour, isn't it? How gorgeous is that? And all pre-scored. Fantastic. Twelve ninety nine gets you 370 pieces. Uh, listen, people have been sending pictures of cows from home. We've started a phenomenon when it comes to drawing cows. So it's a whole plethora, a whole herd of cows. We've got another one now. Which presenter drew that cow? Now, this cow was drawn on a napkin. Does that tell you anything about that particular presenter. You've got the grass. 
you've got oh look you see you've got the cow chewing chewing away eating something so clearly the presenter thought about the animal and thought that the animal needed to eat some grass and that's what they'd be doing uh, a very full udder there it's a very good picture isn't it very good picture well proportioned as well little fluttering eyelashes who is that presenter who drew a cow like this we'll reveal more after this have you heard of a chanda freedom did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Hachanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Hachanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Hachanda Freedom today. There you go, Saturday Night Real Deal. It's great to have your company. If you have just joined us, the deal that we've got, spend £25 or more and you'll be saving £5. It makes it £20, doesn't it? So if your basket is £25, quote deal five, and you'll get it for 20 uh, Right, we've got some templates for you. These are really interesting. If you want to create your own envelopes, we have got all the different sizes here for you. Let me show you the smallest one just here. So you have got your templates. Now, which one did I use? I think it was I think it was that one uh, so you've got your template so you cut around the card and you can see here that you can open up that envelope it's a working envelope and I made this so it's not that difficult it's not that difficult she says but I did stick the envelope down um, so you can build and create your own envelope with the templates that you get so you've got your different sizes how much does it cost to buy an envelope think about it sometimes 5p 10p you buy them in packs now you can make your own because you've got your templates to do that very very important you've also got your templates to draw a boot if you want to maybe for Christmas maybe it could be a kinky boot stocking for Christmas that you decorate and put on the wall I don't know what else would you do with the boot you can make two boots there's your boots. Um, oh, hello, look at this. I say, that's, that's a rather high-heeled, fancy shoe. A uh, bit of a wedge going on at the bottom there, a bit of a wedge. So we've gone from kinky boots, kinky boots, boom, and then you've got your fantastic, well, rather nice um, stiletto. Oh, it's not a stiletto. It's, um, it's a wedge, and then you've got a sensible shoe. That's me. That's our Hayley, and that's our Catherine. So that's Catherine, that's our Hayley, and then in comes Sensible Shoe Janice. There you go. Sensible Shoe Janice. Always worn sensible shoes throughout my life, so now I can't wear these big high heels. Anyhow, any, any, anyhow, cow. How now, brown cow? We've had some more guesses, actually. Who drew this cow. Uh, Brian said Adam, uh, but then he changed his mind and he said me. I drew this cow. Peter says Leone drew this cow. It's on a napkin. Is that a clue? You've got that lovely detail in that attention to detail again. We've got that lovely bit of fur uh, at the top. Would you call that hair on a cow? I don't know. Uh, and then you've got the cow munching some grass and all the grass underneath. It's a good picture. Do you want to know who drew this? The person who drew this cow is our Fiona, our Fee. Yeah, she drew that. Isn't that great? And here she is. There she is. There she is, our lovely Fiona. Oh, thanks for that, Fiona. Thank you for drawing the cow and sending it in. We've got more cows for you. We certainly have. Um, and if you have...
drawn a cow and want to send it in, oh, do it. We'll see if we can show them towards the end of the show. It's good to get crafting, isn't it? And if anything is inspiring you to craft, then I'm glad it is. Get sketching, get doodling. Draw a cow and send it in. And if you need a model, mm, no, that's not really. Not, let's carry on. <clears throat> There you go. Uh, we've got a great set of stamps here for you. So for that little princess or prince in your life, we have got the carriage, the crowns, we have got the horse, we have got that whoosh of stars. We've got prince or princess, we've got happy birthday in there. Aren't they lovely? And uh, just to show you the size of the stamps, there they are, so good sizable stamps for you, uh, which will build and create that wonderful, wonderful scene. Now. You've got your horse on there to go in front of your carriage, but how about a cow to go on the front of the carriage? Who drew this cow? How now, brown cow? 663245 is your item number. £9.99. Who drew this cow? Who drew this cow? I've got the name on the back, but I'm not going to show you. But who drew? But you know what? If you put that cow next to, next to, let's just, let's just, there you go. Look at that, the cow pulling that along. Be quite good. Or you could put the, hang on, which way am I going? I'm not very good at this. The crown could go on top of the cow. Could do. Who drew that cow? How now, brown cow? Those are your stamps, though. 999 is your item number if you want to go for these. It's a great addition to your crafting set, isn't it? 663-245 is your item number. Now, this is, of course, the deal wheel, and all the prices will remain at these sensational prices all the way up to the top of the hour, all the way up to 10 o'clock. We are live are here on Hochanda until 10 o'clock every single night. Every single night up until 10 o'clock. Why am I shouting? I don't know, I'll stop shouting now. Do you ever do that? You shout because you get excited. So I'm going to stop. No, I'm going to carry on talking. Uh, keep sending your pictures of your cows. Great scene. Just let us know what you've been up to. Uh, Facebook Live, hello to you guys as well. Um, photographs a real cow, only if it's yours. Only if it's yours, not pictures off the internet. It's only got to be a picture you've taken. If you've got a picture of a cow that you've taken, but if you've got a doodle or a sketch, let's see your cows. Come on. Let's see your inner udder. Get your inner udder out on a Saturday night. That could be a song. Get your inner udder out. Get your inner udder out. Get your inner udder out on Saturday night. Would you like to get your inner udder out on a Saturday night, Kirsty? Kirsty needs to draw a cow. Can you go and get a pen and a piece of paper? Draw a cow. Draw a cow. Um, Kirsty's going to draw a cow a little later on for us. Um, can I? Oh, Brian thinks that cow was drawn by Adam, and Kathy thinks it's Leone. It's a cute little cow with a little tail, gorgeous little face. I think that is a lovely cow. I think it's a lovely cow. I really do. I think it's a lovely cow. Now, Christopher Baker, director extraordinaire. Will you get your inner udder out and draw me a cow? Yes, I am asking you to get your inner udder out and draw a cow. Katie, producer, get your inner udder out and draw us a cow. And Andrew in tech, he needs to get his inner udder out as well. Uh, just draw them on paper and bring them in to me and then I'll show them. Sanitise them on the way in. There you go. And then I'll tell you a funny story about a cow. Uh, right, black and white, you see the theme running through, black and white cow, black and white card. Thirteen ninety nine. this is something a little bit different, uh, maybe something that you've not used before, but this is going to give you some wonderful aspects to your card making, but also maybe for covers for your journals, covers for your books, covers for your diary, covers for your MDF storage, because you've got these strong black and white images. You've got dots, you've got stripes, you've got... Uh, is it plat? Yes, plat checks, checks. Um, but we've got some great samples around here to show you. So this card made just with papers. You've got the stripes on the front, 
just with the papers. Do you see the element it adds? Let's show you the next one. This next card, just with the papers, using the polka dot, and you've also got the polka dot just in the middle there. It adds a detail, doesn't it, without you using any colours, and it looks very, very effective. It really does. Here's another sample with the stripes. You've got that masculine touch to that for your footballs, even though I would love to have that card. It's all about football. Uh, right, so different styles. You've got your dots. You've got your stripes in there. You're very, very bold and strong. You've also got the check, like uh, your picnic, your picnic uh, blanket. It's all gone very quiet in the gallery. They are all getting their inner udder out while still working very hard. Um, and then you've got the smaller dots, lots of different um, aspects to choose from, or lots of different designs, should I say, to start building and creating. Do you know what's great about this? They all go well together. You know, like when you make it a patchwork quilt, you've got the theme of the colour, which is black and white, a little bit of grey in there as well. But, I mean, if you put all of these together, not too much, though, but just little elements, they will all work together. £13.99, saving £16, 067166 is the item number. Let's tell you who drew a cow like this. Did you guess it right or did you guess it, guess it wrong? It was Alex. Alex drew the cow. There you go, look, from Alex. There you go, from Alex. There you go. And the, there she is. What's that? Can we have a look at that picture again of Alex? What's the, what's the snowman doing? What's going on? Sorry. Well, I never. <laughs> wow, did you see the size of that camera? Oh, wow. Brilliant, brilliant. £13.99, 067166. I must talk to Alex about that tomorrow, make sure she's all right. Uh, right, 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 right. Um, I have lost a cow. Um, but we've got we've got it on a... St Hello. Uh, we've got, what's the time? We've still got enough time to show three cows. Right, OK. Um, all right, let's show one now. Who drew this cow? Who drew that cow? Let's have a look at the detail that we've got in here. Now, quite abstract. We've got a lot of colouring in going on there. Um, but we've also got, is it barbed wire in the background? Now, if you have a look at that cow, this is what I love about this. The cow is coming over the barbed wire. So somebody that perhaps knows that cows sometimes are in fields where there's barbed wire and a little bit of foliage in the background... I like the shape of this cow as well. I like the structure in the head and the shading. And the shading, the different way that the pen's going. What presenter would draw a cow like that? Your guesses, bring them in on Facebook. Have a chat amongst yourselves. Talk about cows. How now, brown cow? That's used in um, elocution lessons. How now, brown cow? Actors use it as well before they go on stage so they can get their vowels. How now, brown cow? Or something like that. Clearly, I don't do that. I don't, I don't, I don't do that before I go there. Can't speak tonight. What was that thing I was trying to say in the earlier show? Something about gin. Drink gin. Drink, drink gin. The more you say it, the harder it gets. Drink gin. Drink, 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 drink. You see? I can't say it now. Hang on. Drink gin. Drink gin. Drink gin. Try it at home. Drink gin. Now put them together. Drink gin. <laughs> drink gin. Drink, drink, drink shit. I can't say it and I've not even had a drink. Drink gin. Drink gin. Is it, is it just me? Please say it's you as well at home. Oh, I've got some cows from the crew to show you a little later on. I need to guess these. So when we bring them in, I'm going to guess from the crew. Uh, anyway, the cow we're trying to guess at the moment is this one right here. Who is it? Who drew this cow? Which presenter? Uh, right, shall we crack on with what we've got now? 108420, £19.99. pence. Right, we have got your binders from Zutter. So you've got your three-quarter inch in blue, 
and you've got your one inch in silver color. So these are great for your bindings, for your um, diaries, for your calendars, for your notebooks, for your albums as well. Let's get that one and pop that the right way around. Uh, to give you an idea, let's turn that around so you can have a look at the spines. So you can use all the different spines there. Alongside this deal, if that wasn't enough, alongside the deal, you're also getting this beautiful, gorgeous card as well. So you could make and create your mini books and your journals using the spines, but also using the card as well. Now, you don't have to use the card in your Zutter books. You could use this card for something else if you want to. It's really nice, smooth, so it's going to be great for stamping on. I do like this black card as well. Great for your Posca pens and your black on white detailing. Um, and great also for matting and layering, really, with your black and your cream. This is all available to you, saving £12, £19 and 99 pence. Talking of black and white, who drew a cow like this? Sarah John and who said? And Peter said Leone. Good guess. Um, Brian said John next door. Do you know something I've just realised with that cow as well? It's got a little ring in its ear. So it's somebody that knows about beef cattle. Would it, would it be Leone drawing a cow with a ring in its ear? I don't think she would, but I don't know. I don't know. But I will tell you who drew this cow. It's our lovely Natasha. Yes, she drew that cow. Isn't that brilliant? I do like that. It's very strong, very strong, dominant cow. Not, not Natasha, the drawing. Oh, goodness me. Talk about saying something and then bringing a picture in and it getting all cross-wired. She's a good drawer. Uh, but how many more cows are there? We've got, we've, we've got, we've got two. Uh, right, I need to show you another cow. Have I got, um, oh, we'll show you the picture here. Who drew a cow like that? Who drew a cow like that? Shall we have a look at the evidence here? Let's have a look. So, it's a cow with its back to us. So, it's showing us his bottom um, or her bottom. But we've got some flowers at the side. So, knowing that the cow is in the meadow. Uh, nice swishy tail there. Nice chunky legs and two little ears. And I like the detail of the patches. I like the detail of the patches. So who drew that cow? Who drew that cow? How now, brown cow? It's a good cow, isn't it? It's a big bottom cow. It's a nice cow. I love cows. Cows are one of my favourite creatures. Brian said Adam drew this cow. Could be Adam. Could be one of the other presenters as well. Who do you think it is? Right, let's have a look at our next deal from Zutter. Remember, this is the deal wheel. We spun the deal wheel at the top of the hour, and we got £5 off £25 or more. All you have to do is quote deal five to our lovely operators in the call centre or on the website. And this offer is not limited to one per customer, by the way. So uh, you can buy, and if you're a Freedom member, there's no PMP to pay. So. Uh, it's a great deal. Now, customers, you must spend £25 on all uh, of the discounts, excluding your PMP. So your PMP can't be included. So do bear that in mind. Right, let's have a look. But all these deals are fantastic anyway without further discount because you've got £20 discount on this. Uh, this is your Zutter acrylic cover set. Acrylic. It's more, it's more bored, isn't it? It's more bored than acrylic, would you say? Or acrylic as in the paint on the front? No, it's just what they're called. It's just what they're called. But anyway, you've got your hard card on the back. Uh, it'd be great for your acrylic paints. Yeah, it would be, wouldn't it? Um, you could use these to build and create the covers because they're hard. Or it could be for your artwork. They could be mini canvases. So you could paint or you could stamp on there if you want to. £19.99. Pounds um, right. That's what you're getting, just in case you're wondering. Um, I think I might have the wrong bits. And I think I might have the wrong bits here. Let, keep that on the screen for the moment. This is what you're getting. So you do have your acrylic covers in there, and then you've got the cards. So you get three of each side. So there must be acrylic. They look acrylic to me. Clear acrylic. Yes, it says at the top. Uh, clear, uh, clear acrylic. 
Uh, so you've got your 8x8 in clear acrylic. You've got your 7.5x5 in clear acrylic. Acry I can't speak. Yes, acrylic, that's it, thank you. Um, and then you've also got your 3 by 4 and your 4 by trying to read this from the screen myself but you've got all of that it is in acrylic so you it's not card you don't get cards so you can't draw on it it's acrylic apologies for anyone that bought it earlier on thinking you were going to get the card um it's acrylic uh right so concerned about a cows don't know what's acrylic and what's not who drew that cow do you want to know that cow was drawn by a lovely presenter he was in earlier it's adam Adam drew that. You need a clever boy. Well done. There he is. There he is. Uh, we've got one more cow to show you. Yes, we have. Uh, let's put it on the screen because I don't have the drawing here. Let's have a look. Who drew that cow? I can't speak. Who drew that cow? Now, it's a little bit abstract. It's a little bit Picasso-esque. You've got the eyes, you've got the nose, you've got the flower on the side. You'll see it's doing a headstand because its udders are up. So it's doing a little headstand. So I like that one. Who did that? I'll reveal the answer in a moment's time and then I keep biting my lip. Let me bite the side of your mouth. I keep doing that. Painful, isn't it? The more you do it, the bigger it gets. Uh, right. Just like a cow chewing some grass. Uh, 273602 is your item number 307. <laughs> 370 pieces you're getting here. Um, display beautifully, Kirsty. Love this. We've got a cream. We've got our. Oh, what colour would you say that is? It's like a mint green. It's jade. They're calling it jade. They're calling it jade. Um, so cream and jade and white and craft card that you've got here. These are all pre-scored. 1299 273 602 is your item number. If you want to get hold of those, 273 602. I'm going to reveal who drew that Picasso-esque style cow in a moment's time. In fact, I'm going to do it right now. Um, do we have any cows from viewers? We have one from Peter. We'll show that in a moment's time. But the person that drew this cow, just there, is our Leone. Yeah, it's Leone. I'll tell you something, she should make a stamp out of that. In fact, we all should have a collection for you guys to download. That would be funny. And there she was, our lovely um, Leone. Uh, let's have a look at Peter's cow. Oh, I say it's a cat cow. Who drew a cow like this? I love that. Mmm. That is very good, Peter. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. Uh, we've got some templates for you. Details on your screen. £13.99. Great templates to add to your card collection. You can make envelopes from these templates. You've got a whole collection of envelopes. You can see there they make the perfect envelope as well. So you've got little mini ones. They'd be great for your advent calendars, would they not? Uh, you've got your shoe templates in there for drawing shoes. But do you know what? If you draw around fabric, that would make some great appliques for your fabric design. So you've got your various shoes in there, including your boot and your shoes in there, sensible shoes. Um, and then you've got your fantastic pop-up cards as well. They're templates, so you can make these again and again and again. If you do want to get hold of these, £13.99, that's the whole lot, 684607. Right, we've got some cows that our crew have drew. Right, your first one, uh, I'll just guess these as I'm bringing them out. That one was drawn by Christopher Baker. It was. Well done, you see. Our next cow, our next cow, this cow was drawn by... I was going to say Katie. I think that one has been drawn by Kirsty. No! Andrew? Andrew! I don't know why I'm so surprised at that. That's fantastic, Andrew. You do look like an art teacher. Uh, right, you're... <laughs> Your next, I've got to be careful because he's demiking me after the show. Uh, right, this one, this is Kirsty. Yay! Look.
look at that. Do you know who you're channeling there? You're channeling one of the other presenters there um, who drew a bit like, bit like um, Scott's cow. Uh, right, the next one, La Piste de la Résistance. The best cow, the pink cow. Look at that. Well, it's... Right. It's kind of a giraffe cow horse. <laughs> now, are we focusing in on the udder? No. Well, it's, it, uh, it's perspective. That leg is in the background, so it's perspective. Um, it, it's a little like a giraffe, but I like that. Um, I, like the li I, I, like, I like the pink, um, the long neck. And the positioning of the udder. It's very nice. It's very Katie, it's lovely. It says a lot about you. It says a lot it does say a lot about you. Uh, so thank you everyone for taking part. Uh, great sketches of cows. Why don't you try drawing a cow at home? Uh, it's it's just for fun. It's just for fun. I love cows, they're one of my favourite animals. Uh, and I'm sorry if you thought I was utterly uh, ridiculous in this show, but we had a lot of fun. I know I milked it quite a lot. Uh, but thank you very much for joining us here on Ho Chandy. You've got five minutes left to get these great deals and these great prices, but don't go anywhere, we've got more coming up throughout the night for you on Ho Chanda. Right, coming up next, you've got your Eco Line One Day special, another chance to see that. We head into the evening with Pink Frog Crafts Happy Hour and Jewelry Box is coming up for your delight as well. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. I've been with Hachanda since the very, very beginning, and I've been crafting a lot longer than that. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking, and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years, and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it, and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products, as well as some of their other amazing brands, such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut, and the craft artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. So don't miss the John Next Door and Crafts 2 shows on Hachanda. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company.